All right, how's it going? Uh, it's going great, Richie. We got so many cool new things. I need Carl boxes. Every age. I guess this is a box. I guess the prawn suit, the sea moth is a box. <laughs> Where's Yoshi? Uh, Yoshi's down there somewhere. Wait, where is Yoshi? Wait, where is Yoshi? There's Yoshi. All right. Um. Let's see, I think I need to get, oh yeah. I wanna see if I can make more of these um, range upgrade modules. How do I make more of them? Copper and magnetite. Might need to get more copper before I can do that. Yeah. And I wanna remember how to get lithium. Um, because I'm going to need a lot more lithium. Is it shale? Yeah, okay, I think I keep getting gold and diamond from shale. All right, let's see if this can find any. Can you find shale? No, <laughs> not far enough. I need to fetch more. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, I need to go get some water. Oh yeah, I just, I just realized we're kind of running out of everything. Let's do that, let's go. Um, Get some water and stuff. Hey, it's dark. Who needs to see? Whoop. Beesh. Wait, that's not beesh. Mm. Hey. It sounds good in theory. Oh, I can't get that one. It sounds good in theory now that I have the thermal blade to just like hit stuff. But in practice, <laughs> aiming is hard. Nom, 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 nom. I just wanna eat you. Yeah. Oh, shields here. Let me snag that real quick. Uh, let's just see. Um. I swear, every time I read a Mario Maker code, I get deja vu. It's one of your favorite games, Face Boy. It's uh, slowly becoming one of mine, too. You've done pretty well for your first playthrough in hardcore. Hope this doesn't jinx it. There was a radio message. Oh, shit. Okay, when I go uh, make some water, I'll go check it out. You can peace. You can sleep peacefully now. Wait, is this an override of a previous one, or is this a brand new level? This is a brand new level, right? I don't think I have this. All right, cool. Thank you, Shields. There, broke track. Uh, I need more of these guys. Nom, 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 nom. Okay. Uh, that should be enough for today's hippity hops. <laughs> Underwater base of doom. Welcome Making you want to play Subnautica again. Blip, I can't believe how old this game is. I like, I typed in like Subnautica first playthrough into YouTube and it was like Markiplier 2015, nine, almost nine years ago. Holy crap. It's uh, it's ridiculous. You bought the game because of you because, but now I'm too afraid to play it. Uh, just, <laughs> all. Just play it on the um, more creative mode, then it's less horrifying. Even if you die, it doesn't really matter then. Whoops, I probably didn't. Oh, and actually, two of these is good. I want a salt one. Do I have any salt? I do. Yeah, I'm gonna salt some fishy fish. When it was in early access. Yeah, it seems like they've changed the game a lot. Somebody told me that <laughs> that the Aurora in the background used to just be like a PNG, like there wasn't there wasn't anything there. I think that's so funny. Okay, I gotta eat this other one when my hunger goes down. Four more points. Learning. Um, okay. Um, we need to go snag some copper. Copper ore, please and thank you. Kyle, you're loving the Carl Playing 4G hardcore vids? Yes, I'm really glad you're enjoying them. Um, 
It's been a blast playing these games, especially I've really enjoyed playing it. Does this, it's, wait, this thing lets me know which one has copper inside of it? That's actually sweet. So it's not gonna like, it didn't just find whatever it is. Or is there one of these that always has copper? Um, uh, uh, Hannah, or I don't know how to say your name, but um, thank you so much for the subs. It found copper I left behind. Oh, that's weird. I was like, how did it find copper? I'm surprised it still even spawned. Also, how in the world do I get down there? Must be a big old cave. Probably this ends up on YouTube. Um, it, it will, yeah. Um, actually, exclamation YT will already get it uh, the first episode for you. I don't know where that is. I guess this was a mistake to... Uh, Maybe it's in here. There it is. But no, it's not it. <laughs> this is like a glitch. Uh, the Langster and Yoshi. This is like a glitch. You went past the entrance. Um, well, it, it's just one, so that wasn't unfortunately what I really wanted anyway. Running out of resources. Da -da 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 -da. Wait, this is fun. Wee! <laughs> I love that. Okay, that was a mistake. Um, I guess I want uh, limestone for copper. Hopefully that's the one for copper. If not, I'm gonna be a sad boy. Limestone chunk. Oh, please actually be somewhere in existence. Oh my god! <laughs> what are these cave entrances that I just can never find? There. No, 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 no. There it is. No! <laughs> I lied. Okay. Holy shit, that nearly killed me. That's wild. That just nearly killed me. That would have been it. <laughs> okay, I don't think I need titanium, but I have the inventory room for it anyway, so. That just nearly killed me. What a way to lose the run. Some random bullshit explosions right at the start. Oh, that's a strand. That's a strand. Flying around. I'll just get one more set because I'm getting kind of sick of having to find cover. That would be an anticlimactic way to die. Yeah, that'd be ridiculous. I've almost died in some extremely stupid ways twice, and that was that was right up there. It's right up there. <laughs> we finally built the prawns. Game? <laughs> Don't jank me out, game. <laughs> Don't jank me out, game. <laughs> What the fuck was that? Oh yeah, so much copper. Let's go. Um, yeah, so right now we're trying to get some upgrades for our prawn suit. And just in general, I like I keep running out of copper, and so I'm like, alright, I'm just gonna get a nice healthy stash of copper while we're just starting to stream here. That would make for good YouTube videos, though. Oh my god, this thing has so much stuff in it. Maybe it's gonna have silver, too. Oh, inventory fall. You hate to see it. I want to come back to this, almost. Look at all these. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. Okay, I guess I got some of those right here, maybe. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna remember where that tube is, but that tube's pretty sweet. It's, uh... So it's going to be northeast of, um, northeast of my thingy thing thing. I don't have a beat on me. Copper is the most limiting basic resource. 
I just keep, it feels like I keep getting so much of every like I, I have like um, gold for days like look at this gold <laughs> please something start using gold um, I also oopsies don't put those in there oh I do have an extra beacon on me um I have way too much water and stuff on me oh I should eat my fish before it goes bad eat the fish it's already getting old all right I need some magnetite and we are gonna upgrade like this might be a waste of my magnetite <laughs> but I want to see what happens if I upgrade this again oh, whoopsies so if I get a uh, I'm gonna use the fabricator if I make an, a range upgrade again what happens to the range? Is it just going to be an extra 50? Does it work at all? What happens? Enhances the range. Whoa, yeah, it's spreading out. So does it tell me... Does it tell me the range? Okay, I want to see if it can find new stuff now, Wreck. Ah, uh, not really. Hmm. Oh, it can find... Now, yeah, these aren't really useful. Um, does it show the range somewhere? I'm not sure if it does. Uh, anybody know if it actually increased the range? It looked like it did. Oh, scan range 400. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's basically increasing it by... Okay, so this will make it 450. Yeah, there it is, 450. Oh, let's see if we can find something new. Da it can find a data box that I don't have. That's cool. Okay, I like that. So basically, I missed that somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, that just makes me want to crank the range to maximum and make sure I've not missed anything here. And then I think at some point, we need to just make a second base deeper out. Maybe I'll go to the... Um, I guess I guess I was thinking maybe I could go to the end of the range of this and put a new base, but actually, I feel like I should go further than that, and then that other one will overlap with this one to some extent. Um, so maybe I want to go, if the range is going to be 500 max, maybe I want to go like 750 out or something and then make a new base. Uh, that could be cool. But yeah, this was maybe a waste of magnetite. <laughs> okay, though, now we know how it works. How much more magnetite do I have? I still got a bit. More upgrades. Oh, I didn't get copper. Whoopsies. You only ever built one scanner room in your first playthrough simply to use the drones to explore spooky, spooky areas. Yeah, it does seem like using the drones um, <laughs> is, especially because I'm playing on hardcore, like would be a really safe way to explore things. But it's also fun to YOLO it. Now what I was hoping, oh, that's cool. Like fills this whole room up. I like that. It looks awesome. You can actually like see all the terrain too. That's cool. Um, so the reason I did that is in case I was missing any like plot related stuff I feel like this would find it see how I found this data box. I'm pretty happy that we ended up doing that um, Because hell if I would have ever found this otherwise. Oh, let's wait for this scan to actually get all the way out too Okay, data box over there GL fish game Yeah, fish game let's take our sea moth and Oh um, I didn't fully get rid of everything I wanted to get rid of in my inventory, but that's okay. Uh, wrecks are also important considering they can have scannables. Yeah, I think I've gotten... The problem with searching for the wrecks is, um... There are so many that I already have at this point. Wow, this is actually pretty far away. See, I'm really glad I found that because I would have not... I wouldn't have found this otherwise. here. <laughs> What's funny is maybe I've already explored this. Maybe I didn't have a, um, a cutter when I first came here and then I forgot about it. That might have been what happened because it looks like I got the stuff on the outskirts perhaps. Looks like it's like... Yeah, maybe I got this already. All right, well, let's open it up. Hi Kenzie, hi Flips, welcome in everybody.
they the cutter. You get bored playing this game? Uh, I'm playing it on hardcore, so <laughs> it's definitely not bored for me. Oh, there might be something to the right of the door to scan. Okay, I'll take a look at it. I'm going to check out uh, Minecraft Skyblock. Shark, I saw like a YouTube video of it. I see you like start in the sky, but I didn't really get the point, I guess. I don't know, if, maybe you could explain it a bit. Like, how do you get resources if you're in the sky? Say something this game? Maybe not. Is that not even a, that is a metal sound bridge. Exploiting weird mechanics. You need to get creative. Oh, okay. Huh. Why is there random titanium there? Hello? Oh, so dark. <laughs> Yet without my light. What's that? Oh, battery charger. We, battery charger was so nice. I almost want to make a second battery charger. <laughs> Just get even more batteries. Uh, everyone's ranker. Thank you so much for the six months. Oipa, thank you for the 13. Arpa says, hello, Carl. I've been enjoying your Sonata playthrough so far. I'm so happy to hear that. I've been having a really good time playing it. Oh my god, it was so cool. Could have just fucking swam in here. Uh, it was so cool yesterday. We like went to this jellyfish electric eel of doom place, and then we like found a bunch of structures in it. God's got, got a bunch of plot. Oh, I need to get into that one still. Um, but then we made a prawn suit, which I am very excited to get some upgrades for. I'm, it's not worth using yet, it doesn't seem, but uh, soon here, uh, soon here, I believe we will. Have it ready to run. You were dialed in all eight hours. Yes, it was so fun. The mushroom cave. Yes. We used a stasis rifle <laughs> on one of the eel things. Chad said I was crazy. Uh, actually, wait. I want to drink the water. Do, 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 do. Ah! I, is there a button to go down? Oh my god, I always forget about the button to just swim down. I need to use that button more. Uh, maybe we'll need more titanium. Propulsion cannon? Is that the one I have? Or the, oh, that's the one I have. I think it's a repulsion cannon. Yeah, so this is an older area, I guess. What is a data box? I guess it's this thing right here. Data box. What's that? Blueprint acquired. Lightweight, high capacity tank. What is that? Uh, if I just search for the one with the yellow on it? Wait, shit. <laughs> Where was it? Uh, there we go. Oh, lighter build allows for. Huh. So it's not an ultra high capacity tank though. So, but basically this one will let me move faster. I probably would rather have the... Any PDAs I'm missing? I probably would rather have the extra oxygen rather than some extra movement speed. That's what I'm thinking anyway. All right, cool. <laughs> See my friend. Um, where's my beacon? My beacon manager. Do I have my um? Oh, that's the new one. Where's my old one? Yeah, the eel layer of jelly lava. I actually might need to go back there to get some. Wait, it's right. It's literally right here. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's literally right here. Do I have room in my inventory? Uh, how about my sea moss storage? Yeah, see Master Ridge. All right, cool. Uh, we need lithium. I'm not sure if I can get lithium in here, but I feel like I should be able to. So let's, uh... whoa, God, stop spinning. Let's snag some lithium while we're in here. Oh yeah, this is so cool. By the way, we got this yesterday. Check this out. Sonar. 
love the sonar. Uh, so the, um, the eel dudes ended up being reasonably safe. So I'm gonna and I'm gonna try to go explore like maybe further along over here. Yeah, look at that. There's a whole thing over here. We didn't. We never really explored over here last time. I'm gonna go park like over here though maybe a bit away from all of the jelly stuffs and things hmm. cool zoom hey rex um so you can watch fire watch with firefox close and starfield open how are you liking starfield rifle um, let's see. Barwell says, Carl, long time YouTube viewer here, loving the latest Mario Maker shenanigans. You actually got me into Minecraft, which I thought was impossible. What? Uh, you were just in debating somebody on a podcast? Probably not, no. Uh, start timer, thank you. Do, 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 do. Start in that. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like debating people doesn't change people's minds. Like, if somebody's open to information, I'd be happy to talk to them. But, like, yeah, I don't know. I don't think debates like, work. Yeah, there we go. Lithium. That's what we want more of. Sweet. Is this the eye fish? Aye, aye. You've been enjoying Starfield a lot so far? Good to hear. Um, I have a question. Did you, did, Rifle, did you play um, like Morrowind or Oblivion or, or Skyrim? Diamond. I actually like don't need more diamond. I have so much diamond, but I do need magnetite. So much magnetite. But really what we want right now is lithium. My lithium is so low. There we go. Very good. I feel safe here now, and I don't know if that's a bad thing. I don't need any more gold. I have like way too much gold. Giant lava thing of doom. You played lava? Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry for you. Did I even pick that up, or did that go fall? Music in this game is so good. are chill though. I was worried the snakes would not be that chill. <laughs> snakes are super chill. Nom 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 nom. All right, we have some more inventory space, so let's fill up the rest of our inventory here. And then, oh yeah, I didn't explore this thing. It's literally what I came over here to do. Uh, oh my gosh, it's like three of these shales here. No more gold. Or else give me a new use for gold. Yes, lithium though. Lithium is good. Very, very good. Magnetite is good. This game makes finding stuff very rewarding, I feel, because you can make, like, you can make so much epic stuff. And also the areas that, like, like, I was so afraid to go anywhere in this area, and now I'm like, yeah, whatever, give me all this stuff. <laughs> I'm not really afraid of it anymore. Okay, inventory's full. Let's check this, though. Honestly, I might ditch a little bit of gold. Do I have anything else that I should probably ditch? Ugh. And uh, we'll drink a water and pick one more thing up on our way out. I don't need a first aid kit. 
Oh, I always try to go through those. <laughs> There's nothing I can do in them. Hi, snake friend. Please calm down. Okay, so I think that... I think, if anything, this is just a hint. Can you leave me the fuck alone? If that thing, like, comes in here, I'm gonna fucking lose it. Um, alright, I'm getting out of here. Bye. Snick. Alright, the snakes seem fine. I'm gonna go snag one more of these. Um, drink of water. Diamond. Alright. That was very good. Do I remember how to get out of here? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Somewhere up. Um, might have been up there. Is it up here? Let's go. Alright, cool. Oh wow, that's right by the, um, the pod right there too. That's interesting. Okay, we don't want to go there. Definitely don't want to go there. Let's go unload, unload all of our stuff. So. Anyone ever wonder how you get in the sea miles without water getting in? That was the first thing I thought of. And when I opened the like hatch or whatever. Um, of my like little Thing. Is that paying an extra module? Yeah, look at this. Wee sonar. <laughs> um, kind of want to swap out the prawn suit. Can I just get in the prawn suit? Here? Welcome to oh, there's storage on the prawn suit too. Yum. <laughs> Because the prawn suit's no good until we get some more upgrades for it. So it is epic. We're gonna dock this one in our moon pool. Toaster, thank you so much for the 11 months. Yeah. All right. Um, loot some things. So now I needed something. I needed lithium for something. I'm gonna be honest, I can't remember what it was. So <laughs> let's see what we uh, need to build after we empty it all. The music is so good. Yeah, this is the one that doesn't make sense to me. This one. <laughs> How's the water not getting in? It's okay. Batteries. Oh, I should probably put some of this junk away. Uh, do I have a ton of titanium in here? Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and just make uh, an ingot just to get some inventory space. There we go. Gonna need another locker soon. Got an extra power cell. And I've got these extra batteries. I'm not sure if I put any batteries. Oh my god, I put so many batteries in here. Whoops. <laughs> okay, I have tons of batteries. Yeah, okay. Might as well swap everything out. Uh, wait. Wrong button. There we go. Um, Alright. Good enough on the batteries. Mm. 
Make another battery charger and just use it for storage. Honestly, that sounds like a good idea, just to have all my batteries somewhere. Um, okay, there's a couple things I really want to make. One of them is this reinforced dive suit, but sadly, we don't know how to make synthetic fiber yet. Um, so that one's a no-go for now. The other thing that I want to do... Oh, wait, let me look and see if there was something else. Whoops, <laughs> I forgot I put a hat on that. It's like, what did I just grab? Hat, dee -dee 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 -dee. put it further back. There we go. Um, okay, I have most of this stuff already. Oh yeah, the repulsion cannon, I don't know the point of it, but <laughs> it sounds cool. Uh, we still need to get the Cyclops. I haven't figured that out yet. We need Kyanite before we can get like the prawn suit death module. But um, I'm pretty sure I already have that one. So yeah, the repulsion cannon is something we can make. So that's something that we should maybe test out. Look at this. Yeah, my miniature Aurora. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Use it to repulse things. It's got a little microscope. <laughs> oh. Can you find anything interesting now that you've had time to cook? Oh, it can actually find uh, magnetite and stuff now. That's weird. A reef back. And it can find shale. Hmm. I expanded the range, so now it's very long. Okay, this guy, though. Um, I think I have... Oh, yeah. We can make the Seamoth torpedo system. <laughs> Yeah. I can't do the perimeter defense system yet, though. <laughs> uh, let me look into this torpedo system. I can't remember if I have the... I might have to get rid of something if I do that, though, which is sad. Yeah, the upgrades. So I have the maximum... This is diving depth to maximum. A storage module is so nice. I definitely like the whole reinforcement. I don't want to die. So I wonder which one I would take off. Probably the sonar. Or if, I could, if I'm just going somewhere to fight, I guess. But I don't know. I guess I don't really... I'm, I'm curious to try the torpedoes because I want something to deal with the, um, the warpers. I wonder if they can warp me in the sea moth. Oh my gosh, I don't want to even know about that. <laughs> they better not be able to. That would be so messed up. I don't even understand exactly exactly what they do. Um, but they definitely scare me. I'll say that much. Oh no. Chat, do you think the torpedoes are worth getting? I'm also interested in this defense system. But polyaniline, I think I can't get yet. You don't want to know the answer to that. Uh, let's see. Um, this one, polyaniline. I need hydrochloric. So basically, I need to get some deep shrooms. I'm assuming to get the deep shrooms, we need to just go to a deeper area. So. Oh, uh, no need we wear. I mean, they sound cool. They do. They do sound cool. Uh, do, 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 do. I am, as a chemist, I am deeply offended by the more chemical recipes in this game. <laughs> Look, salt has chloride in it. All right. <laughs> um, that's at least plausible, right? Wait, high conductance polymer? I don't know how you'd make a polymer out of gold, though. <laughs> okay, this one doesn't make any sense. Yeah, the mushrooms are acidic inside. This one makes no sense. Turn bleach into water. Bleach is just uh, purifying the water. It's outside around you. That one actually makes sense to me. But I didn't at first, but then it eventually made sense to me. Okay, well, um, I guess, I thought I had something else I wanted to build. Maybe maybe let's look at my, um, maybe I'm forgetting something. Maybe I can build something with the Habitat Builder. Um, what else was I interested in making? 
Hmm. Observatory. Exterior grow bed. Is there an interior grow bed? I can make the water filtration machine. Turn seawater into water and salt. Uh, but getting water is pretty darn easy. I guess if it gives me the plus 30 waters, it'd be nice, but like it's not super important right now. I already have the vehicle upgrade console, I believe. I should just put a radio in here so I stop forgetting to check the radio. Uh, what is it? It's just a copper and a titanium. Yeah, we should just stick the radio somewhere. Let me just put it on the wall, maybe. Radio. This is life pod two coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. It's another one. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Well. Signal a... location uploaded to PDA. Okay, there's a new one still. I'm surprised there's still more of these. Oh yeah, so if we do the self scan, by the way, it's like, bro, you're hella infected. <laughs> so I don't know how that's gonna turn out. That's the thing that worries me still, because I don't really have a I really have a solution for that. Synthetic soil. So these these all seem kind of same. If I got some of those um, deep mushrooms, the ones that I can't find yet, um, I feel like it would be pretty cool to like put some in this so I don't have to keep going back so much. I could make this power cell charger, but I, only, I rarely ever need to because they recharge. Uh, anyway. Oh, I am going to run out of medical kits, though. How am I doing on these? I have two. I actually should make the medical kit thing, just so I don't ever run out of these. Well, now I say that, and I'm like, fiber mesh, silver ore, titanium. Ah, fuck it. I'll just go into my other thing. <laughs> I'll just go run into my other thing. I'm a cheapo. <laughs> I need to... I'm still using this for storing. I probably don't need to anymore, but I'm still using this to store extra water and stuff in here. Yeah, I still got a ton of them. It's fine. I don't need all these nutrient bricks on me. Just one is fine. Honestly. Even that's probably overkill. All right, what is? I'll just snag one of these and be on my way. All right, let's get out of here. See, moth is probably charged. Let's go explore the new area. Um, we have the, uh, now we have the extra depth on this. Yeah. Some things hurt a lot. All Wait. systems online. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so the next area that we need to go to is this proposed Degasi habitat. Oh, actually, wait. There's also the... We just got this other thing, too. Where did it... Let's see where this new one was. Uh, Life Pod 2. Where's Life Pod 2 at? It's pretty darn far away over there. Look at that. That's 1,500 meters away. I don't know which one of these we should go to first. Go away, you nerd. Well, we were already kind of doing this, so let's do this one. Hey, young savage, welcome. Um, uh, M. Coffee says, watching your first playthrough of this is such a joy. Thank you, Carl. Oh, I'm really glad everybody's been enjoying it. I've been loving it. Toaster, thank you so much for the 11 months. How oh, did I even bring water? <laughs> uh, maybe should have brought more water. Kind of hate to see it. Uh, it'll probably be fine. It'll probably. Wait, where is it? I know I just forgot to put I didn't realize I was already a little low so I basically just brought one less than I, than I was planning well now I can go super deep with my sea moth so it should be pretty good I am gonna take a second here though maybe if we find some like rubies or anything I think this is about the area where I can start finding rubies and such again Splat. 
I don't know if it's gonna get scarier down here, so let's take just a second to um, repair the sea pod. Just to make sure it's in tip top shape. Well, um, our water situation is not as good as I want it to be. There we go. Hopefully like, there are those eyes or something, because I can like, I can just hit those. I wonder if I can just, let me do a real quick test. If I just hit one of these things. Eh, eh, spade fish. Does it happen to give me water? Not very much. <laughs> Three water. All right, what is? What is? I guess I can scan it. Oh, maybe I did. Oh, wait, that wasn't it. Was it? Ah, oh, whatever. Whatever. Onward. Where's the entrance? Oh, if I had my prawn thing, I could mine so much of whatever that is. All right, here we go. This is it. We're at only depth 200 right now. This is where we get to the good stuff down here. This is where the ruby is. Ruby. Oh, look, those are bladder fish, aren't they? Hmm. What happens? Does a cooked bladder fish give you a decent bit of water? Or not really? Four. That's pretty good. These are just regular, yeah. Okay. Uh, are there any beasties down here? I can't really remember. Uh, are these green things? I got confused about which one was aerogel and which ones were eggs. I think that's eggs. Uranite! Wait, that's new. Wait a minute, I haven't had that one before. What was that? Uranite? Are we getting, is that radioactive? <laughs> that's a new one. Oh, there's more. Hello there. Oh, uh, you know. You know, sometimes, sometimes one of those things do be chasing you. Okay. I don't like those things. I scan it. this area, I'm not gonna lie. Not my absolute favorite thing that's going on right here. Where is the, there's the habitat. How do I get down there? Don't 100% love these guys, stupid warpers. How do I get down there? I don't see the way down. Jeez. Keeps hitting me. Alright. So. There's still some down there, but whatever. Ah! Um. Let's repair my SEMA. Get the fuck back in here. Alright, we're officially scared again, chat. <laughs> I don't see the way down. Is that it right there, maybe? Is that a way down? No, that's not a way down. Oh, uh, maybe over here. No, I don't think it's over here. Where's this habitat at? Maybe in here. Oh, I don't like this. Smash. 
The sonar is both helpful and not helpful for finding this stuff. I am not sure where to go with it, honestly. I'm thinking over here. This is further down. Maybe. The fuck is that? What the fuck is that? The fuck are those? They look nice. Oh god, I want to scan one, kind of, but I'm also afraid. I'm sure it'll be fine if I scan one. They look slow. The fact that they look slow... What is that? Oh, I didn't look at Ruby. Um. Wait, how come it didn't show up? Did I cancel it? No, sea treader. It didn't show up for some reason. A vast bipedal leviathan, which roams the reef in herds grazing the seafloor. The antenna on the creature's head can detect a range of scents, helping it find fresh things to graze. Large herds would decimate the floor of a single area, thus encouraging their migratory behavior. Oh, sea treader herds may unearth mineral deposits as they turn up the sand. Oh, shit. I see stuff on the floor right here. What's this? Alien feces. <laughs> Gold. All right. Oh, my gosh. They just give hella lithium behind them and diamonds. Can it get anything other than shale, though? Can it drop anything other than that? What's this? Just quartz? Yeah. Hmm. Anything other than shale and poop. <laughs> Suitable for bioenergy production? Oh, I see. So that will be useful if I want to use, if I want to do one of those, uh, a highly radioactive material. Should I be holding that? <laughs> That's probably to make a uh, one of the nuclear reactors, I guess. I don't. I feel like I shouldn't be holding on to that. I mean, in real life, I probably put that in the sea moth, but I'm assuming in the game it doesn't matter. Old cook, cooked batter fish. Whoops, I forgot about that. All right, um, we're gonna give this a hot second down here. See if I can find anything new. Giant quartz thing. What you do? Spade fish. What the hell is that? Copper ore. I need my prawn suit for that. Okay, I don't want to go too far away from my thing here. Uh, this is all just like quartz and stuff. Uh, and then let me just check and see if they unearthed anything other than shale. Or if they only unearthed shale. Diamond. This is one of those gel sacks. Looks like just shale. Don't want gold. I will take lithium though. This is cool. What a cool area. It's fine. Just get checked out in 20 years. It's fine. All right. Well, that's a cool area. Um, I still don't understand how to go to this place. <laughs> it's over there. Maybe this is it right here. Ah, oh, there it is. There's the entrance. Okay, do I have a beacon? Um, I'm gonna put a beacon here at the entrance. Beacon name. Uh, 
Entrance to 500 meter Degasi Cave. Anything interesting so far here? Well, what the fuck did I just hear? The fuck did I just hear? What's that? What is that? What is that? Oh, what is that? I saw something. Oh, those are just, that's just a warper down there, I think. Oh, hey look, a ruby that allows me to not have to go in there yet. Um, honestly, I don't think I have enough water. We're leaving. Bye, chat! Never mind! Take it back. We're going to the second life pod. <laughs> Who wants to... Here, there we go. <laughs> we just, you know, we just don't have enough water. Like, we really should restock before we go down there. <laughs> I legitimately don't have enough water, though. <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hi, Aggie. You play this shit on hardcore, Aggie, alright? You stream this shit, then we'll see how it goes for you. Fuck is that sound? Just heard some like weird sound. Is that a challenge? I would love to watch it. <laughs> I hear scary sounds. Um No, nah, I just wanted Damn, we were far away. I did not have enough water. Look at my water situation. It's not good. The gauntlet has been laid down. Yeah, I've been trying to get Juz to play it too. I always, every time I play a game like this, I always try to get everybody to play it. I haven't convinced anybody to play this one yet. Snooky Dan's busy. Who else would enjoy a game like this? I think Juz would actually like it. Alright. Recharge this guy. Welcome aboard, Captain. A lot more water. Oops, uh. Building that water purifier if it makes plus 30 waters. Because these plus 20 waters are pretty mad. Hello, name I can't say. Thank you so much for the five months. Just don't spend all the free Amazon money at once. Thank you very much. It's really appreciated. Yeah, I did get a prawn suit. The, I named it the Langster. Played too much Subnautica in the Vader days, so you're still waiting for the memories to fade. It doesn't help. I can't resist catching streams. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people have. I don't know. I guess the game's been out longer than I realized. I did a search for first playthroughs on YouTube yesterday because uh, I wanted to see if anybody else had just like I don't know. I guess done a first playthrough recently, and it was like 
Markiplier 2015 or whatever. I'm like, damn. <laughs> that was forever ago. We gotta get rid of that. You can make plus 30 water. I know I, oh, with the bleach and stuff I can, but I'm not motivated enough to do that. All right, there we go. Now I got plenty of water. Let's stash all this junk. Oh, uh, we need to make another storage locker. So let's get some silicon and forget what else the storage locker needs. Let's see, get my habitat builder. It's a quartz, not a copper. I might do the water filtration machine. It's like on the list of things to do next. <gasps> junk apparently there's gonna be a trailer for subnautica 3 are they really making another one well how is i guess there's a subnautica 2 is it, is it a full game is it like this like how come i don't hear people talk about that one i've honestly not heard anything i've not heard like very many people be like yeah it's just as good as the first i find it weird that people keep calling below zero subnautica 2 okay yeah so what is below zero then I fell in the water. Oh yeah, urinite. Did I need that for anything? Pawn modules? No, I need um, crystalline sulfur, nickel ore, benzene, kyanite, all this shit that I still haven't found. Below Zero is more like Subnautica 1.5. Hmm. I asked if I should play that one first or this one, and like unanimously everybody said this one. I really need to throw that out. If I drop, oh, I can't drop it in here. Oh. Playing partially translated broadcast. Destroyed mode. Targets unaccounted for one. Why do I feel like I'm being hunted? <laughs> New target. Ah! Uh, oh. Golly, I hate to be that one. <laughs> uh, it's. What did I just hear? What the fuck did I just do? Can I, can I not repair it? <laughs> Bullets. Hit that, I guess not. Um, all right, well, this is fun. Um, what did I need for that defense system again? <laughs> Shit, I don't have, all right. Why do I feel like I'm here and shit? Torpedoes. Generates a localized gravity dis... This is a cloud of toxic gas. What the fuck am I hearing? Is that really ambient noises? I don't believe anything. All systems online. Ah! Okay, um, I got plenty of health stuff. I got plenty of food stuff. Got plenty of water. All right, let's go. It is unusually... That was weird. I don't know why I was hearing all that shit. Um, I'm, cur I'm curious to check out this life pod too. Um, CTO used life pod. Let's do this one and then see if I like this one more or less than the other one. I hate the warpers, man. The only time I've almost, like, truly almost died, well, besides running into random shit that exploded, was to a warper. So, I don't know. I still don't like the warpers. Yeah. 
This is really freaking far away. Do I have a power cell on me? Don't have a power cell on me. That's probably fine though. All right, just have to keep that in mind. Uh, Necromancer, thank you so much for the sub. And Dr. Drickin, thank you for the two months. Smash it into fish. We need like the deep mushrooms. We need the deep mushrooms. That's what we really need. I also need more, um, ooh, is that worth scanning? I need more like Cyclops things. Maybe this is one. Please. Leave me alone. Yeah, I think I need this. Or at least I need some of these. Yeah, I do need that one. New blueprint acquired. Cool. More Cyclops things. Those are also suffers from having a huge change in direction. Oh, really? Stop it. Ow. Okay, that was me. <laughs> that one was me. What's that? Maybe there's something in these. It's weird. This is pretty deep. I'm curious what would be in something this deep. Propulsion cannon. Is that the one I need? No, I have that one. guy is new. I think that thing's new. Whoa. Anything on there that I don't have already? I think I just see quartz. Wow, that thing's pretty wild. Whoa. Alright, let's get down. Descend. What's that? I see something over here. What's that? Blood root. What a great name. structural integrity where the root meets the cave wall it penetrates the rock continues to grow both blood roots and blood vines produce blood oil pustules Read the blood and ghost biome, my favorite. Or there's something in deep waters where its pale pigmentation is visible. Something is gonna allow me to make um what is it? There's like a fiber or something that I need. Cyclops hull. Plans for building a cyclops, but I still don't have like this one. We've got the bridge in the hull, but we're kind of missing a lot of components still. Okay, um that's where we're going, right? Yeah, that's where we're going. Oh shit. We're going in. I get those small ones or no? Tree spawn. Whoa, where 
exactly am I going? Oh, yeah, I'm going right there. Looking to see if I'm missing anything. I don't think so. What was that that I heard? Oh! Fucking spiders, dude. That thing leave me alone. Okay. Jesus. Fucking spiders. So this is it right here. Yeah, they all ended up in like much worse areas. <laughs> Life pod too. Oh, are these big? Oh, these are big. Contains blood vicines. Maybe processed into benzene. I need that for one of those upgrades. Oh. Let's open the storage here and put these boys in there. All right, cool. Let me drop this. Drop that. Oh shit, there's a, one of those assholes right there. <laughs> Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. A bilge pump. It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. Well, not too sure that worked out super well. Uh, I hear one of those fuckers. Um, Chad, am I missing anything in here? See anything? I, don't, I didn't really get much out of that. Uh, I think that was it. Well, I guess we should. We got this new thing for benzene, which is cool. Uh, let's explore just a little bit. Wait, are these the mushrooms? Wait, are these the freaking mushrooms? These might be the mushrooms. Yes! Uh, is there a way to get like, oh, that was a mistake. Oh my gosh, we got, oh, I did get seeds, spores. I don't know if I had to hit it to get spores. Oh, there's more of them right here too. Nom, 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 Run. Let's go. Let's freaking go. I'm waiting forever for these. Nom, 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 Now we're just missing the, like, nickel ore. Whatever. Oh, this was a good idea. I'm glad we came here. Oh, scan one. Um. JK, lol. Did I scan this? Yeah. Where's that warper? Deep shroom. Yeah, deep shroom. Okay, cool. I wonder if there's anything else to explore here if we get out. I see a glowing green thing right there. I'm not sure if that's something I've seen before. It might have already been though. Not sure. Didn't need to do upgrades. Okay, yeah, I wanna make like a grow bed or whatever it's called and put it in it. Get me out of here. So we got the blood oil thing and, oh, this is the green thing. Is that just the, that's just the ghost vine thing. We did see don't like that sound, don't like that sound. I'm not turning around. Do, 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 do. Get me out, get me out. I am gone. Da, 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 da. <laughs> don't like that sound. No thanks. What's that? A 
Uh, I don't need to make it. Oops. I don't need to make a beacon because I can just turn on the life pod beacon again. If I need to. What's that? Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'll go back here. Oh, I forget what I can make with this stuff, but I'm pretty sure there's some cool stuff we can make. Yeah. Just go back. Check on the sound. Nope, nope. Jesus. Have I seen them somewhere? I don't think that's anything new. Does it um, bring up the scan icon while you're in the... Oh, but then after this, we will go to the the gassy thing. It does not. Okay, there's something out there. No. Uh, I haven't seen that big dude again since the Aurora either. I don't like how the stasis rifles like may not work on super large things. Five percent hole, it's fine. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, let's see what we can do here. Let's uh, get our habitat builder. Let's at least store a bunch of these in here for now. And how do I do this? Indoor grow bed. That sounds good. Let's get some titanium. Indoor grow bed. Now, how do I plant things in you? Seeds. Oh, planter. Can I just put the seeds in it like this? If planted in the right conditions. It has to be underwater, doesn't it? Oh. Um. Outdoor grow bed. <laughs> uh, let's try that. Can I just plop it anywhere in here? Does it, does it attach to my thing? Or can I just plop it on the ground? Wait, what? Somehow I didn't grab an extra thing. Whatever. Oh, okay, cool. Let me see how it looks. Exterior grow bed. Uh, it doesn't... I guess it doesn't, like... <laughs> it's just... Uh... <laughs> I don't think that looks right. What if we just plop it down right here? Whatever. It's a little sideways right there. Uh, that looks like it's going to be jank. Ah, uh, walking, whatever. There's my grow bed. Best grow bed I've ever seen. It's fucking Farming gorgeous. <laughs> it's <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> Fuck it out. Uh, on a healthy, raw salad of live tree roaches <laughs> and stank root. You should grow the glow vine. Uh, God damn it. All right. So I guess these will grow eventually. Don't like that I'm getting hunted by something. Why am I hearing shit? Yeah. You can also grow the blood oil. Oh, really? Shit, let's do that. Uh, 
don't have it on me. Sea moth. I wonder if there's anything worth growing indoors that I've currently found. Blood oil. So, can I just put one of those boyos in there? Nice, it just makes a thing. Okay, we'll save the other one for some hot benzene action. Now, will they spread or something? Like, I only put one in there. Will it just grow? In, will the one plant produce multiple blood oils, I suppose? Um, how do I make benzene? I need three! Holy shit! <laughs> what the? You'll see, you did it fine. Uh, you knife plants to get seeds in all cases. Okay, that's good to know. Um, deep shrooms make multiple seeds when cut. Can I like plant, can I get one of these deep shrooms that I already have and convert it? It doesn't, okay, you can. I can't like convert it to seeds anymore though, right? I'm kind of out of luck on that. You gotta do it right when you first harvest it. Yeah, maybe I'll just plant my other one. Oh, whoops. Meant to do that. Plant it back. Oh, I can plant it. Wait, how do I do that? Oh. What? Okay, cool. Maybe I don't. Okay, I clearly don't understand how this works. So this is fine, right? Let's just do that. Oh, they're already grown. And then if I hit it right here. Oh my God! Yeah, it gives me so many extra seeds. Oh, okay, that's awesome. Cool, so we can just load up on those. Nice, all right, cool. And the gel sacks too. Oh, let's get another one then. Let's get another planter for the gel sacks. Uh, those are probably underwater too. Rip to that indoor grow bed. Um, what was it? Two titanium. What else did I need for the exterior grow bed? That's it. Cool, that's really helpful. Have a nice little grow area over here. Can I get rid of these bushes? Uh, is, this, is this gonna go right through it? <laughs> I'm so scared. No! <laughs> I was hoping it would build over it. <laughs> Looks great. She lied. Deconstruct. <laughs> this is the worst area to put these. It looks so bad. I've like, but I don't know where else to put them, honestly. They're gonna have, like, it's gonna be sloped or messed up. Is there like a, wait, 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 maybe, is there like a raised area that I could have put them on top of? Let's build a foundation. Oh, let me try the foundation. Okay, I haven't tried the foundation yet. Oh, what do I need for the foundation? Whoops, what do I need for the foundation? Just lead. Oh, thank goodness, I use for this lead. All right. <laughs> and some rouge after the foundation. All right. Whoa, foundation. Can I put that like here? Will that do a thing? Let's find out. I didn't do what I wanted it to do. Uh, foundation. I mean, <laughs> can I attach it to the side maybe? <laughs> Whoa. Oh no, this is the best thing I got so far. Oh yeah, that's the moon pool. <laughs> 
Base building hard. <laughs> Frick any frick, man. Uh, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> Can I take the stuff out of my grow beds? <laughs> Can I take them out? Oh shit. What is that? Oh, that's when I dropped. Uh, straight through. The uh. Uh, it's 49%. Okay, I'm gonna just have to wait. <laughs> I'm gonna just... All right. I think we're gonna just... Attach components must be deconstructed first. Wait. What? I can't deconstruct this! Oh no. Um, you know, this didn't quite work out like I had envisioned it in my head, but it's fine. So there's going to be, we'll just put some grow beds like on top of this and it's going to be great. I can't wait to put grow beds on top of that. This is why it's nice to build a foundation first. Yeah, uh, I now understand. I wish this would snap into a grid somehow on this, but whatever. I guess it's probably better to land like this. Well, I'm only gonna be able to put two per this thing anyway, I guess. Slightly off-center grow beds are making me so... <laughs> right. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Whatever, we'll figure out base building eventually. Um, yeah, it is a beak platform. Oh my goodness. Whatever. Looks like you could definitely fit four. Yeah, I'm thinking that too. No, 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 no. Okay. I mean, you could just like <laughs> hang them off the edge. Oh, I wish this had like a snapping grid. It would make me, cause it's, no, it's, it's basically impossible to line up, which just like slowly destroys me internally. It's tilted. Oh my God, you could put even more on there. I haven't died at all yet, if you can believe it. Cool, well we can put it like this. Ooh, they're getting bigger. 92%, so those grow pretty fast. This one's only 31% though, and 36. So those guys grow a little bit slower. We have like a million, a million sh mushrooms. I'll just get a couple more of these. But then otherwise, do I already have a bunch of deep shrooms? Yeah, okay, let's figure out what to do with the uh, deep shrooms. Let's figure out what to do with them. Growing. That's why all the voice logs talk Welcome about growing plants. Captain. I get it now. Um, Alright, what do I do with uh, the deep shrooms? There was something that I needed to do with them. Can I make anything new? Uh, not yet. With this. Oh, synthetic fibers. Oh my gosh, I can finally make the synthetic fibers once I get the blood oil. Yes, I need that for like 200 things. Okay, oh, and I can make the hydrochloric acid, which allows me to make this one, which I definitely needed in something. Okay, cool, so we need salt. Oh, 
Probably need to go get more salt. Be bad tomorrow. A little bit. Probably not in here. Okay. Deep mushrooms. Let's make some of this. Yeah, acid time. The water purifier. Alright, let's do the water purifier. Interior module. Where is it? Um, is it here? Interior pieces. Water filtration machine. Okay, I have an aerogel. Uh, copper wire and titanium. So that's two copper, some titanium. And I think I already have an aerogel hanging out somewhere. Maybe. Do I? Where did I use it? Maybe I ended up using it. Yeah, how do I make the aerogel again? Uh, aerogel. I need the gel sack and a ruby. Um, I need to plant those gel sacks, though. Let's plant that. Yeah, these... Oh, no, that's table coral. Where are the gel sacks? Here we go. I think I need to plant those, though. I don't want to use too many of them. And a ruby. Anything else I should be planting? Gel sack. Alien feces. <laughs> Do you need to organize your lockers? Maybe soon. All right, this grow bed will be these guys. These grow bed. What was that? This grow bed will be these guys. And then eventually I'm gonna get rid of this grow bed, but I gotta wait. Fuck am I hearing? I gotta wait for these guys to grow. They still have quite a ways to go. Oh, but these are done. Are they all done? Yeah, they're all done. All right, I'm just gonna get rid of all these. Get a full thing of mushrooms going. Up here. Seeds. Um, let's finish that other grow bit. I need like a lid or something. You can cut the gel sacks. Oh, really? Dull knife for item in bed? What? If it's purple, it's growable? I think I need it. Um, what do I need for these grow beds? It's just titanium. actually using my titanium let's go uh, oh wait I'll drop off the acid Whew, inventory or management is definitely a thing right now let's finish this grow bed and can I plop another one here heck yeah wrong button <laughs> Said, heck yeah! Grown things! Grown things! Alright, that is. That is enough. That is plenty of growing things. I suppose I could grow these, but they're everywhere. Um. No, 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 no. I've, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Need to knife to get seeds to plant them to get the big ones. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure there was something that I wanted to make with HCL. Oh no, I wanted to ten I want to convert it into this one for something. Polyaniline. Let's go uh let's go see what I needed for that. I just need to get a gold. Finally, I can use some gold. I forget what needed this, but one of the upgrades needs this. All right, so things we're trying to make. We're trying to make the reinforced dive suit. 
But in order to get the synthetic fibers, I have to wait for that blood stuff to grow. Um, which is under advanced materials, synthetic fibers. Yeah, I need to get three blood oils to make a benzene and then do that. So we'll wait for that one for a second. Other things I want to make. Uh, I want to make the repulsion cannon. I can basically just make that right now. Uh, we don't have the cyclops stuff yet, so I need to wait on the cyclops. But we're still we're looking for kyanite and nickel. Can't do that yet. There was some prawn upgrades I believe I can get over here. Prawn seat modules. Um, yeah, we can get the grappling arm. <laughs> Enhanced environmental traversal. So using the benzene that we're just getting, we could get that grappling arm. That's going to be cool. Uh, we've already got the drill arm. Um, we still can't make the jump jet upgrade or the thermal reactor, but we're closer. That needed polyaniline. Okay, yeah, so we still need nickel and kyanite for basically all that stuff. Dang. Is there a Seamoth one that I wanted? Oh, I can make the perimeter defense system. Um, generates a localized electric field, designs the worn off aggressive fauna. Yeah, that sounds nice. I wonder if I can electrocute myself with that. <laughs> the solar charger, eh. I don't want to make a module for that. All right, let's get a wiring kit. That's too silver. Oh, where's some silver? Let's see. Silver ore. Make a wiring kit. Now we can make that. So I figure, like... I, I wish I just I wish I didn't have to get rid of one of them for this though, but maybe getting rid of the sonar as much as I love the sonar ah, The sonar might get me out of a sticky situation though Which one of these do we get rid of definitely keeping the hull reinforcement? Definitely have to keep the death module. So it's basically do I want storage sonar or defense system? I don't know how good the defense system is um, You could just keep the sonar in the locker and now that is a smart idea Let's just put the sonar in the storage. Boom. Okay, so if I like super hella lost and I really want to use it, then we can still use it. I like that. Good idea. I found a linguist on YouTube that describes this in detail. Yeah. Uh, all right, cool. Change out those batteries. What do I need for more of this? Salt. Okay, wait, I was trying to build something else. What were we trying to build? We were trying to build the water filtration machine. Right, and then I needed aerogel, and then I got massively sidetracked. Um, so I need a gel. Oh yeah, I need the gel sack for the ruby, and we're waiting for the gel sacks to grow, I think. Yeah. Oh, do I need to, um, do I need to hit one of these still? Pick up gel sack. I think it's done. Oh. Okay, I can get three seeds per, or I can hit it twice. And I can just hit it twice and then just pick it up, though. Wait. Yeah. Hit it twice. Pick it up. Hit it twice. Oops, geez. Okay, so I can use these and then keep those going. I didn't know you could grow more. Yeah, this is so nice. Keep a spare Seamoth battery in the locker too. Not a bad idea. Because I wanted one, um, I wanted one, I was just carrying it on me. May as well just toss it in the storage. Good idea, chat. Power cell. Uh, what else do we need for my, oh yes, the aerogel. Let's see, aerogel, there it is, aerogel. Now, 
we still need uh, just a copper wire and three titanium. Oh my god, my inventory. Uh, let's go ahead and drop off some of these. Yes, let's drop off some of these mushrooms. Copper, titanium. Actually running out of titanium. Holy shit. Do I even have more titanium? Wow, we're literally out of titanium. Holy fuck. Alright, let's make a... Might need to make a new... Whoa! Oh, so it needs, like, the whole wall. I mean... RIP my indoor grow bed for right now. Inventory full. Uh... that poster yeah there we go cool water filtration machine minus one to base hull strength now 3.8 um. <laughs> wait what do I put into it <laughs> uh, what what do I put into it? Oh, it makes stuff, you just wait. Oh, okay, cool. Do I have to like, I notice I can make, um, what is it? Reinforcement increases hull integrity. I'm gonna build one of those just so nothing blows up. <laughs> I don't know if I need to, but I don't like the idea of it telling me that my hull integrity is trash. Why won't it let me build this? Why not? Reinforcement increases hull integrity. Oh, you can do it on the inside. Okay. Gotcha. Let me just try one and see what it does. Oh, do you, oh, it's like instead of putting something, I can do one of these, but I can't do one of these because I've already got shit everywhere. Okay, I guess this isn't what I wanted. I can't use it. Put them right in the hatch tunnel. Can I put them right where I came in? Oh, okay. Now, is this gonna like make the whole thing more stable? Oh, plus seven, now 10.8, okay. Okay, I don't know if I need to do that or not, but may as well. And this thing will slowly make water, and that's cool. I like it. So I can drink my crappy water now and just get rid of it. Um, all right. Let's see, so did we end up having the stuff we needed for this? Yeah, I need to, okay, the main limiting thing right now is farming more of those like blood things. Oh, it's so close. 93%. Okay. Um, let's just finish off this planter here with these mushrooms. I will have plenty of these now. Probably don't need more mushrooms anymore, but just get these out of my inventory. <laughs> All right. Um, and I don't know if I need the gel sacks, but we'll leave them in here for now. That one is a growing one, and this is a finished one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Da 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 da. There we go. Nice. I wonder if I need another power thing on this. This doesn't have any more power. What's the power at? Thirty more. Captain. Yeah, I need more power. Let's do one more uh, power thing outside. Let's see. I just need one more titanium and two quartz. Um, we are going to go get some more titanium. Who knew? There's one quartz, two quartz, and officially out of titanium. Do I have a part?
partially completed grow bed outside. More solar panels. And I'm gonna need to go get a whole bunch of titanium. So in that case, Warning, emergency power only. Yeah. Oxygen oh. production. Offline. I just realized it's not gonna work because the power is offline. Well, um, <laughs> I'll be close to morning. Let's see. Not that close to morning. Oh, uh, oh we need to go find more titanium. Yeah, maybe the blood thing's grown. In the morning, I'll probably go put um, searching for. What are they called? I forget what it's called, but search, searching for the things that, uh... There we go. Should make a bed. Power blood restored. vine. Now, what do I do with the blood line. vine? Do I hit it with, um... Do I hit it with this? To get more? Do not knife. Okay. The blood vine will start growing pickable fruits. Gotcha. So we just need to let it cook. Oh my god, look at these guys. Oh, it's only 82%. Okay. Uh, here's the plan, though. We're gonna set this to, um... Fragment? And that's gonna get us filled up with titanium again. Um... Do, 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 do. Yeah, there we go. Let's uh, dump this stuff off. Here. Oh, that's full. Then. Go fill up on titanium. Is that how the keep calm poster? Yeah, I need to get that. Oh, water 29%, salt 50. Oh, okay, so it's gonna end up producing a water and a salt at some point. Then I'll be able to grab them from in here. Huh, cool. Whoa, I like it. It looks cool. <laughs> I do need to go get that poster. <laughs> Wait, pick up blood oil. Um, so should I just pick that blood oil up? I see. This one I can't grab yet, I don't think. And now if I just use the planter, I can replant the blood oil. Ah, there we go. Okay. So the water does have salt. How does the bleach work? You're right. Well, maybe there's, uh, maybe it's perfectly 0.9% salt, which is exactly what you would like to drink anyway. It's fine, right? It's, it's just saline. Cyclops fragments.
Yeah, we're getting titanium. <laughs> there we go. getting rid of all these so that anything that does still appear on my scanner has a higher probability of actually being useful. These are the ones that are close by to me. I wonder if there's any Cyclops fragments within 500 meters of the little base. Oh, uh, inventory's full of this, right? Let's go ahead and pop down a new grow bed. <laughs> what was I just trying to build? Hmm. Problem I have in this game. I keep forgetting what I'm doing. Because I'm doing because then I do something else. Because I need to do something else to do something else. Hey, we can make a trash can. Wall planner. Purely decorational. That's cute. Oh yeah, I did put the new power thing up, that's right. Yeah. Um power should be fine. With the one extra. And we're just, oh yeah, we're trying to get some more of these. That's what we're trying to do. There we go. Can I, oh, I can't get that. Huh. Pretty sure that I can't get that yet. Okay, so I gotta let these cook more. I need more of these. They grow so slow. Unless it'll start producing multiples at some point. Yeah, I don't think I can. Scan plant. Oh. Oh, I can get it. Wait. Yeah, pick up blood oil. There we go. There we go. Alright, definitely want to just keep this production up because these produce kind of slow. So, I think it's... I think the play is to just wait on those. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's do something else and then when we come back we'll actually be able to use those, hopefully. This one off. Yeah, there we go. They're beautiful. Okay, cool. What are you doing? Oh, this thing doesn't make water very fast, by the way. <laughs> I have to admit, it's still like. 78%. So I think I'm still gonna have to either I'm gonna have to either just make another one of them or I'm gonna have to just go get a bunch of water anyway. Oh well. Crow needs a farmer's hat. <laughs> um Alright, let's go do some more exploring while all this stuff cooks. But we're gonna need to snag some water. Actually we have water and stuff in here. And let's go ahead and um while we're at it, I've got all these creature eggs. Oh my goodness, I should make a creature egg thing. I don't know what to do with the floaters yet. I can turn the propulsion cannon into the repulsion cannon. Haven't done that yet. Prawn suit poster, toy. 
Writhing weed seeds, acid, acid mushroom seeds. Don't want any of those. Radiation helmet. Yeah, the keep calm poster. I want that one. And then what's in this one? I don't remember anymore. Eggs. <laughs> so many eggs. No more radio. I guess we'll snag one of those. I'm just gonna drink this water. Oh, this is all disinfected water, actually. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's start using it. Cyclops engine efficiency module. Wait, I probably want to call that. I completely forgot about that. Another random egg in here. Okay. Not Gary. I didn't mean to pick it up. Sorry, Gary. I meant to... No! <laughs> Click the wrong button. Alright, whatever. I guess we're just cooking fish. I wasn't trying to cook fish, but now we're just cooking fish. Welcome aboard, Captain. You've done all this stuff without dying? Yeah, I'm actually surprised. I have I almost died probably three times. Um, I almost died to a warper. I almost died to just random shit blowing up. And like, I almost died to just stupid jelly fit or like jelly tendrils touching me too. It was also pretty stupid. Um, Soho, thank you so much for the sub. It's really appreciated. Drive for a thousand meters looking for Cyclops parts? It might be. I mean, it's either that or I can go... I do have a base. I do have a... I don't know where... Is it not marked? I have like a beacon thing that I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, the proposed Degasi habitat. It's full of warpers, which scares me a little. And we already found Life Pod 2. So... I think I'll turn that one off. I got the entrance there. And then I'm kind of interested in, um, you can turn the off. Kind of interested in, um, that thing too, but that's again full of warpers. I wanted to make that new suit, but these guys are slow. These guys are heckin' slow. Oh yeah, let's jump off the bus. Oh wait, that's the prawn suit. <laughs> I wanted to keep calm one right here. Put the prawn suit one in the moon pool. Eh. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's the cutest poster of all time. All right. And in here we can put the prawn suit one. Ron suit poster. Yeah. Yeah. Prawn suit poster. It's staring down the sea moth. Which one's better? We'll find out. I need to upgrade it more though. What's SPZ, Voyager? Uh, hey Soho. Job hunt is going like I guess job hunts do. I did a Zoom interview and I have another, I have an in-person interview. Um, I'm not like completely sold it's the right fit for me, but I'm willing to give it a shot So I'm at least gonna do the in-person interview. We shall see. Oh below zero Yeah, I don't know I don't know Can I put this on top of my locker? Oh, I can't Dang we can put a night we can put it in <laughs> This is my silly spot I'll put it here for now <laughs> Hey Whoa, it's filling up. Oh, that's cool. I, we actually have a water filter, a uh, water purifier um, that makes deionized water in the lab. And it this reminds me of it totally. <laughs> uh, holy shit, look at that. Plus 50 water. Damn. All right, that's pretty epic. I'm not gonna lie. That was a good purchase. That was very good. Damn, large filter water. That's pretty cool. 
Oh yeah, the Cyclops engine thing. Let's go ahead and just store that for now. We don't need the salt. Um, put that engine module away for now. I'm gonna just dump those. But otherwise, I think we are, I probably need one of these. I think we're good to go. That is very, very handy. All right, cool. Uh, one more quick check to see if there's any more blood oil because this is like super limiting right now. Oh, there is one more. Two more? Blood oil. Oh, three. You know what? I'm going to use these three blood oil instead of planting more. I think with three, of, with just three of these, I think I can get the better suit. And I'm going to die less in that suit, so I want it. I think it reduces damage by like 50%. Let me check. I think I make benzene. And then using the benzene, I make... What do I need? This thing. I need synthetic fibers. Um, which might be advanced materials, synthetic fibers. I need a fiber mesh. Uh, basic materials. I need two creep vine samples for fire. Do I already have fiber mesh? That's silicone rubber. I might not have any made already. So I might need to go get some creep vines real fast. Yeah. I don't think I have any. Okay, let's go get some creep vines real fast. Put that guy on here. You can grow the creep vines too. Shit. They're huge. Um, but I mean, there's so many right here, right? Creep vine cluster. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I recall, that's gonna be like my whole inventory. Yeah. I did almost drown once. I think twice actually. I blacked out and I didn't die. I like, I like crested the surface as the screen was completely black. And I... Is, uh, growing creep vine is only worth if you have a base that's all the way in the deep ocean. Yeah, I, I figure you could take the basic stuff and then bring it out to your deep base. You kind of have everything. Um, but so far it doesn't quite seem worth making a new base yet. I bet it will soon. Wait, I didn't... <laughs> that wasn't the right thing. May as well just make this lubricant, but that was the wrong thing. I need to hit him with my knife, I think. You should watch the speedrun, this game is so broken. Yeah, I had an excursion on the Aurora. <laughs> where uh, I kind of like got on top of the Aurora. And it was hella glitched. I was like clipping through the wall and stuff. It definitely made me think there's got to be ways to like clip through shit. Drowning Simulator is a fun game. Neurido Bell, thank you so much for the 56 months. It is super appreciated. Thank you so much. Janky hack, mate. Alright, let's make fiber. We're so close to this reinforced dive suit. We need the synthetic fiber. Now we need two diamonds and two titanium, which we have somewhere. Two diamonds. Let's go. Got a chest full of titanium somewhere. Oh, there's two in here. Two titanium. All right, hopefully now even I can't die. Let's go. Heavy synthetic fiber providing physical protection and enhanced survival in extreme temperatures. I'm wondering if this was going to allow me to uh, access some of those. Oh, a radiation suit. Well, hopefully I don't need that. <laughs> uh, I guess I should make like another chest somewhere with some extra crap in it. Or can I just toss another chest? Uh, sure, why not? Oh, I need a quartz. This will be like not materials, but just random shit chest. The random shit locker. Why oh, won't it go further? Whatever. Reinforced gloves. Oh, what the? 
made those as well. Reinforced gloves. What are these gloves? Oh, these are just radiation gloves. Okay, so we'll put the radiation stuff in here in case we ever want it later. Cool. And probably forget about them with any luck. <laughs> All right, uh, drop off the fiber mesh. And I think we're good to go. I don't know what the next thing we need is, like the next major thing. Got most of this stuff already. We still need to figure out how to make the Cyclops. Repulsion cannon. All right, I'm gonna make the repulsion cannon. We need a computer chip and two magnetite. Computer chip, two table coral, gold, and copper. I have all that, gold. Uh, two table coral, two copper somewhere, which I might have, maybe, possibly, hopefully. One copper. Shit! <laughs> How did I run out of copper again? I'm just always out of copper. Man, this game doesn't have enough copper in it. Oh. Just never, ever have enough copper. I don't know if the repulsion cannon's any good. I think limestone has copper in it. Yeah. Why don't you put copper in a grow bed to farm it? You know I would if I could. Oh yeah, this one I literally can't find the entrance to this cave, I think. Maybe this is it. Nope, this isn't it we're leaving though. I give, I'm 100% just giving up. Wait, that's it, there it is. Yes. Damn it, titanium, actually I need titanium now. Okay, honestly I feel like I need two more of these though. Just to top me off, doing all this stuff. Titanium. Here things that I don't like. building extravaganza recently but pretty much got everything I want now so I really wanted to upgrade the prawn suit actually so I don't have everything I wanted <laughs> but got everything other than that Is there any more? emergency power okay I still need to put another power thing in there Oh man. Uh, drop these guys. Yeah. Drop those guys. What is? Copper. Don't need to take that. Oh, Alright, that's good. Let's get out of here. Just stick one more solar panel on there and then. Today, should we to make the grapple arm? Yeah, I think I can. I've got the one that makes it. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. It's going to make. Oh, I can't use it. I can use it. Need that gold for making something I was going to make. Let's go ahead and make a new um, solar panel. I need two titanium and two quartz, which I should have. Two titanium. Quartz somewhere here. Yeah, two titanium, two quartz. Okay. And I'll grab an extra copper. Let's go 
go put another solar panel on it. Time for a real generator. It's definitely seeming close to be that time because we keep running out of power now. Let's put another solar panel on here. Let's see if these guys are growing anymore. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that one's already full. I'm gonna make another one of these up here. a solar panel at night look I'm preparing for the next day all right <laughs> I needed it I needed it the following day um, I remember I was making a copper wire but I don't remember what it was for I'm making a copper wire for something uh, oh yeah I was making the um, I need to unpin everything unpin all I was making the repulsion cannon right so I needed to make a computer chip Now I need to get my other cannon and two magnetite, which I should have. Yeah. And the other cannon, I think, is outside. We're going to move that stuff inside here. That'll be better. There we go. An engineer would have simply whacked the habitat with a wrench. Yeah, repulsion cannon. <laughs> I don't know what I needed for, but I'm assuming what it is is that like the game designers were like, when you were in the Aurora, you needed the propulsion cannon to move stuff. But then it's like, okay, you don't need to move stuff anymore. So let's turn it into something else that affects later in the game. I'm assuming that was their design process there. And I didn't need the other, I don't need the other cannon anymore, but I don't really know. Not really, no. Gravity gun renamed, yeah. Um, well, I really want to try that one out. Unfortunately, my inventory is getting super full with like the stasis rifle on this. I, I really do wish that there had been an inventory enhancement of some sort. That's like the one thing I'm kind of sad about. Propulsion cannon is fun. I'm excited to try it out. All right, um, probably ready to go exploring. Does anything else need a new battery? Not really, I think we're good. Finally got a little more copper. All right. Honestly, I don't see myself using the Pathfinder tool right now, so maybe I'll stick the Pathfinder tool in my... It's just one inventory spot, though. Like, you know, maybe I'm gonna want it. Who knows? I don't know. Oh, I want to clear some stuff out of my inventory, but I'm never quite sure what to get rid of. All right, what is? What is? How's the salt farmer doing? You've never once made the Pathfinder tool. I found it helpful when I'm in like the, when I was in the Aurora, I found it helpful a few times. A lot of time it doesn't point like the direction you really want it to point though. I guess I need to just, would need to just set up. It points towards the last one. Yeah. I wish it didn't fire. It, it just like, if it would just drop it in front of me instead of firing, it would be less annoying. You don't need the time capsule at all anymore. Uh, you never used it either. But then again, you also died in a cave after getting lost, so there's that. Um, I'm gonna take a quick break to use the restroom. 
Uh, and then let's go brave the warpers and die or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be back in just two seconds, and then uh, then we will do it. <laughs> Probably pause the game. Probably pause the game. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, here is the goal. The goal is to fully explore the proposed Degasi habitat. It looked like it was full of warpers and other beasties. Can we do it in one run? Without dying, make it back safe. Can we fully explore and and make it back? 
in one go yes or no two minute long prediction that's what we're gonna try to do let's friggin go the reward will hopefully be being able to build a prawn suit but I think we're good on or done with upgrades for now we need to get more we need to get like the nickel and stuff before we can make anything else we got our fancy new water we got a reinforced dive suit we got a repulsion cannon. I'm gonna absolutely use that to blast the warfers away from me if I need to. I think we're good to go. Let's heck and go. Um, got plenty of water. Honestly, one food is okay. Yeah. I'm gonna just grab one peeper. Just top me off before we go. And then let's do it. We got our beautiful farm going. Looking good. Add food and water to the dive suit. What? You get two slots back by putting the capsule away? I don't know what you mean. Capsule? Oh, that's a decoy. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. That's, um, I'm, I'm keeping that on me because it makes me feel safe. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually making me safe, but it makes me feel safe to have it. So I have it. All right, there we go. Let's do it. I'm ready. Got my sword. hi -ya! All right. Ah, I missed. All right, uh, let's repair this. Let's repair this. Uh, All systems online. Now systems online. Repair tool, please. Stop breaking. Gee, I wonder why it's breaking. I don't know who keeps ramming it into things. Wouldn't be me. The base doesn't repair Yoshi. Yeah, I'm surprised. I kind of expected it to. Okay. Um, dang, the eel, eel layer of jelly lava is so much closer to this other thing. Oh, we got the defense system too. <laughs> I'm assuming it takes power and it like zaps things. I hear, I need to try it out. Let's try zapping something. <laughs> How do I do it? <laughs> oh, it makes them all run away. Cool. Okay, we zapped them. Splat, splat, splat. Hi, Twango. Uh, thank you so much for the raid. What were you playing? We're doing our first playthrough ever of Subnautica. Having a great time. Just got a bunch of upgrades. Um, yeah, I'm playing on hardcore mode, so if we die once, it's all over. <laughs> I haven't died yet, amazingly. But we're about to explore somewhere new that looks very scary, so this could be it. You can hold down the mouse button to charge the blast. Okay, cool. Good to know. Don't be a Zapdos. You were hacking the APU clock of a SNES to fix every single clock issue for every <laughs> SNES owner. And hacking things. Somniatica. Avroy. Alright, I need to pay attention now so we don't die. Somewhere... Oh wait, where is, yeah, entrance is right here. Is that also an entrance, potentially? There's the thing right there. We had found an entrance right there, but now I can't help but wonder if this is also an entrance. Let me take a look-see right here. Let's not bonk anything. Wait, this is like so much closer. Let's go here instead. This looks good. I think that beacon was somewhat misplaced. Maybe I just couldn't find an entrance over here. Whoa, this thing looks new. I hear shit. Yeah, there's one of those dudes right there. Any more dudes? 
Okay, I think I might be safe to get out though. Let's just uh, I'll see if I can scan these. Nope, I don't know what this stuff is. Kind of hate it. I'm looking for new resources though. Where are the dudes? Okay, they're not super close to me. We're looking for new resources. We need like nickel and something. I don't really see anything though. Oh, let's go ahead and top off the water. It's one of those guys right there. Alright. Um, there doesn't appear to be anything new here. Let's keep looking. Oh fuck that thing! Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> I hate it. Oh, this I think this was inspired. Have any of you played Echo the Dolphin? Those things. Those things remind me of the aliens in Echo the Dolphin. I wonder if this game was inspired by that. That was also a scary underwater game. Is that a rocket ship on the right? Uh. What the fuck is that? What am I supposed to do about that thing? I got my... Here, let's get this ready. I got the defense thing armed. Oh, shit. I don't know if... Let's see if it comes after me. Damn, what are you? Whoa. You know, I'm kind of not loving anything right now. I think it left ish. Oh shit. Oh, I want to just go over there, but I'm also very afraid of everything. Always. I wonder if it'd actually be safer down here somewhere. Most of those guys seem like they're kind of higher up. All right, we're going. Shit. We're going in. I don't think I can go in it right there. How do I enter? How do I enter it? find the way in. Here. Here's the way in. Oh, this is horrible. This is absolutely... Absolutely. There's that fucker right there. I don't know how afraid of that... Oh, there's another one. There's two of them. Let's just keep the Seamoth right at the entrance here. <laughs> Woo! All right, this looks fun. Um, I'm going to put... I don't know if I want the Stasis Rifle or the Repulsion Cannon. I haven't tried the Repulsion Cannon yet. Applies percussive force to enemies in a range. So let's get that one hotkeyed. We'll keep the Repulsion Cannon out. All right, fuck it. We're going in. Oh, God. Seamoth is in the way. Okay, we're going in. Seamoth is blocking the entrance, all right? Jesus. Can I scan any of this shit? No, it would tell me, right? I can scan that. Alien containment. This thing's so hard, man. This is quite the fucking area right here. Data box. Oh, is this for the Cyclops? Cyclops shield generator, man. But I still can't make the Cyclops itself. Oh, okay. If I miss anything, feel free to point it out, Chad, before I leave. If I miss like something to scan. Okay, we could explore down there. Let's explore the top level first. So there's my Seamoth. Let's explore the top level first. Okay, looks like we probably have a PDA here. Let's see what they say. Abandoned PDA. Disaster! I with you, risking our lives. Oh, stow it, Chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. But 
Tell her. That was interesting. She said without fish to study, and but the log here says without specimens for his research. Huh. I have had it with you risking our lives. Oh, stow it, chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. What? Tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. <laughs> it means you're being okay, I do love her voice actress, though. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. But we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bart, Torical has disembarked the habitat. Bart, come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I knew you can hear me. Walks outside immediately into Chief. a Leviathan. Chief, get off the radio <laughs> and put on your helmet. What? Brace! Margaret's a badass, yeah. <laughs> well, um, that went about as well as I thought it'd go. Honestly amazed that they built this thing in the first place. Okay, let's uh, refresh our oxygen and then we'll go down the, um, then we'll go down there. How are we doing outside here? So that means there could be a leviathan here, by the way, which I don't even know what that is yet. So all I know is that they said leviathan class organism are in this environment. My, my, my like PDA or something said that. Or uh, maybe my something, my something said that at some point. Did I get this? Yeah, I got that. Okay, let's go down. <laughs> Fucking fuck was that? My light went out when it did that. It's like it disabled. It was like an EMP. I wonder if I should leave my light off to the extent that I can. But anyway. Hi. How are you? Everything going okay? Say, kid, I brought you something. Is that a leviathan outside? <laughs> Towed it home on the back of the sub. You killed that <laughs> She just still undid breathing. one and killed it. I was about to finish the job, but I what can the fuck? chat if you'd like. No? Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? Oh, well, then it, it, it wasn't dead. Oh, others come. You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord, or got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this planet, I am going to drag you through every court in the damn Federation. Oh my god, Paul is so annoying. Well, all right. It's pretty metal. Pick up fluid analyzer. Oh, non-functional. Hey, it's Sigma. Oh my god, it says SEMA. That's hilarious. Uh, Sigma is the company that makes like all my science equipment. So I see Sigma on everything at work in the lab. And this looked like the label from a distance. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go back in. Let's go back in the Seamoth and get more oxygen. Real quick here. In just a second. Did you just, just? 
I thought it destroyed my Seamoth. Jesus, fuck. A repulsion cannon? Um, I don't know. Okay, scanner. Stasis rifle repair tool. Okay, the Seamoth seems to. <laughs> I don't know if- Oh, Jesus. I'm running out of oxygen, which is not great, by the way. Ah! <laughs> uh... Oh, Jesus, fuck. It ran. It ran. I hit it with the I hit it with the thing and it ran. I fucking hit it with the thing and it ran. Ah! All right. Um, let's go back down here. Wait, right here it is. Let's go back down here. The stasis thing, I'm not sure if it did anything. Um or I couldn't tell if my thing was just, I don't know. Orange tablet, that's a new one. That's a new one, right? I think the other one wasn't orange, it was purple. Okay, I don't think... I don't think there's anything else here, but if I have missed something, Feel free to let me know. So the uh, Seamoth wasn't restoring my oxygen while it used its little EMP thing. Which uh, makes me want to keep my oxygen a little higher than I had been. Okay, I also want to make sure this thing is actually repaired. Yeah, it's not repaired. Alright, there we go. Thank goodness we got that hole plating! Oh, there was a manual on the floor next to the PDA. Um, okay, but there's another section downstairs. Uh, let me see if there's something I missed a scan. Um, okay, if I let me just do a quick wait. I didn't. I didn't restore my oxygen. Hold on. This thing is gone, right? Okay. Um. Looking for stuff to scan, didn't see anything there. Let's check down here again. You thought I might have missed something? These guys I don't want. I don't love all the sounds outside. I don't see anything to scan. I don't see the scanner icon coming up at all. Creature egg. I mean, why the fuck not? There's an egg on the floor. Yeah, I got that one. Can't scan that. Okay, I think we're good. Happy sounds, yeah. I don't see anything else. So let's see if there's another entrance. Whew, what a game. <laughs> what a game this is. This here game is. All right, let's see if we can find another entrance. I wonder if there's something in those I too. I don't think so. Oh, there's a PDA right there. Literally a PDA right here. Integrating new PDA data. Came out of nowhere. An alien kraken, bigger than a cyclops, tore a hole clear through the reinforced alien hull. Kraken. I think that's the I thing. better got my breather in time. I told her. I said others would come. The rupture threw me clear of the habitat. And the monster turned and bore down on me. And just as its tentacles came within reach, <laughs> the mater appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand. A jagged piece of scrap metal. And a jagged metal piece of scrap metal in another. Butcher that beast or die trying. The wow. last I saw her, 
She had the metal lodged in its wow. back. The monster did its best to shake her, <laughs> torting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then I thought I saw a light deep below me. I hope maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now I wonder yep. whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. Dang. <laughs> the Scottish accent is gold. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright. So we got a PDA there. Yeah, I didn't go through. Oh, here's the other entrance. Here's the other entrance. Oh, man. I'm just so curious. Like, if we were to just explore, you know, if I were just to dive straight down and just explore everywhere, like, there's so much cool stuff that I want to explore in this game, but I'm also terrified to on a hardcore run. <laughs> I'm really happy we invested in that EMP. So far, the repulsion cannon, I haven't found a. What? <laughs> uh, world best! <laughs> Fangra? Please stop fighting and listen. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biometrics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's, something it's not in the database. Come on, then. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere every organism on this planet it's altering our genetic code uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected <laughs> i don't know yet want me to cut some of them open for you find out what makes them tick no just tell me what you need son <laughs> materials equipment just can i have some quiet i need some time to think hmm so i wonder if they actually discovered something about that before getting annihilated Oh, what is this? Swim charge fins? What is that? Mm. New blueprint. It's probably a fire. Yeah, I got the alien containment thing. I know about that. Where is these swim charge fins? Wirelessly charges your health tool while you swim? What? So that's just no more need for batteries swim charge fins it's like uses the power of you swimming to charge stuff i love that <laughs> uh you can scan the orange tablet i picked up now how do i scan it when it's already in my inventory i guess i could drop it and then scan it okay hold on drop it and then let's um pull out my scanner again damn that's cool the future is now scanner I always forget to scan stuff. Okay. Uh, the device hums slightly. It displays an orange lit symbol resembling an N. It may offer a way to interact with compatible technologies. Okay, so now we have an or a purple tablet and an orange tablet. Sweet. And uh, we can make a coffee from the coffee box. Yay, coffee box. Oh, these fucking bags, man. Those Screw those bags. Those bags are an absolute lie. Wait, what can I scan here? Picture frame, hell yeah. I don't want my auction to get too low. Okay, still. All right, that might be it. Um, pick up carry all. Is it empty? Yeah, it's empty. All right, I think that's it. Well, it looks like this was... We didn't really learn anything new or get any new clues out of this, though, other than just the story of how they got bodied. Hmm. I mean, maybe I should explore down in this area, but also fuck this area. <laughs> At the same time. We got the alien containment. Oh, I suppose we could put our eggs in that question mark smiley face. <laughs> Oh, all right, fill up the oxygen. Let's have a look-see around us. I think that creature's... 
<laughs> turns lights off. <laughs> There's another data thing outside. Uh, okay, let me see if I've forgotten. I did. Let's get this thing ready to fire as well. Another data thing outside. Looking, looking, looking. Are you sure about that? Maybe if I explore a bit. Yeah, I did find one outside. Okay, question is, do I go deeper or do I? Okay, I think you got them all. Yeah, we could, Um, you should check out the bottom of this cave. I don't really want to do that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. In which chat tries to get me killed. Well, I don't see anything horrible right here, so let's at least go right here. We're at 565. There's not even any new ore here. Come on, where's like the nickel and shit? Where's where's like the nickel and shit? About 87% power, we're gonna find. Dude, imagine if that creature like took 10% of the sea moss power every time it used that ability, like 10% of it just drained. Oh shit, that would be wild. What's that? I think that's an aura I already have. But I can't tell to be sure, so let's just check. Diamond. Probably stay in the sea moth. I just can't. I think that's or. No, it's not. <laughs> it's just tricking me. I feel pretty invincible with my little EMP, at least. Oh, there's like uh, another one. There's more of the thermal vents. Not EMP. Electrical shock thing. Well, I don't know if there's anything deeper here. Where was that? That was up there. It's almost safer down here. We already have the gel. Those are just. There are creature eggs all over the place in here, which, uh, well, I guess I can put them in my alien containment. Don't need that. Not really any place to go deeper that I'm seeing. Oh, this might be. Oh, this is deeper. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's no, no, no. It's not new. One of those guys is right there. What is this pool? Fuck is that pool? I'm not going into that. There ain't no fucking way I'm going into that. Not until I figure not until I get some clue about what it is. Or if I have no nowhere else to go. <laughs> Alright. I don't see anything super interesting other than potential pools of doom that I'm not exceptionally interested in going into I think down here this is sort of a slightly different area there's thermal pools can I take this beacon Oh. All right, we can still get back there using the other beacon thingy thing. Um, man, 
I still don't know where to get nickel and stuff though. Hmm. You know what I kind of want to explore? I kind of want to explore um, where we got it. Let's see. Beacon manager, eel lair. Uh, no, no, stalker doom web lair. This one, this one. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to explore that one. Proposed to Gothi habitat. Hmm. Can I also build the creature thing? Oh, uh, and the five percent wins. <laughs> Was it only five percent, really? You can find nickels on the sidewalk. Wow, we're fifteen hundred meters away from home right now. It's pretty wild. Hey, we didn't die. <laughs> that was fun. I think that's diamond. Warpers doing warpy things. What's that? That's just regular stuff, right? Yeah, it's just regular stuff. I mean, hell, I need more copper and silver. Why not? <laughs> Um, if I still have a lot of inventory room and something, maybe I'll just eat something outside real fast. Maybe we can still explore that, because yeah, I still have my really good water. Still have my good water to use. Creature egg. Hmm. Um, let me see if I can just cook some fish here. If I can, then we can stay here for a little bit, maybe. Knife makes this much easier. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, I have the, I found a really interesting area over there. Let's go check it out. make it back yes yep all right here's my here's the prediction well I find a new or or material in web area yes or no Stalker Doom Layer webs. It's not even Stalker, they're Warpers. I didn't know I didn't know how to what they were called when I named it though. Didn't fully explore. It's true. I didn't uh, I didn't go into the green thing. But I just I said I, I actually meant fully well when I wrote it, I, I said fully explore the Degasi structure, which I did do. So that is how I said it. Oh yeah, so right here. Yeah, this is a new area right here. This is gonna be fun, I'm sure. Oh shit, there's like an electric eel dude there too. Uh, let's, hold on, let's repair my hull real fast. go going in only 78 charge is pretty much that's fine wow it goes so deep so fast here uh i think that's just like quartz or whatever i think that's new 
What are these things? Oh, there's not one of those dudes right there. Let's go over here. Oh, these are just the blood things. All right. Okay, we did find these elsewhere. Okay, we don't need that anymore. That's just sh uh, shale, right? Yeah. That's so much diamond. Is this just quartz? Yeah. Yet. Deeper! <laughs> okay, I suppose this is. Oh. What is that? What was that? Oh, lots of uranite crystals. Interesting. Super lucky. I wish it would give me like nickel or whatever the other one is. Cool. We take those. So these electric boyos, I'm just staying away from them. <laughs> it's my strat in this game. Yeah, just stay away from it. This goes to about 400. Uh, I could still go straight up to get out. Hello, cave. Hello, spider cave. I could go into that spider cave. Maybe I'll put a beacon here, though, and we'll come back to it. Because I don't see anything worth getting right now. I wish I could drop a beacon to the outside of their foot. I'll put a beacon here. Spider cave. Where's my beacon? Dang it. Beacon. Spider cave. You can always knife a random new plan in scam chat. But yeah, I was looking to see if there's like anything on the ground that I haven't seen before, but like there's that green egg, there's the blood thingy things, there's like quartz. I just don't see anything new that's worth braving a whole bunch of spiders for right now. So I think, I think we don't, we don't find anything new. Go into spider cave. All right, Flips. I'll go into the spider cave. Flips has coaxed me into going into the spider cave. Let's do it. How much do you like non-microbiome? I like, I like all science. All right, we're going into spider cave. I hate this. I'll have you know, I fucking hate this. Absolutely fucking hate this. Everything about it, I hate. Is that an egg? I, I want to get that. You. Fuck off for a second. That takes up so much energy. <laughs> All right. I can't even get it. It does nothing. Damn it. That's nothing. Uh, yay, 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 yay. Looks like I can just go out from up here. Anything else in the cave worth exploring? I didn't see anything. Have you gathered the deep mushrooms? Yeah, I have them growing at my base. Those blood thingy things, we got those. Doesn't it go further? Oh, this is deeper right here by quite a bit. 
That's a ruby right there. Stupid fish. Uh, take that ruby. But that's not new. I don't want to run out of power. There's a bunch of dudes there. I feel like this is the place to put the beacon. Look at that. There's a lot more. This area looks cool and a lot deeper right here. So uh, let's do that next. But I don't know. I think we're I think we're gonna head back to the service from here. Oh, we already did what we came for. Oh, can I even get out here? Maybe. What is that? That's a ceiling. <laughs> oh, okay. Or we'll get lost. You know, that's fine. Oh, I might need that sonar module. Yeah, I know. I have the backup power. Go away, nerds. Now we should be able to go. Oh, stop spiraling. Okay. Now we should be able to go up from here. Or it's still a cave. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Where's the way out? We might need. Uh... Where's the way out? Here was the spider cave, and we had gone. Let me remind myself here. That's where we went into the spider cave, right? Let me check. Yeah, that's where we went into the spider cave. So I'm pretty, I'm quite certain that the way that we came in was this way. Uh, immediately finds a wall. Wait, where was the beacon? Yeah, it must have been over here. Or I might need to put that sonar thing on. Heart rate monitor. The more lost we get, I'm definitely like, uh, how do I get out of here? Da, 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 da. Okay, there we go. This is we're out. We're out. Thank frick. <laughs> I wonder if they have any cave systems in this game where like there's a small hole to get in. And then it just like is a huge branching labyrinth with no other way to get out. That would be like such dick level design. <laughs> uh, anything big out of the last hour? Oh, uh, we fought one of those like Medusa EMP thingies of doom in the what seems to be the final habitat. I feel like we need to go. I feel like the next big thing that I want to do. I want to go to the alien research facility and try to get our thing cured because if we look at uh, is it data downloads and then um, codes and clues, the alien facility location at 800 meters, I can go there now. There's a cave system southwest of the enforcement platform. Um, just the, it says synthesize an antidote for the highly infectious bacterium. I think that's where I want to go next. I can get to 800 now. Will I find new ore material and web area? No, I didn't. You. Charging the EMP takes a lot of, uh, Oh my gosh, that prawn suit just scared me. <laughs> Looked like something was just sitting there waiting. Yeah, look at that. We got our... Oh, wait. We got, our, we got our beautiful little gardens now. Um, I'm just gonna... Since it doesn't repair the Seamoth to dock it, we're just gonna repair it first. So I don't forget. Welcome aboard, Captain. 
It was very useful. Whoa. Yeah. Got two of these waters. Hot diggity. Put the salt in there. Cool. Drink one to fill up. Drop off our supplies. Ruby. Got so much of this stuff now. Your egg. Okay, yeah, so what's this new thing I can make? Uh, swap out the batteries. Our habitat builder and then the habitat builder I think we got something new it's the thing with the one we got an alien containment uh, add a hatch to enter provides optimal con conditions for foreign fauna add a hatch to enter we still can't make the nuclear reactor but our reactor wouldn't be the worst idea prevents flooding <laughs> I don't like the op that that's a thing. Okay, and we just got the picture frame. So we need just five glass and two titanium for the alien containment. Um, do I have that much quartz? That's why it was suddenly giving me a ton of quartz in that area. I see you, game. Uh, all right, and then two titanium. Alien feces. Um, to make it oh, it's two quartz for glass. Oh my god, that's so much quartz. It takes an entire room for the tank. Okay, we'll build a whole new room then. If I even have enough quartz. Um, I don't think I do, actually. So we're going to have to get some more quartz first. Yeah, I don't have enough quartz. Yeah, Terraria is on the list. Um, I guess we're gonna go get some quartz real fast. Let's see, quartz. While we're doing that, yeah, no, we still haven't found those other two things, so nothing else happening on the radio. Snag that one. Cool, that's pretty nice to just come back and have those guys ready to go. Glass. Let's um, store this. We'll make a new room outside. Oh, I should harvest the... Uh, I should harvest these and replant them just so I have like as many of them as I need when the time comes. These, uh, yeah, these, these little things. Oh. What? Game, hello? There we go. That should be plenty of those. What the? <laughs> those are just growing straight through that. Uh, life finds a way. <laughs> life finds a way. Let's snag some quartz real fast. Oh, is that in that cave right there? What? This is a cave right here. Cave was right under me the whole time. Oh, that's not. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I need to hit one of those, but those are impossible to hit. I think I can hit these, though. Please. 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 Nope, I take it back. Still impossible. All right. Uh, where's that quartz? <laughs> I 
I have done horrible things in this game. How do I get down there? Here, let's see. Oh my god. Oh, that does so much less damage to me with the new suit. I love that. I think I'm good on titanium. I need more titanium. We played over a thousand hours of Terraria. It's definitely like, I think it's the next highest game on the list. You know, unless Hades 2 comes out. I know this might seem silly, but I'm gonna use the first aid kit and just stay at 100%. Because my health doesn't go up otherwise, as far as I know. So, just in case something really big hits me, I'm like rolling in first aid kits. Can't see shit. Oh, is there health regen? If there's health regen, then I didn't need to do that. I didn't know there was health regen. Okay. I need copper more. As much as I love you, Titanium, and need more of you, Get out of here. Hey, DK. Doing well. Really quite enjoying this game. Uh, actually, I just use the one in here real quick because this frees up inventory space to do this. You only need to be above 90%. Um, you need to be above 90% food to regen and then only inside a vehicle your base. Oh, okay, well at least it does happen. I wasn't sure that it, it, it happened at all. Get these things off of my screen. work on that containment thing. Alien containment. So I think I have enough stuff. Uh, where did I put that glass? In here. Uh, what does glass look like? Glass looks like this. Do I have some? Yeah, here we go. Oh, I actually made too much. Oh, I got some extra copper. That's going to come handy. Um, I have to go outside and make a whole new thing here. Uh, I need to build another room first, don't I? Uh, like a multi purpose room or something? Six I actually had trouble building above the water. Has Carl jumped into the moon pool yet? I think so. Hmm. Uh, stash the extra quartz. Why not a room? Uh, why not put a room where the hatch currently is? Sure, we could do that. Expand this way instead. I just figured then it's gonna take me longer to get to 
the stuff that I get to all the time. That's why I wasn't doing that. You can put hatches on the side. Oh. Okay, that's pretty nice. Is my foundation screwing this thing up? For some reason. Can I put this separately? You gotta remove the hatch. Do I? What if I just have my creature containment fucking somewhere else? <laughs> Do I want the creature containment to be in my actual thing? Like, how about I put the fucking creatures somewhere over here in case I spawn Satan? I need some power supply. Right, it's fine. Well, you could just like build them on top of each other. That's interesting. Um, so I need quartz, two titanium, uh, a lot more quartz, titanium, copper, all, right, all the basic stuff. Creature eggs. Come back for the glass after I build all this shit. Could just put it on the other side of the movable. I don't, you guys are talking, and just so you know, this is a spoiler, right? Like, like that you suggest that it's fine. I mean, you could also be trolling me, but that you suggest that it's fine to attach to my base in a way spoils that nothing horrible is going to happen. But I wouldn't know that, right? Like, you know that. And so that's implied in the way that you're talking about it. I don't know that, so I would build it separately because I don't find, like, maybe one of those Medusa things is gonna fucking hatch out of it and destroy me, right? So, you, I, the only way that's not a spoiler is if you're trolling and trying to get me killed, which is possible, right? <laughs> that is possible. But, I mean, I guess it's just something to think about that there's kind of like implicit things in what you're saying that you might not even realize is a spoiler. Um, we were trying. Uh, right. Oh, I need to get the black. Oh, yeah, I like the idea of not raising a bunch of creatures, like, while I'm hanging out in here. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right. Um,. Let's see, I need to find all of that glass. Don't remember where I put anything ever. Glass. Where's the rest of it? There it is. Okay, uh, I forget how much titanium I needed. Alien containment. Whoa. Okay, that must be it. Aquariums provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Hmm. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. <laughs> they may also be studying you. <laughs> How do I put an egg in it or something? Hmm. Or maybe I need to put... Wait, it said something in the description, didn't it? It said I need... Add a hatch to enter. Okay, I need to put a hatch on it. I need one more quartz. What I want to study? Probably troll makers. Um, Sam says, "Yo, big fan! I love this game so much, and happy to see you playing it. I'm really glad you're having a good time." Saguli, thank you for the three months. 
very much appreciate it as well. I already need more quartz. Oh my god. Oh. Wait, am I seriously out? <laughs> Ah, I just got so much. Did I miss it? I just got so much. Oh no. Mm, the chess monster. I love the chess monster. That's how I know a game is good when I've created a wonderful chess monster. Yeah, I made a lot of glass. All right, more quartz. Back we go to quartz land. I can never find those. All right, let's just go somewhere else. I can literally never find the entrance to those. There must be, oh wait, there's two in there. There it is. There it is. Oh, I've got more eggs, I guess, why not? Why the heck not? Everything. Let's go put that hatch on. I don't know how this is going to work exactly. Hatch. Huh. I mean, why not? Use planter. So, containment plants. Can I put the egg in that? No. How do I put egg? <laughs> Maybe this doesn't do what I thought it did. Use planter. Did not do what I thought. This one looks wonderful. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Part of me is like, remove the hatch. Ah, we'll leave it, why not? Surely they don't know how to open doors. <laughs> uh... 
Oh man, I don't know how many I should put in it at once. But now that I know that I could just stuff it full of eggs. <laughs> Wait, is this an egg? No, that's a ruby. Sorry, ruby. Mm, pretty sure I have another egg somewhere. I have a bunch of giant ass eggs outside too, but I don't know. Stuffing it full of 20 things sounds like a mistake. Hmm. Well, anyway. Yeah, there's some of the sea moth. I just could have sworn that I have one in here as well. So I didn't want to miss it just in case. I suppose I should move the eggs from the sea moth here. So, uh, repulsion cannon, I need to play with it more. I need to like try it on some stuff outside. I wasn't finding it to be super useful. Uh, but maybe I was doing it wrong. Does it charge? Let me try to play with it real fast. Come here, gassy boy. It just boops things. Boop. <laughs> oh my god, I just yeeted that fish into oblivion. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Uh... Hi, Serpy. Welcome. Uh, one of these has a ton of eggs. Brain coral. Creature egg. <laughs> oh shit. This is like the, this feels like a massive mistake. But I've also always wanted to mess around with these eggs. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> this feels like such a terrible idea. Let's do it. The repulsion cannon can make really big fish ragdoll. How we doing on those eggs? <laughs> my storage is pretty good inside my main area. This is just kind of left over from the beginning of the game. Holy shit. I <laughs> uh, hope you all get along. <laughs> Whoa, look at that one. Oh, that one's cute. That one's super cute. Uh <laughs> Da, 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 da. Oh, I was gonna deconstruct dead. <laughs> I was gonna deconstruct that too. <laughs> no escape. Jeez. Keep opening that locker knowing that it's full. Okay, cool. Well, um, oh, orange tablet. Forgot about that. Maybe I should bring, you know what? I should bring an orange tablet and I should bring a purple tablet. Um, do I have another purple tablet? I think I might. Maybe I should bring an ion cube too. I don't know. I'll bring just in case an ion cube. Um, and then we're gonna go explore the alien facility. Or attempt to, I suppose. That sounds fun. Anything else need a new battery while I'm at it? Why not? Right, we've got plenty of water. I'll just go eat something on the way out. 
I'll go stash these in the Seamoth. Well, actually, no, I guess I need to bring them. Yeah, I guess I need to bring them. Okay, let's just eat something real fast and then head on. See if we can find this alien facility. Gary. Hello, Gary. Come here, Gary. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, Gary is not, it's not the fish of choice. Let's see. That one I can't eat. Oh, that one. Uh, what's in your CMOS storage? Like a backup battery and stuff. And like the sonar if I ever get super lost and really need it. Okay, this will top us off on our food. We got 123. Two waters, it's fine. That thing, it's fine. All right, let's go. So we had to figure out how to find this one though, and I'm not really sure how. All we really have is, um, it says it's at a depth of 800, and it is, what did it say? Um, cave system southwest of the enforcement platform. And I'm assuming the enforcement platform is the thing that shot down the sun beam or whatever that thing was called. Um, so we're going to go to 800 meters southwest of that. Now, the problem is, is that I need to find that again, and I don't exactly remember where it was. Um, Flips, you had given me a hint in the past on how to find my way back there. Um, I would take that hint again because I cannot remember. I also need a new beacon to place the beacon when we get there because that'll really help us out. Yeah, I didn't use beacons early on because it was a, it was a beacon on here. And then it went away and all the other ones tended to stay so i thought that one would stay too but it did not stay there let me get rid of these beacons though uh, but yeah we'll make another another beacon for when we get there north northwest of your spot whoopsies going the wrong way turn them back on yeah but it's not there anymore it was the like rendezvous with the sun beam or whatever which is not the same as the rendezvous on the island uh Okay, how do I make beacons? Just one copper and one titanium. Let's make two beacons. Am I really out of power again? God damn it! <laughs> All right. Emergency power. How do I also make a solar panel? Oh, that's where my quartz have been going. Two titanium, copper, and two quartz. Uh, two titanium, copper, and two quartz. Uh, probably need a better solution than the solar panels, but hey, the water filter really eats it. I'm surprised it's still draining even after I built a secondary one. Just cover you with solar panels, it's fine. Yeah, but usually it stores, the more solar panels you have, the more energy it allows you to store. So it's like it has a power storage capacity with it. So, um, normally it Welcome aboard, Captain. is enough to last the night. Okay. Uh, let's make beacons. All right, we're ready to roll out. Let's try to find that alien facility. I'm excited because I've been wanting to go back here for a long time, but I was way too afraid of the warpers, and now I'm not afraid of the warpers anymore. Ish. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not super afraid of them. Okay, um, I'm just going to use the rest of it really fast, and then we are going to go check out that alien facility. Uh, Pang, thank you so much for the two months. Says, What's your favorite fish in the game so far? The one that's like 90% eye. <laughs> I like the eye fish. It's cute. Uh, you never stop being deathly afraid of this game. Well, we'll see if my uh, my hubris catches up with me. 
a bioreactor is 500. Yeah, I, sh I was thinking about building it, but then building one more solar panel is always cheaper than building it. So I just keep building one more solar panel. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll be back in just a second. Um, Uber says, Carl, I was watching the Minecraft VODs and saw you were live. Just want to pop in and say, I'm a big fan. Really enjoy all your content. I wish you a great day. Thank you so much, Uber. I really appreciate that. You have a wonderful day too. Be back. Uh, the I I Matt. The I I. Even more solar panels. All right, let's do it. Power can run out when you're away. Has Carl tried the air bladder? I never really tried it. Um, based on what it sounded like it did, I was like pretty, I just got the, ended up getting the sea glide and I was like, well, the sea glide already goes up pretty fast. So it seemed good enough. Okay, um, there's one more thing I wanna do before we go. I forgot, we got a new blueprint. I think it might be in here. Yeah, look at this, we have the swim charge fins. With polyaniline and a wiring kit, we can <laughs> wirelessly charge your held tool while you swim. Now, I have a question, ultra glide fins. That's probably, that'll probably make me go slower though, right? Hmm. If it's a trade-off between charging and going faster, I'll take going faster because in a pinch, maybe they'll save my life. Um. Carl, check out what I DM'd you real quick. Okay, hold on. What did Floopsy say? Um, oh, go straight north from the life pod. Um, okay, cool. So um, they just sent me a way to get uh, to find the thing that I was just looking for to get back to where I didn't put a beacon because I'm a dummy. <laughs> Charging is useful for my batteries. Yeah, I've never like really. I always, I always kind of charge up. Uh, okay, we're gonna look kind of northish. So we found this like alien facility thing. Um, yeah, okay. It's supposed to be just between north and northeast here. So let's try this. Uh, we found this alien facility thing here, and there used to be a marker on my map or whatever, and that went away. Actually, is it the same one as? We were, they were a little bit confused about whether this was the same one or not. Yeah, that's not the same one. It's not the same one. It makes the sea glide cause zero battery. Oh, does the did the fins affect you on the sea glide or no? Is it not even like if you have the sea glide out? Did the um, sorry for the fins, I mean the, um, flip flippers. The sea glide overrides it. Okay, so having the sea, okay, so really it's not going to, okay, so that doesn't, 
The, the fins aren't doing as much as I thought they were then. Because I could just pull out the sea glide. If I need to get away, I'm just going to pull out the sea glide. I've never even heard of raft. Sweet, there's this island. Is this the island? Is this the right island, though? It's the right. Oh, I just realized I had the headlights off for no reason. Is this the where we were trying to meet the sun game? Let's see. This might be the wrong island. Oops. No, this is it. This is it. There it is. Okay, this is the thing that shot down the ship. And then, um, okay, cool. And so then our alien facility location code and, and clue says, I want to go southwest of the enforcement platform into a cave system. So uh, southwest will be from here. Yeah, from here. This is definitely like the enforcement platform. Pretty darn sure. We want to go to the southwest down. Oh, maybe it's down there. Southwest. Down here. Yeah, let's go down here. Southwest. Did I, did I read that right? Southwest of Forest and Fire Farm. I don't see any caves. Spanish. I don't see any caves yet, but we are getting deeper. We're at 300. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This has got to be it. I wonder if there's something cool in that. Hello there. We still need to find the thing that allows us to build the uh, Cyclops. Heal this up. Repair tool going. Top that off. Don't go in there. Alright, here we go. Diva. 400? So the furthest down we've ever been is around 500. I think. Unless I've already forgot. Oh my god. Oh, don't! Jesus. Don't go right over that! Get blasted in the face. Wait, I was supposed to be going to the southwest. That's like this way. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, don't go into those. Not seeing this supposed cave system. Though, Erosion patterns on the land masses suspended here suggest they once floated on the surface. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I keep being like, oh, I'll check inside of that. Rip. I'm not sure if there's even anything here I can find. Fuck off. Stasis rifle. I already have that. Go away. Um. Head. Holy shit, that just like. Oh my god. Whoa, they're really hurting. Me. Stop it. Oh my god, there's so many of them. I need to just get out of here. Go away. Alright, we need to just get out of here. Uh, Southwest. I don't know. I think I missed it or something. There's a lot of them. And I don't see a cave system. Maybe the sonar would have helped. Okay. Damn, 
Man, they did so much damage to it. That was wild. I mean, unless I can go into that, but I don't think I have the stuff to go into that right now. Let me read the clue again. I'm pretty sure it said cave system with extensive fossil records southwest of enforcement platform at 800 meters. So we're not deep enough, but I am definitely not able to go into those to get deeper. So, where do I go? I meant to place a beacon at the facility, by the way, and I totally didn't. So that's a oopsie doopsie right there. Whoa, that thing looks cool. That thing looks really cool. near this dream I shall not elaborate okay uh bear bear barrel thank you so much for the four months do you want to harvest stuff harvest the stuff at the bottom of the fence yeah that sounds like a great idea Goodness. all right let's see if I can find that uh, woo! <laughs> um, what you, you nerds get out of here These nerds are just chasing me down okay stop please Oh my god, it's so hard to turn him in the, wa in the water with this. Okay, so I totally got off track right there. I got like so off track. Um, I definitely didn't go the right way. I was supposed to go, so from this, I was supposed to go north to like, that cloud no I don't remember uh, might have to just go back cuz I'm lost man I'm so lost got how beautiful this game is I look at that water it's so pretty I know I forgot to place a beacon I'm so stupid I just I messed it up and I don't know why I can't see the island Bases with scanner rooms. That's like on the list of things to do, but there's many things that I could do. Exploring this alien facility sounds pretty cool. Oh, you can have, you can have any clips? That's cool. I swear it was over that direction. I don't know why I can't see it from looking. creatures and then we'll go back. We'll die when we see where it's at. We just paused like 200 eggs in here. Oh shit. Look at that one. It's like all wiggly and jiggly. Damn. Chat also convinced me. Get 
the swim charge fins. So uh, polyaniline and a wiring kit. So that's two silver for the wiring kit. What do we need for that? Polyaniline. I've already got HCL, so we just need a gold. I have to organize these soon. They're getting out of control. Oh, I already have a polyaniline made. Well, that makes it easier. Uh, silver. Oh no, am I out of silver? No. Always out of something. Oh good, I'm not out of silver. Uh, I need to build the wiring kit. Take, wait, oh, oh no, do I not have, I think I need to remake my fins. Yeah, I need to make normal fins again. Uh, let's see, equipment, fins, two silicone rubber. I got that, finally a use for all this. Solve our battery issues. And let's store the old fins. Let's take off our ultra glide fins and store them in here. And now we have wireless charging fins, <laughs> which makes absolutely, ah, it makes a little sense. You're generating, got to generate some current by kicking around in the water, right? Surely you can harness that question mark smiley face. All right, uh, I think I'm probably good on everything. Yeah, I got 100 extra water on me. It's plenty, I've got tons of stuff. All right, let's do it. This time, actually find the heckin, heckity heckin cave system. You know, I saw some caves that were southwest. I'm starting to wonder if that might actually have been where All I'm supposed systems to go. Online. Okay, yeah, that cloud over here to the right is where we found the fire. So hopefully over here we'll find the island. Check the fish tank before you go. I did check it. You have to choose between charge and speed. Yeah. I don't like that. Just stay in the water. Even though I can't see as much. And this time we place a beacon like a not dummy face. You would think that the clouds would move. Yeah, I would too. And it turns out they don't move. Despite the, yeah. <laughs> well, what I'm doing is I'm pointing north and I'm pointing just to the right of that. And that's right where that cloud is. And that cloud has been there every time I've done that. Um, wait, look at that. Do you guys see the island? Look, you can see the island from underground. And then when I go, okay, for a second when I, I could, Cuttlefish egg discovered? Crash fish egg discovered? I swear I saw it. That specific cloud is always there. That's interesting. Do you think the game devs did that on purpose to find this island or is it just a coincidence? Um, all right, so theoretically there's a cave system, but I'm gonna go place the beacon like kind of right at the facility. You can see, I think it's to hide the island. It's on purpose to hide the island, that's hilarious. Like the draw distance would mess with it otherwise or something. <laughs> that's a, it feels like a janky solution. Um, okay, so I saw caves down there, which is where I almost died to a warper. So, um, YOLO, I suppose. All right, here's this shit. Let's go ahead and place a beacon here. Edit beacon name. This is going to be. Oh, Stop it! Stop it! Nerd. How fast does it charge my repair tool? Like, hey, I'm swimming. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I see it going up. At least, or else I'm seeing things. I'm pretty sure I see it charging. Okay, that's fine. 
Um, okay, there were some caves down here. Let me try to explore this better. If I just go straight down from here, now here's the awkward part to me, because if I, see look, here's a cave, right? So if I go down here, let's get our little thing ready. There's very clearly caves right here. But now if we look at this thing in the databank, it says, Extensive fossil record cave system southwest of the enforcement platform. So I guess the enforcement platform is up there. So southwest of the southwest of that. If I were north, maybe they mean these. Maybe they just mean these caves. I don't know. It doesn't sound like it doesn't seem right to me in terms of the directions. But maybe this is what they mean. Is that just a random rock? This is where I almost died to a warper, so let's hope that happens again. Oh shit. Uh, there's a bunch of branching tunnels in here. <laughs> Which I'm not like the biggest fan of in my whole life. Did I stash the Pathfinder tool? I still have it. Now, question, can I just hop out and throw down a little Pathfinder? Let's see if that works. I wish it wouldn't go so freaking far. What if I do it like that? Okay, so I haven't made one yet, but if I... That's where I came from, right? So if I, if I throw one down here, I did it wrong. Throw that one first, <laughs> throw that one second. Now that one will point back the way I came, which was that way. Okay. Let me just... I literally just hit the pathfinder. Ow. Okay. That's the way out. I'm gonna go this way first. So I'm gonna take the Pathfinder tool and just hit one that way. Which will point backwards over there. I just hit it. Oh my god, whatever. Oh shit! Is this. No, this is just. <laughs> this is just. This is just back out where I was! Why don't we go here instead? There's a tablet in here. Let's at least get that. I literally just went in a circle. Not upgrades. Carl circling 22. Does it actually point back? It does. Uh. Is this just outside also? All right, I give up on these caves. These caves suck. <laughs> There's nothing else in here. So this is not the caves that it's talking about, I take it. Yeah, this is not the cave. Okay, so that's a, that's a fail right there. So we thought perhaps that that was it because this is the facility and if you go south with... Those things hurt. Even with the whole plating, it's wild to me that they hurt that much. All right. So southwest of here would be this way. And I went, I already went like all the way over there and I didn't find Dick. 
So slightly confuzzled right now as to where else to try checking from here. Unless this is not the What am I missing? Oh, let's repair this. Let's just try again, I guess. Uh, I also wouldn't mind having a fish. I think there's a tree I can eat, like, right there. Let me just go do that real fast. Deeper. I'm as deep as you can go. Wow, I didn't go in the thermal vent. Yet. I just blocked my pillar. Unless I had to go inside the thermal vent. I had to go inside the thermal vent. I we're not doing that yet. Nom 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 nom. Eating the tree. Da 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 da. Tasty tree. Nom 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 nom. Eat that tasty tree. Alright. Um. Alright, we're going to do a prediction. Am I going to find this research facility without going home? <laughs> Will I find the research facility before going back? Yes or no? Let's triple check. I'm not being stu stupid. Disease research facility. Depth 800. Cave system. Southwest of enforcement. Is this not the enforcement platform? This totally feels like the enforcement platform. Let's just go straight down first. Let's go straight down first. Far down as we can go. Okay. And then to the southwest, it was, so there's the thing, right? So to the southwest of that. It's gotta just be down here. Right? That is the enforcement part. Gotta just be like down here. Is that another one of those capsules? I maybe found that. No, what is this? What are you? Cyclops engine friend. That might be the only one I have. No, I didn't. Wait! We've been synthesized site. Wait, that's what I needed? Whoa. It doesn't, okay, so if I get the hull, the bridge, and the engine, it gives me, it gives me the thing. I thought I had to find that. That is epic. That's west, not southwest. Well, if you think about, if you think about me coming from the actual platform, though, it changes it a little, because I wasn't directly on the platform. So I was like, kind of tri trying to triangulate. But anyway, I also have to go deep, right? Like I can't just go into the I can't go into the mountain, right? So I have to follow the mountain's curve. Um, but I think this is where I was before. I don't know. I'm just looking anywhere over here. First, a way down, and I don't see it yet. Maybe here? No. Nope. Yeah, dang it, this is this area again. So this is not it. This is where I, oh wait, maybe that's new. Wait, 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 this is new. Hold on, this is actually new right here. This is all new. Maybe this is it. Oh shit, maybe this is it. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna put a beacon here regardless. In case this is it. Or just so we don't get lost also. Edit beacon name. Research facility. Entrance. Welcome aboard, Captain. Going in.
we were able to find our way back out. It's that way. We do have the sonar module. Yeah. I wish I had brought more beacons. <laughs> uh, music's getting horrible. You love to see it. found this life pod before. Did I go in a weird circle? I'm pretty sure I found this before, too. What? <laughs> Wait a second. Did I just go horribly the wrong way? Should I go back into those caves? I need to go deeper. This, this goes deeper right here, I think. Is that not Spider Cave? It might have been. And this looks pretty promising, though. This goes straight down and is deep. Cross circled again. I might have. This is pretty deep. We're getting there. I wish I had more beacons, though. Level scans show a nearby opening. Leading to a biome with Oops. extensive got, fossilized I remains. I just got like massively turned around. Okay, that's that way. This is the way down in. Yeah, this is it. It said extensive fossilized remains. So we did end up finding it. This is correct. Oh god, sand shark, stalker, and crab snake egg discovered. This is it. This is it. Whoa, where are the green stuff? I don't need to have... Not too sure how I feel about that. Not too sure how I feel about that. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. <laughs> Fucking what? <laughs> I don't think that's good. <laughs> maybe we don't want. You know what? On second thought, maybe we don't go here. <laughs> maybe we don't go here. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, Javara, thank you so much for the sub. I'm just here for nickel, all right? Come on, give me some fucking nickel. Lithium. <laughs> Lithium. There we go. I <laughs> finally found the nickel. Uh, I don't need any more gold. Finally found the nickel. So you guys think I should go scan that thing? Seems pretty good, right? Can I scan any of this shit? Amoeboid. 
A simple non sentient organism attached to land with high levels of fossilized organic matter. It feeds on this matter until it reaches maturity, at which point it divides to grade two. The cycle continues. Okay, I really just want more of that nickel though. Please. Where is your nickel? That's, so that's not the super scary looking one up there, I don't think. Kind of just trying to keep to the border here so I can follow the border back if I need to. What's in that pool? Oh, I guess I just don't want to stay, don't want to touch it. It's weird, it's like a river underwater. I'm only at, uh... I'm only at 650 depth. We're trying to get to 800. Oh, don't put the ore in the freaking thing. That's magnetite. I don't really need more magnetite. Sandstone. This just has it. Make sure there's nothing huge stalking me. Man, where's more of that nickel? I can build prawn suit upgrades with that shit. Oh. I just want to get my prawn suit upgrades. Is that too much to ask? Maybe that's one right there. Yeah, Nicole, let's go. All right, I really should have brought like five beacons. Really wish I had. Just for fun, we're gonna turn around and just make sure Oh god, where even is my beacon? My beacon was all the way over there. Alright. We were... We went back that way. Though that's... I understand how to get back if I need to. Close enough, at least. Let's keep following the, the border of this wall. As long as I follow the border of this wall, I can always follow it back. Hmm. Bunch of ore. I don't think that's nickel. I think that's magnetite, though I sometimes get lithium and magnetite and all the other ones confused. Okay. Oh, it looks like sandstone. Those guys just spawned in. <laughs> Haven't seen that huge dude again. I see a ruby on the wall. Let's get the ruby. All right, fucking whatever. All right. Oh, here we go. Into the deep. <laughs> I need to come back with more beacons, chat. Oh, I need to come back here with more beacons because there is so much stuff. It's so big. <laughs> Unless the facility has beacons. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it just keeps, like, I can follow my way back out of here, but now there's another one, and I'm probably going to want to explore down there. You know, I need to put a beacon right here to get back to this area, or, like, I am fucking toast. That's diamond. Don't need diamond. So I'm going to follow this wall back. And then we're gonna go get like three more beacons and then we're gonna come back here. That's gonna be the smart play. But I am gonna look for nickel on my way out. Keeping against the wall, I think is a smart plan though. I don't really wanna to venture too much off of this wall. It's, it helps me find the way back and it lets me sort of see everything better. Yeah, look, oh, that's the... Is that the bad looking one? I can't remember. I think that one's the one that's okay looking. No, maybe that's the bad one. Please don't come this way. Don't come this way. Uh, I don't know how bad that thing is. That might be more nickel. Yes. I 
how has Carl lived this long? Yeah, I'm very cautious. I'm very cautious. I think I'm good at this game because I have to be careful and cautious when I'm doing lab work. I was thinking about that the other day. Um, and it's Ruby right there. I don't know. This is this is like how I do careful lab work, very methodically, like this. Welcome aboard, Captain. This game is a meat grinder for the reckless. I mean, it'd probably be fun to watch, but. I don't want to just throw the run away when I see a huge fucking thing flying around. Something, I'll, something I really like about this game is it doesn't seem like it has a lot of bullshit deaths in it. Unless I've just unless I've just happened to avoid them. I think that's the piece of gold I dropped. I haven't had anything like complete bullshit happen to me where I've been like, damn, what was I supposed to do about that? Is that sandstone? Is that nickel? Neither. <laughs> I need a little bit of Um, Jewel, thank you so much for the stuff. It's greatly appreciated. Damn. All right, so that's the biome where I can finally get nickel. Good to know. Can I get any here? That just looks like sandstone. I think there's a warper warping around over here, which I'm not amazed at. What was I just talking about, about no bullshit happening? <laughs> All right, at least it didn't go that far. I just yeeted that dude. <laughs> you know, on second thought, maybe I won't look for things here. Oh my god. Oh, is that just an egg? Why are there so many eggs here? Like, what are all these eggs? Those are eggs, right? And I'm not stupid. Warpers are one of two species that cannot be killed. These are just eggs. Oh no, that's urinite. Okay, it's not eggs. But I have a ton of that already. Though apparently I need more quartz. Just snag one of those quartz, because this is clearly where you should be shopping for quartz, right? Oh God. Well, that's the first time that's ever happened with the warpers. That was. Oh, hey, look, there's another one right there. That was pretty. That was pretty something right there. They did. I didn't realize that it would take me out of my seamoth. That is just horrible. That is just all sorts of not okay. Fun fact, the charge flippers are slower because they're converting some of the energy for the batteries. That's what I imagined, uh, Sisyphus. I did name the Seamoth Yoshi, and I made it green too. Wait, can you see the Yoshi head? Look at it. Look at it, Chad. Do you see the... Here, let me get up here a little bit. <laughs> Do you see the... Uh... Hold on, once you see this, I'm gonna ruin it. Oh, wait, what's happening? Oh. Forget which click does what. Okay, let me get up here first, and then... Uh... Okay, look at this. That's the wrong thing. Eyes. <laughs> it's got like a weird little face going on here. See it. Alright, anyway. Oops, let me use that. Uh, there is a way to distract the warpers. I I could at least zap them away. I don't know. Alright, we gotta go back here though. I should have just gone back here. 
You have the stuff for a cyclops? Maybe. The saddest tear she face. Keep thinking those misclicks are warpers. What does that right click do? I don't know what it's doing. Your base icon looks like a face. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's my lights. I'm stupid. You're right, it's my lights. I was like, what is that doing? It's the lights, dummy. I wonder if the um, Cyclops is faster. Because this is pretty far away. I also can upgrade the prawn suit with nickel now, I think, but I might need more. I also need kyanite. Kyanite is still one that I haven't found yet. I really want to just like... <laughs> I kind of want to just march around blowing stuff up with the uh, prawn suit, but I, I want to upgrade it more first. Th thoughts on what you're planning to name your Cyclops? I was gonna name it the Carl Box because people said that other stuff can go inside of it. So for you, it's the Cyclops every day. I'll have to see when I actually get it. Uh, let's check on our creatures. Why not? And see how the critters are doing. This is fine. Look at them. They all look nice and happy. <laughs> we got one of these guys. <laughs> Cool, bibbies. What are these? Is this going to turn into the like crazy thingy thing? We've got the creeper boom fish. Cool. All right, this is fine. I didn't need to pull that out. I guess I can't scan them. I wonder what would happen if I went in there, just frolicked with them. Um, let's go recharge the old Seamoth friend. Man, the Seamoth, I have to say, I wasn't a fan of it for a while. Now I love the Seamoth. Now Seamoth is best moth. Yeah, we made a farm. We got our prawn suit just sitting there. Welcome aboard, Captain. Prediction result run. Uh, what did I say exactly? Will I find the research facility? Oh, I absolutely found it. No, wait, I didn't find it. I didn't find it. Uh, well, I guess I'm still trying to find it, so. Yeah, we didn't actually find it. We just found the entrance that was, we found the entrance to it, according to the description. Like, it was clearly the description entrance, but we didn't find it yet, so we gotta wait. Um, I need to drink water. Nom, nom, nom. Um, I also need to... Put away stuff and things. Maybe off stream I'll sort these freaking chests. Holy butts. We got three nickel ore. All right, what can we make with that? We should see what we can make with that. Um, first though, let's uh, fix our food situation. Nom, nom, nom. Come here for my fritty. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's the wrong kind of fish. Ah, whatever. Good. No. Why is the filter system like that? Yeah, I don't know. It, it really loves to zap and show you. It's like, hey, I'm ready. Blah, 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 blah. Literally faster to do this than it is to hit them with my sword or with my knife. Uh, sitting in a chair allows you to pass time, but food and water drain. Interesting. Oh, but pauses food and water drain. That is really nice. No, no, no. Okay, once our health goes down to 100, then we'll hit the other one of those. All right, nice. Um, what are we trying to make here? Let's see if we can create the Cyclops, I guess. Yeah, and then I want to try to look at the... Um, Cyclops has its own depth modules. One of the, the highest one requires kyanite, which we don't have yet. Okay, what do we need to build? 
Oh, I have to go outside. Wait, I'll just do the blueprint in here. Um, we can now build the Cyclops. What other blueprints does it say I have that are new? I already, I did already look at that one. Um, oh yeah, okay, I already looked at those. So let's see what we need to build the Cyclops. Vast industrial use submarine. Hell yeah, three plasteel. Oh my God, we need a lot of stuff. Three plasteel ingots. Oh my goodness. Um, and to make those, I need titanium ingots and lithium times a lot. Okay, I might not be able to make it yet, but I think I do have a lot of this though. Um, geez, that's a, a lot of stuff right there. Do I have any plasteel? I have some titanium ingots. Uh, and then I need a bunch of lithium. Um, okay, did I have another titanium ingot in here? Silicone rubber fiber mesh? No. Maybe I have one in here. Nope. All right, so we don't have enough titanium. Oh, we do have some titanium here though. Let's go ahead and convert one of these first just to clear up some room with class steel. We need three, holy shit. You didn't use planters? Oh my gosh, gravel. It does certainly seem like they make certain aspects a lot easier. Um, we are loaded on water. Uh, I guess let's just put this stuff in here for now and we'll come back for it before we go on a wild adventure. But I don't think I'm gonna have enough stuff anyway, so. All right, let's make another type of game again. Did Carl find the poop? <laughs> I, found, I found the little creatures walking around. They were cool. That is indeed poop in a locker. <laughs> All right, we have two of these, but we're gonna need seven more titanium and maybe more lithium. So maybe we're not gonna make the Cyclops right now. Yeah, we'll get that going, but we're probably not gonna be able to make the Cyclops right now. We'll make it if we survive the facility. <laughs> Got all this other stuff though. Let's see what else we can do with it. Yeah. Just check in to see what I have. I gotta remember to actually use those two things. Um, glass, hydrochloric acid, gas pods. Cool. I want to look at some of the upgrades for the prawn suit. Oh yeah, scan the nickel. You are right. I always forget to scan stuff. Okay, prawn suit modules. The one I really want is the jumps upgrade and I need crystalline sulfur for that. Damn it, we don't have crystalline sulfur. All right, so I still can't get the jump upgrade. Um, we have the drill arm. We can now create the grappling arm. That sounds really fun. Can't do the torpedo arm yet though. We can't do the thermal reactor. Um, we could do this though. We have three nickels, so we could get the prawn suit death module, but I feel like we need to find this one to really make use of the prawn suit. So no prawn suit yet. We need to find that crystalline sulfur still. Took you forever to find the sulfur. I feel like if if I really come to, if it really comes down to it, I mean I could ask for a hint from chat, but I could just build one of these, and I feel like that would really go a long way towards these cave sulfur, hmm. crystalline sulfur. Hope does not a bigger, worse exploding fish. That would be terrible. It's nice I don't have to really charge my batteries a whole lot anymore. All right, let's uh, make some beacons. That's what we really need to do is make beacons. Uh, copper and titanium. Do I have copper? One. <laughs> Please have more copper. Yay. All right, let's make three beacons. Surely that'll be enough. Beacons. The 
beacons are kind of just a better pathfinder tool though i i think the pathfinder tool did help me out in some like narrow spaces really early in the game all right um other than that i think we're pretty much ready to go back there let's see yeah i got enough resources I never need the nutrient block, but I guess it's good to just keep one just in case. Yeah, I have a kind of a full inventory, but I think I'm only gonna be getting super precious materials anyway, so you know, I can always fill up the sea moth if I need to. How's the sea moth's power doing? 100%, let's go. All right. Um, All systems online. Where's that beacon? Research facility entrance? Damn, that's far away. Did I forget something? Let me make sure I didn't forget anything. So I have to, cause that's a pretty long journey. I think we're good. I think we're good. Have the, the ancient cured paper. I know I'm never gonna eat it, right? It's always there in case I need it and I never need it, so. Um, Bird Eagle says, so many streams lately. Are we full-time streaming? I did for a little bit, um, but then I got a part-time job. But um, I'm still in the process of looking for a more permanent science position. So I have to like interview with a bunch of labs and decide where I want to move and that kind of stuff. Have you placed range upgrades? Yes, I've placed all the possible range upgrades. It's, it's, it's max distance. Have you ever built a grab trap? No, I never tried one of those out. I should name it the companion peeper. Probably what I would do is build a base. Like, oh god, I thought there was like a bug on me and it was literally my cord. <laughs> I just got jump scared by my cord. That's what this game's doing to me. didn't end the prediction yet because I'm still looking for the research facility. Technically, I haven't found it yet. It was without returning to base. Oh, you're right, I did. No, actually, you're right, I did say that. Or find the research facility without returning to base. No, I did. You're right. You're right. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go get a drink. I shall return. <laughs> ABS is the uh, abbreviation for antibodies in the science field. So, yeah. The scariest monster. The warper is really scary, but I've also encountered some really big things. Like when that, um, just like the giant Medusa thing was like sucking on the side of the thing and like was EMPing and knocking the power out. That was pretty scary. Luckily, um, luckily I was able to get it to go away. I'll be right back.
I love the soundtrack. Does it play music in the screen? In the um, in this screen? I didn't know it did. All right, let's do it. Um, wait, that's not it. Uh, I completely forgot where I was going. <laughs> wait, where is my? Am I like at the beacon already? Oh, I was already at the beacon. Okay, it's down through here. Okay, um, for anybody just coming in, we are looking for this alien research facility under here, and it's scary AF and super huge AF. So we are, we had to go back and get more beacons to mark our path. Am I going the right way? Can't even remember anymore. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. All right, we'll place a beacon outside here. Not oh, more warpers, go away warpers. What was that sound? All right, and here's kind of the entrance. Here, I think. Yeah. I think there was a warper right behind me in that area, so I'm gonna place the beacon right here. Okay. Let's place a beacon here. Uh, research two. Oh, I see a warper. Just get me out of here. <laughs> Wait, did I get turned around? Did I just get turned around? Where did I come from? <laughs> Fucking hell! I came from up here, right? Yeah, pretty darn sure I came in from up there. Okay, we were coming down here. All right, this is correct. Okay, I thought I was right here. This is this right here is where I thought I just was. Oops. Okay, it's close enough. There. Yeah, those those two things don't look like the big, really bad one that I saw before. Which hopefully we don't see again. We're looking for kyanite still. Right here. This is hell right here. <laughs> All right. We're gonna place another beacon right here. <laughs> Every time I'm gonna misspell it differently. Cause I'm just typing fast cause I wanna get in my Seamoth again. I hate how it spins, stop spinning. Okay, there we go. Oh, is that more? Stop spinning! Oh my god, I hate it when it starts spinning. Those might be the bad ones. That one. Let's go down lower. Uh, not super cool with that. Coming at me like this. Okay, if it, if it didn't turn around, I was getting ready to... Oh, it's getting ready to bail. There's another one up there. There's one right here. I mean, 
I don't know what to do. It's sort of cock blocking me right now. It's coming back this way. Okay, I'm gonna go real quick and repair. If it follows the same pattern, and I'll figure out in a second if it does, it should turn around in just a sec and then go off to the right, and that's when I'm gonna try to sneak past it? This is depth 800 though. Yeah, okay, there it turns around, and then the last time it passed over to the right. Yeah, and then that's gonna be the best shot I have of going past it, but this looks horrible. I could go above it, actually. You know what? I think the play is to go above it. Right here. Well, we'll see if that aggros me. Oh god, there's one right there, too. What is this hell that I have gotten myself into? Jesus fuck, there's like 20 of them! <laughs> what the fuck is this? Ooh, pretty coral thing over here. That's what really matters. This looks safer over here. I'm going over here. I'm like too afraid to turn around and see if they're chasing me. They better not be. I mean, this thing looks pretty dope. <laughs> All right, that was... God damn, dude. All right, uh... Well, let's see if there's any hot resources here. Where's my Kyanite at? What's in the bubbling pool? Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay, I can't go down there yet. I don't see said research facility though, but let's go ahead and repair this. It's funny that I can go down there, right? Why the fuck can I go down here? Oh shit, is this how we die, Chad? I don't even think there's anything here, sadly. Is this just literally sandstone? I'm s I want to go in that, but I'm so afraid of going in that. Oh shit. I don't want to scam one of those, they seem pretty chill. Some hot nickel. Yeah, no, we're not going with that. I can feel the lack of my fins though. <laughs> but if I need to go fast, it's pretty good. Okay, I'm thinking this is not where I go and I turn around and go the other way, but I also hate the other way, so we're gonna stay this way. Because <laughs> I'm not really sure. Maybe it is this way. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, let's put one more um one more beacon. One more beacon here. Uh giant tree. Rash. <laughs> Where's my research facility? <sighs> Where's my research facility? Oh, you think I can scan the tree? All right. Giant cove tree. These things seem chill. Ghost rays. It has these red things on it. Stuff away. 
This race species is adapted to DC conditions. Body is protected. Assessment inedible. Bloodvine and deep shrooms already. Why won't that go away? Do I have to scroll that down for it to go away? Giant cove tree. A vast tree encountered in a deep cove and only one of its kind encountered on the planet. Ugh. The tree is surrounded by rays grazing on its pink outer leaves. The bark has minuscule organisms. Ghost? Wait. Ghost, leviathan, eggs. The tree branches around on a number of maturing eggs belonging to the species designated ghost leviathan are those the ones that i um what was ghost leviathan no that was ghost ray or maybe ghost leviathan are the um <laughs> those things that are going around yeah uh, the tree branches around from maturing eggs. The tree appears to be an ancient nesting ground. The eggs were laid when the tree was young, and now the branches protect and grow with them as they await the conditions to hatch. Oh my god, dude, if they just fucking hatched. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, jeez. Uh, omelet, do Leviathan. Whoops, I don't mean to do that. All right. Um, everything's fine. So fine. Giant tree. So very fine. Let me try stabbing it. Uh, temperature's increasing near that vent, so I'm gonna go around it. All right, where's my research facility? I wonder if it was the other direction and I'm just so lost. I see a ruby. I can't go any lower. I can't go any lower right now. I'm not gonna stop him for a ruby. This just looks like another tree thing. Like a smaller thing. smaller version of the tree. Uh, that might be everything that's in here until I can go deeper. Cause right, yeah, right now I can't go deeper than this. So, I think it's time to leave this area and check the other way. I, I can't go any lower. Who keeps yelling in the background? I don't want to know. I'm out of beacons. But I'll be able to find it from the tree. Um, hold on, it's really hot by that vent. Call you a good server? Yes, I am. I used to be on the swim team. The ambient noise here is really good and horrifying. Leave the lights off to save battery power. So the problem is going back out here is not very fun. <laughs> I could try going on the right side here instead of on the left, but this is where all the beasties are again. So we need to be careful. There's one beastie. There's some swimming. Is that another one right there? Oh, Jesus. Um, left side looks the most safe. So, if I go left side above, how am I going to get past? Do I need to go in? Th Maybe I just try going this way in general. There might be another one like right here, though. So, that's the thing. Yeah, that's the way I came in. We're gonna try going around this way and um, YOLO, I guess. Oh, I don't know how bad that. What is. 
There's something in the center there. That's not too hot for the ship. It's not too hot for the ship. Oh god, there's like one literally right there. Well, this might be the end. Oh, there's the thing though. There's the facility, I think. YOLO! God, there's one up there too. Uh, 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 oh shit. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Alright, up looks safe. Up looks safe. Up looks safe. Stay up, stay up. Oh, up's not safe. Left's not safe. Nothing looks safe. Fuck everything. Ah! Ah, they're everywhere! <laughs> they're like actually fucking everywhere. This alien structure appears There's to have collapsed to the sea floor. I don't see the way in. There's a warper chasing me. Everything is hell. What is this game, dude? Why did it suddenly turn into this shit? Okay, this area looks safe. We're gonna just go here for a hot second. Hot fucking second. We're just gonna go in here. Ha! I can't wait until I just get warped out into the middle of hell. Okay, um, so we need to find the way in. Maybe right there. It doesn't look like I can get in right there. There's that asshole. Is there another warper down there? No, it might be safe right here. Luckily, the aggro range of these things isn't, like, atrocious. Okay, I'm thinking right there, but maybe that's a wall. Actually, that's looking more and more like a wall the more I look at it. Is that a way in? Might be. That's not a way in. Detecting an alien broadcast. Linguistic analysis reads, caution. Hazardous materials and life forms contained within. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. I really appreciate that. How do I get inside? I can't go in there. Okay, luckily the aggro range is pretty good on those things. Do I get in? Don't seem to get in there. There it is. Ah! All right. I don't think I want to pilot. I don't think I want to pilot too much more with the sea moth in here because it may be really hard to get out. Oh no, though. It's at least. Take a look, see. Ah! Starter prediction. Will I make it back to the base? Will I make it back to our base? That's the prediction. <laughs> oh. This is some shit! Hey, another one of those cubes. I <laughs> don't like it. Alright, whatever. Uh, I like how the battery basically stays. Interior walls in this section are substantially reinforced, indicating the designers were seeking either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever their intention, it clearly failed. Well, this is fine. All right, so I think the only, oh, actually, wait, I haven't gone over here yet. All 
I knew it. I brought this though. No, I left them! I brought them the other time! God damn it! I brought them the first time and I went back and I like put them down briefly and then forgot to bring them this time. No! Oh my god, dude. Come on. I literally bought, I brought them all out of the storage. And then I was just cr I'm doing some crafting, so I put it back in. Maybe I can find one here. God damn it, dude. Oh, maybe I can, uh... What the fuck is that? Alright. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright. Got our... got that up. Ugh. Well, that's a fucking egg. Sea dragon egg. <laughs> this large egg is held in a hermetically sealed environment and has been chemically sterilized. Without the means at the facility to house a fully grown sea dragon specimen, it is possible the aliens sought to study instead the egg laying incubation process. To what end is unclear. Wait, didn't I see something real quick here? The rib cage. Rib cage samples, array of rib cage from indigenous life forms, bigger focus on vertebral skeletal structures. Um, some of them I've never seen before. Okay, are they are they extinct? Different species of fray, each have different environments. They're genetically identical to those encountered on the planet today, so they haven't evolved very much. All the rays have given up predation in favor of herbivorous scavenging. I heard something, but I think it was just these ion cubes. What are you? Data terminal. Integrating new PDA data. Leviathan detected at facility perimeter, closing at high speeds. Exterior anchor cable impacted the massive forest. Collision with seafloor. Facility sinking. Breaches detected in containment human seven. Leviathan eggs. Immediate specimen destruction protocol initiated. 314 specimens destroyed. One unaccounted for. <laughs> Infected individuals may not leave the planet. Infected with what? Planetary quarantine protocol. Planetary quarantine protocol initiated. So is there something even bigger and crazier <laughs> even than that big boy that I saw around the Aurora at the beginning of the game? Because if it were to destroy like a whole facility like this, you would, and the aliens seem pretty advanced, right? Like, it seems like, um, have you, I have done a self scan, yep. No, I know I'm infected, but I just don't know what it, I don't know the relationship between the Leviathan and the infection. That's what I'm curious about. So those aren't Leviathans, those aren't like, there's something even worse than those, I guess. Another scan? I think I already did. It just says infected. Okay, let's keep going through here. Through there. I feel like I can see some inspiration that maybe Outer Wilds took from this game. 
Or that like this game, this, I don't know. Oh, hey, that's actually not that far from the tree. I guess it's that far. Um, did I see a scan? What was it? Oh my god, I can go through here. I thought there was a glass panel right here. Holy shit. I didn't realize I could... I, I didn't realize this was open. Jeez. I guess we're scanning this. Remains of research specimen. A vast predator housed within the artificial habitat. The environment constructed suggests it was kept alive and containment for research purposes for months or even years. Extensive plant life that is decayed. Mm. This wildlife specimen is significantly larger and features unusual forearms. What? <laughs> uh, interesting. <laughs> But where's the Kyanite? I definitely feel like Outer Wilds was inspired by this game. Is that a, s a warper? No, I thought I saw a warper in there. Let's go get our oxygen back. Some attempted to try to bring Yoshi deeper in here. I'm not too sure how well it'll work though. I think this is as far as I'll be able to bring it. And then right there, it seems like that was designed specifically so you can't bring it through. Okay. This is a wall, right? Yeah, okay. That's what confused me, then this one wasn't a wall. Let's go through here though. What's that? Stuff. Residual biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms were brought into this location and subjected to intensive study. Well, this is just fucked up. <laughs> All right, we've now got to the fucked up portion of the game. Warper parts. The organic parts on display contain scan the. Oh, did I miss a scan? This is what Carl when he does lab work. No, I don't hurt things. This production line setup suggests these self warping constructs were built, maintained, and deployed by the aliens. What is this? Data download? Data pertaining to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self scan is strongly advised. Self scan just says infected. Self scan complete. Bacterial uh. infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. Medical mm -hmm. report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative Deep. you find a way to neutralize the infection. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's good. That was fine. Oh, I wasn't really reading chat. Potentially, fortunately. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't mean to do that. Um, all right. How are we doing on everything? Oh, finally gonna eat that cured peeper. Um, we're down to our last fifty water, so we're gonna have to head back. Um. We're gonna have to head back at, uh, let's just say 50 water and then I'll fill back up. And then I think we just have to head back. Um, so we can explore a little bit more, but not that much more.
Self warping quarantine enforcer unit. Uh, this life form shows heavy genetic modification, extensive mechanical crafting. It's such a to be replaced by an onboard battery. What? Miniaturized phase technology has been implanted beneath the skin and is triggered by the central nervous system. So these are like weird programmable hunter killer. <laughs> huh. So the aliens were like creating some fucked up things and then they, and they made those warpers. Seems like a great idea. Said absolutely nobody ever. Okay, I think that's all there is to find in this particular area. If I miss something, chat, feel free to let me know. But that looks like all there was right there. And I've only got about a few more minutes before I am going to have to... Is there anything to scan in this area or anything I missed? You scan the spine of the big fish. What am I missing? Spine? <laughs> What's spine? It's outside. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try my best to explore the other direction, but we're really running out of time, and I feel like I might need the runic, the tablet thing to to do it. <laughs> Bring the sea moth back up here. And we got like one more go here, then we're gonna be out of time. So, um, let's get out of here. Was there anything right here? It's nothing, I think. Okay. Uh, that might be it. Shit, because I didn't bring one of those tablets! Ah! Man. Oh. Uh, big spine outside the hole. I don't know why I'm not seeing it, but I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I need a tablet. Okay, let me just look and see if there's like a tablet right outside. Oh, fuck off. If this like happened to be a tablet right outside, that'd be epic. But I don't think so. You sure you didn't put the tablets in the sea storage? Well, we may as well look. I was about. To, I don't think so because I was about to go get them. I remember that I put them in there and I was gonna go get them before I left, and then I just forgot to get them before I left. Ancient alien iPad. All right. The tree is there. That's my way out right there. And that's the path back out. So we came back down. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Get yeeted. Okay. So that's the way out right there. So let's just fucking get out of here. I'm out, bye. That's where we're going, right there. Try our best not to run directly into one of those fuckers. Uh, is it down there? I think it's around here, I hope. Nope. Uh -oh. Might be down. I think it's down there. That's the tree. There, that's it. It's right there. It's right there. All right, so first step is to go there. There was a dude patrolling down there. I think it remember going up was safe. So as long as I stay high up here, we should hopefully be good. This one's here. Oh, 
this one's here. Never found Kyanite. I almost want to explore this area a little more on our way back up. But I can't remember if the thing I saw was one of those or if it was even bigger than one of those. I think it was just that. Which is fine. They don't seem to have big aggro radiuses, so if I don't fucking run directly into it, I seem fine. Uh, but I don't see anything else down here. Alright. There's a warper over there, so let's just stay over here. Okay. And then this was the way out up here, I believe. It's really nice that they make it kind of visible down in that area. Made it a lot less horrible. This is this way. Ugh. Um, Mega, thank you so much for the sub. It's really appreciated. Okay. Um, I, what I really need is I need to put a beacon right here, but I'm out of beacons, I think. Yeah, I'm out of beacons. Away from me. Okay, I think we're safe. <laughs> That was the wrong fucking button. Holy shit. That was the wrong fucking button. <laughs> ah! Don't accidentally hit that button. All right. Water. Captain. Oh, the like thing to scan. I don't mind people pointing out things to scan if it's in an area that I'm in and I'm just trying to find things to scan and I'm like obviously just missing it. I don't mind people pointing that out. Um, that's okay with me just because it saves me time more than anything like it's not you know it's not spoiling anything ridiculous it's just hey i'm literally not seeing this thing that's in front of me you have two log entries i didn't read really uh in which way you mean in the data bank oh bacterial infection report you've been infected with previous waterborne bacterium it's currently multiplying estimated incubation time two weeks the immune system is currently combating Infection at low efficacy, you may be experiencing flu-like symptoms and skin irritation, and these will be exacerbated. Your immediate priority should be the abatement and eradication of the infection. Salvage further research, alien research data on possible vaccine. Investigate the mechanisms which have enabled the indigenous ecosystem to inhibit the symptoms of the infection. Well, my best, my best idea is to go Water filtrations. My best idea is to go um, back there with the tablet. Kara contagion profile. This terminal contains extensive data regarding the bacterial contagion identified as Kara. It was first encountered due to routine network expansion on outer world. Uh, network error resulted in routine quarantine uh, failure. So the contagion was uploaded to and spread quickly through the core worlds. Confirmed deaths 143 billion. <laughs> Well, shit. Uh, attaches to healthy living cells and mutates genetic structure. Classic. Gradual immune system failure, green skin lesions, unpredictable alterations to biological structure, complete shutdown of executive function. Hmm. I wonder what you turn into in the end. Uh, core worlds are quarantined. Bacteria samples distributed to isolated research facilities for vaccine development. Treatment procedure unknown. So does that mean they never figured one out? Hmm. That's why they decided animal experimentation was acceptable. So the original idea was to give you two game weeks to beat it before bacteria murders you. That was dropped in favor of letting you explore. Yeah, because it seems like, um, it seems like what happened is going to that research facility, hilariously enough, even though I was infected already, is actually what triggered it to do the two week countdown. Um, so if I just hadn't gone there, I could have kept exploring. <laughs> uh, green skin. Yeah, we're already a Yoshi. It's fine. You 
you've been you've died getting run over exiting a speeding spot. That's crazy. Now the progression of the virus uh, is tied to discoveries in the game. Yeah, I think that's better because they kind of make sure that you're prepared. Like, I was just thinking about it. Presumably, by the time you get to the when you have the ability to get all the way down into that research facility, then um, you have the tools needed to find the solution, which from a gameplay perspective is a lot Welcome better. aboard, Captain. Though there are multiple times when I thought this game was going to just kill you if you did something wrong. Uh, like, the Aurora, I thought the Aurora exploding was going to like destroy this whole area. Alright, got more water. Let's drop off our stuff and then just go back, I guess. Pick up our tablets. Um, we need some more. F we need some more food and like a couple more water, though. Just so we have ample time to explore. Here they are, man. <laughs> All right, let's just bring that. I think they really tuned the difficulty quite well on the um, the various monsters. By the way, like they're not frustrating to go up against. They're more scary than they are like actually horrifying. Oh, hi Kenzie, we just, uh... Uh, no, I haven't died yet. Um, don't you have a Cyclops? I can build it, or, uh, I can build it now. Yeah, I can build it now. Um, should I build the Cyclops or go back there? I need to, basically I need to farm a bunch of materials, but I can get them all for the Cyclops. Cyclops! <laughs> you made it back to base, I did. Okay, um, well, let's see what I need for the Cyclops. Oh, it's already in the top right. Okay, so the main issue is I need a nut Well, there's multiple issues. I need another Plasteel, which means I need 10 more um, Titanium. So let's do Fragments on this. And let's go fill up on, uh, let's go fill up on Titanium. So in that case, I'm gonna put this stuff back and we're not gonna freaking forget about it this time. <laughs> Don't forget about it this time. I don't know if I need the stasis rifle with me. I feel like the repulsion cannon's pretty good for when I just need to do something. So let's see. Let's go get these fragments and that'll give us the titanium that we need for the Cyclops. Nerd alert. One of these is closest to me. That one's closer. I can sort of tell how close they are based on. Uh... Wait, can I tell based on that? Is that how this shit works? I was thinking the ones that move less, or the ones that move more, are I'm closer to. Maybe I was wrong about that. Like if I stray to the side. No, that doesn't necessarily mean that, huh? No, it does. Yeah, it does. It does. How does Parallax work? How are your pets doing? I should go check on them again. Perfect. Hopefully 
full of titanium now. Why am I jumping? <laughs> All right. Oh, I just my my dream in life is to hit a peeper with one of these. It's just so impossible. Three plasteel ingots in order to make the cyclops. Um, in order to make another one, actually, wait, I might need to get some more lithium. I can't remember if I got any or not. Oh my god, I got tons of lithium. So that's good. Um, let's get the, uh, the plasteel ingot. So that's all three of those. I already have three glass, but I need to make it enamel glass. That's just stalker teeth. I have that somewhere. Um, let's see, I need, um, quartz and I think I have an extra glass, maybe an extra quartz. I've already got two of these. Yeah. Okay. We'll get these guys. Um, okay. Do I have any more glass or do I need to just use quartz? And then I think they're in here. Yeah, I got all these stalker teeth, got three of those. And then I already have one glass, two glass. So I only need one extra glass. There we go, enamel glass. I've already got a lubricant. Um, then I need three lead. Thank goodness it's getting rid of my lead. I wish something would use three gold. I have like so much gold. I need the advanced wiring kit. So we need to make a regular wiring kit with silver, but then we, oh, two more gold. Okay. Two table coral, I'm not sure if I have. We need two silver, some gold. So let's start out by making the wiring kit. With the wiring kit, we turn into an advanced wiring kit just by having a computer chip. So we need uh, two copper, two coral, and one more gold. One more gold. No, I need three gold. I already got it. Two copper. Which I might not have. Um. So much gold. Yeah, okay, I need to get one more table coral and one more copper. I got the lubricant. Yep. Uh, okay, one more coral. Yeah, one more coral. Let's just put all the materials in here. There we go, put all the materials in there. Go get a table coral and a copper and then we'll have enough. And then that'll allow me to pick up some extra crap on the way. May as well do limestone for copper. And I think the coral is like right here. I think this is it. Yeah, the table. Drop this off, and we'll get the copper. We're like running out of copper, I feel like. Is there more of it? More of it's kind of, not really. I think I'm just running out.
Yay, titanium. <laughs> Nerd alert. Technically all I need, but I'm always out of cover, so wouldn't be the worst idea to get a few more while I'm here. The copper shortage phase is the entire game. The fact that you never know if it's going to be titanium or copper makes it even worse. Um, is that it? No, I missed it. The sound that those make is hilarious. So annoying. All right, I could probably got a full-ish inventory. Good enough. Let's see how my creatures are doing. Let's see how my pets are doing. <laughs> Hi, friends. How's everybody doing? Uh, what a bunch of cuties. Creature eggs. Let's go. <laughs> Bibbies. Please bring cuttlefish outside. Aw. Sure, can I? Whoopsies. I was slightly worried I was gonna spawn demons in there. Wait, this didn't go off. No, it did go off. It just takes a second. Whoa, zappy zappy. But you don't have water for me. 69%. All right, we'll come back. Um, all right, let's stash all of our newfound goodies in here and we'll just keep a little bit of copper. Then we need, oh God, it all sorted. What did we need? Like, uh, I don't remember. We're trying to make what the computer chip. So, uh, make a copper wire. And then it's two table coral and a gold. We need those, we need those, we need that. Uh, we need three lead too. And we're trying to make the advanced wiring kit, so two more gold. Fabricate! Um. Okay, now we just need three lead, which I'm pretty darn sure I have. Hey, there it is. Yes, here we go. We can do it, finally. The Cyclops. Oh, I really want to use the prawn suit, and I want to just... Drill arm. I'm going to get the torpedo arm, or whatever it's called. All right. 
Cyclops, vast industrial use of it. Must be constructed in deep the water. Can I move this? <laughs> How do I move the vehicle bay? <gasps> Can I move this somehow? Fall. Fun! You know what? I have a storage thing right here. So let's just uh, load it up with junk real fast. Oh, I can pack it up. Okay, I need a deeper area. Oh my gosh, how big is the Cyclops? That may be over here. That's wild. Wait, which one of these did I just stick all that stuff in? Not that one. This one? No, nope. another egg in there though. What? What? Wait, that was set empty. I could have just seen that. Okay, it must be this one. There it is. Um, where is it? It's over here. All right, here we go. Cyclops. Holy shit! <laughs> it's massive. should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. Wow. Well, that's pretty cool. Holy butts! I love watching the little. <laughs> Whoa. Cyclops, let's go. Doop, 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 doop. Yeah, look at them spinning around. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay. How do I get inside of you? Whoa. Boards, board the Cyclops. Welcome aboard. Jeez, Captain. it's huge. Lower All deck. Whoa, that was the fastest climbing animation I've ever seen. <laughs> wow, can I just build shit in here? Hold on. Habitat builder. Can I build shit in the Cyclops? Oh, it already has something. What are you? No vehicle docked. Oh, shit. Decoy launcher, open decoy loading tube, load decoys here. Cool, creature decoy. Oh my god, this is sick. This is absolutely sick. Jeez, it's got three power. Okay, I'm gonna need the power cell charger. Cyclops upgrade fabricator. Oh, this is cool. Uh, one plasteel and three rubies, I have that. Energy efficiency module, I have enough for that. Shield generator. I have that stuff too. I don't have the sonar upgrade. Docking bay repair module. I have that. How many modules can I put in it? Where do I put modules in you? Let's see where I, let's figure out how to put the modules in. Damn, this thing is sick. Holy crap. I just did not understand how big this thing was. Take fire. It's got a little fire extinguisher. Hi, Ruby. Are you excited to access? It's got six upgrades. 1500 health, 1200 energy. Damn. That is absolutely wild. And I could just dock the Seamoth on it. Yo, pilot sub. Look at this. This is so awesome. Was this in the game when it was first released? Toggle internal lighting, toggle external floodlights. Ooh. I wonder if there's a reason you would want to turn the lights off. 
Cyclops Modification Station. Yeah, we gotta give it a name. The Carl Box. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa. I wanna see what the I see what the stripes look like. No, I'm gonna go dock the seamoth on it. Fast climbing animation, go. <laughs> Let's we gotta explore here first too. Is this where launch bay? I feel like there would be a seamoth right there, maybe or something. Is that where it'd be? This is the butt. The submarine butt. Okay, this is where I would have come out if I had gone down here. Prawn suit. Can I put the prawn suit too? Does it fit both of them? Hold on, let's try it. If you get plants, you can live. Wait, you can put your plants inside and move the storage there too. You can live out of that. Yeah, that's wild. Screw the base. We just live in the Cyclops now. That is epic. That is really epic. I didn't even process that it was going to be big enough to build in. It's got like 20 bajillion upgrades too. Um, Welcome aboard, Captain. Are the blueprints for the upgrades? Yeah, the Cyclops upgrades. Um, one of these that I wanted, the shield, no. Uh, the death module, okay, it's just one plasteel ingot. I want all of them. <laughs> Can't get the sonar yet. <laughs> I want all of them. Hello there. Don't mind if I do. Cool. Well, okay, let's try putting the sea moth in it. I don't wanna, I don't know how that's gonna work. You have two that you already found. Oh shit, you're right. Where are my modules? I forgot about that, thank you. Where are they at? Probably in here somewhere. Cyclops, I already have the energy efficiency one. Let's go. And what's the other one? Do I really have another one already? Um, your power is quickly draining. Um, wait, how do I stop the, how do I turn it off? Do I turn the lights off? Is that how I stop? How do I stop it from draining power? Um, I thought I put all my upgrades in these chests here. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Are you sure I don't just have the one? Hmm. Maybe I don't have it. Um, but yeah, what do I do about the power situation on it? Let's see. Um, you can turn off the engine. The lights don't drain the power. Okay, I didn't, I figured the engine would be off because I'm not going anywhere right now, but maybe that's wrong. I think I, I, think I would too, because I love pixel TV All stuff. systems online. Creature tank. Pretty sure it's somewhere over here. I put it right here. Wait, shouldn't it be? Am I dumb? Shouldn't I have just a thing for it? Cyclops. Wait, I do have the thing for it. Where? I must be going the wrong way. It's over here. I went the wrong way. Yeah. The Carl Box. How do I dock you? Oh shit, that just, oh shit. Damn, that's so cool. Wow. Damn, that's awesome. Boop. <laughs> uh, how do I turn the power off so it's not draining power? Access upgrades. Open store, oh, it has a storage. Oh, this is the same storage as the... That's interesting. This is the same storage as my initial area. By the way, I apparently had the Seamoth sonar upgrade the whole time and never... No, this is the Seamoth storage. Oh, that's the Seamoth storage. That's what that is. Oh, okay. Okay, that is the Seamoth. Interesting. It's just down there. Okay. Um, you turn the engine off at the helm. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, it's off. Okay, so it's not draining any battery right now. I mean, it'd be weird if it were draining battery before I even started launch. Creature decoy countermeasure. Rig for silent running. Activate external camera systems. Whoa. Got all these lights. Damn, that's wild. That's super cool. Okay, I'll put the upgrade module in. Um, wait, that was down. The upgrade module is down here. Cyclops! <laughs> wait, that wasn't down here, was it? That wasn't down here! It was up here. Alright, so we can put in the energy efficiency module. Energy efficiency now 300%. Hell yeah. Um, we probably should make a power cell. Well, one of them went down a little bit. I wonder what used power. Um, we probably should make a power cell. Recharger, now that we know that these are going to need a bunch of them. Um, okay, so if we have the energy efficiency modules. Let's take that one off of here. The energy engine efficiency module. Okay, we don't need to make that one. It'd be nice to make these though, like the depth module. We need, definitely need to do. Um, so that's just one plasteel and three ruby. It probably charged. It charges docked vehicles. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Damn, this is so epic. <laughs> this is just ridiculously epic. <laughs> this game. Something that I really, really like about the design of this game is that. Every single time it feels like you're OP and you've gotten like the best, coolest thing, it one-ups it. And it has done that over and over and over again to the point where I'm like, surely there's nothing left. And then you get the fucking Cyclops. Like even just upgrading the oxygen, it like quadruples, right? Like from the beginning, it like quadruples instantly. Now it's like all my stuff just charges with my fins <laughs> Every like upgrade I got felt like it was incredible, and yet you were and, like when you get the sea glide, the sea glide is so good when you first get it, but now the sea moth is like using sonar and electric pulsing, and it has storage, and it's just it's like it feels so safe while I'm in it. Um, I don't know, the game is just really really good at doing that. This is by far the best survival game we've ever played. The atmospheres, biome, tools, and story are all top notch. That's the other thing too. It's like the, the atmosphere and biomes are really good as well. The story was, I was not sold on at all at the beginning and I've been getting like way more into it. I'm really liking it more. Um, a lot of the voice acting is amazing and it actually gets very like cheeky and sassy for a lot of it too. There are some really funny moments that I wasn't expecting. I have made the prawn suit, um, but I have not upgraded it yet. How many Cyclops did you lose in a playthrough? You lost four Cyclops? That's crazy. <laughs> uh, uh. Customize the subs colors. I thought I did. Maybe I didn't do it right. Um, okay, so you can only... Uh, that's a question I'm, I'm okay if you guys answer. You had an upgrade in your life plus storage. I'll go look for it, Scally, but I think I did move it. I think I did move it out. I have a question though. Is I can I only dog either the sea moth or the prawn suit and not both of them? Uh wait, where's the hatch? It's down here to get out. Sweet Cyclops! Damn, it's so cool. Only one. Okay. Yeah, if I, so the prawn suit seems to suffer from mobility, so I'm assuming the Cyclops moves pretty fast. If it does, then like dropping you off on the prawn suit sounds, sounds amazing. I just, I need to get Kyanite before I can fully upgrade the prawn suit, and I'm kind of scared to use it extensively until then, because I felt like it was pretty clunky to move around on, and I want, I want to get the like, the movement upgrade for it. Um, okay, cool. Well, um... I guess I should do the research. Thank you. I guess I should do the research facility before trying to fully upgrade the Cyclops. 
Um, just because it told me I had a two week timer. I don't know how legit the two weeks is if I'm just gonna straight up die in two weeks. But since I have the infection counting down, I feel like I should probably take the Cyclops to the entrance and then just take the Seamoth in and try to finish the research facility. Um, he lost two Cyclops to beaching them. Oh <laughs> uh, shit, that's hilarious. Um, do you have a VOD channel? Yes, yes. So um, you can watch the entire thing will be posted um, on YouTube uh, for the second channel that is the Subnautica and Minecraft. And so um, only the first episode is up right now, but eventually they all will be. So if you don't want to miss anything, that's the place to go. Uh, there's a ton of storage lockers in the lower deck. Oh, really? Subnautacraft? <laughs> yeah. Um... Okay, since this is probably, so, okay, what I would do if this were like, you know, just me playing and everything were unspoiled, I would rush to get back there to go to the research facility um, because I'd be worried that I'm going to literally just die because I'm playing a hardcore run. I don't know what's happening. It told me I had two weeks. So I'm thinking two weeks, day-night cycles of in-game time. Um, that's going to be over pretty fast, honestly. So, um, I would like a hint from chat only in the form of like, should I prioritize going to the research facility? Cause I would love to fuck around with the Cyclops. Okay. I would love to fuck around with the Cyclops. So it's mainly just changing. Like, do I get to have fun with the Cyclops or should I go back there? Um, okay. I just want to know if I can have fun. Okay, good. I just don't want to die to some random shit happening. Okay, cool. The timer countdown is merely a suggestion. All right. Yeah, that's uh, that's good to know just because it allows me to enjoy the what I was doing. You can still die to random shit. Yeah, but like if I'm just like building shit for the Cyclops and then my character's like, oh, and just dies and it's all over, that would be really obnoxious. So I just don't wanted to make sure that that wasn't actually what they were going for. Okay, cool. Um, however, we do still need to get Kyanite before I can really, um... that's nice. I like how the game like presents you with all these issues, but it also lets you chill. I feel like that's actually a really good game design decision. Okay. I can make the depth module for the prawn suit. I can't make the thermal reactor and I can't make the jet upgrade because I need the crystalline sulfur. But I can make the grappling arm and the drill arm and we can go grapple around in a prawn suit. <laughs> that sounds pretty great. So maybe I'll make the depth module and the uh, grappling arm and uh and we'll go grapple around on the prawn suit <laughs> i can't make the torpedo though <laughs> hmm. Hmm, it's fun that is fun all right <gasps> um what do you guys think should i upgrade should i prioritizing Prioritize upgrading the Cyclops or the prawn suit because I can get a bunch of this stuff already. I can already make that We don't need that one. I can already make that Yes, <laughs> just get them both. All right, cool. They both sound really fun The prawn suit seems really fun. I want to try it out more Cyclops docking bay repair module repairs vehicles docked with the Cyclops. Oh, so it already recharges them, but this allows it to actually repair them. Okay. Well, I may as well grab a couple of these because they're really easy. Um, and then we'll work on the prawn suit. Okay. Um, I need to use the restroom. Um, I'll be back in just a minute. And then let's, uh, <laughs> let's investigate the Cyclops and the prawn crowd control version of this. That sounds amazing, Exile. Oh, Vesper. I am so bad about drinking liquids. My goodness. If I'm focused on something, I just always forget. Ruby.
Do you want to ride in a prawn suit, Ruby? <laughs> All right. He probably wants to eat the prawn suit. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting sushi because this game makes me want to get back. Okay, cool. Um, well, let's pick a thing and do it. We need a ton more titanium, as always. Then I want to I want to go around in the prawn suit and try to use the. Oh wait, maybe we already have enough. Yes, I forgot I already got this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my god, that's exactly enough. Yes. Um, for anybody who missed it, we have got the Cyclops now. And we're gonna upgrade the prawn suit, get the Cyclops rolling. An overlay IRL. Let's see, I need like three rubies if I'm not mistaken. Ruby, come back. I only, I need more rubies. Okay, there we go. Um, and then I need to turn it into plasteel. How do I do that again? Lithium. I think I have that. Yeah. All right, that's the Cyclops de uh, death module. I just need two copper for the repair thingy thing for it. That's easy to do. Snag two copper, make a copper wire. The shield's kind of cool sounding. What do I do for that? It's just gold and HCL. I think I've got that. Um, there's the HCL and there's the gold. So we just need to make a uh, polyaniline. How long will it take for Carl to blow up the Cyclops? <laughs> Wait, why did it? Oh my god. It just, it doesn't, the ad thing doesn't work. The ad thing doesn't work. I don't understand how to make it work. Um, let's see. I need an advanced wiring kit. Um, two silver, two gold. Oh my god, so many things. Two silver, two gold. Yeah. Maybe I have that. I have the gold for sure. Nickel. One silver. It might be it though. I don't know if I have another silver. <laughs> All right, so we would need, oh, maybe we just won't get the shield for now. Yeah, let's just not get the shield for now. Put this stuff back. Okay, I think that's probably good enough. What else? What is this? The docking bay repair module. We have that one. The decoy tube upgrade. That's pretty easy to make. Increases the capacity of the decoy loading tube. I mean, I probably don't need that though, even though it's easy to make. But I mean, it's really, oh no, actually I don't have the titanium. All right, screw that. We're gonna, we're gonna be happy just with the death module and the docking bay thing. Uh, the next thing I wanna look at is the uh, prawn suit upgrades. And then we're gonna go mess around with the prawn suit. Yeah. Let's see. Um, my goodness, prawn suit. We can't get the jump upgrade, but we can get the grappling one. Okay, let's get the grappling arm. Well, we're gonna need to go get some more titanium anyway. And for the advanced wiring kit, I think I need some more silver. So let's just mark, um, let's mark fragments, I guess. And that'll get us the titanium we need. And then we'll hopefully find some silver on the way. You're gonna love it. Yeah. I'm excited. Soon the fragments should show up. The Carl box, I love it, just sitting there. <laughs> Amazing. Um, did I clear my inventory? Oops, I could have cleared it more. Hold on, let's clear it out. Just so I can carry more stuff. Yeah. No, no, no. Mm. I don't 
down. Wait, did I? Okay, there we go. I'm running out of frag. So I don't think these things respawn, or I don't know. It does feel like the um, like the sandstone and stuff that's just kind of around my base is basically gone at this point, which does make me think that it's a limited supply. Yeah, like these caves would totally have some, but it's like all gone now. Oh, you have one here. Lead, the one thing I don't need. So there's like a couple, I suppose, but I think it's just because I haven't been here. I don't know. Do they respawn ever? Yeah, I got some copper. Carl, did you get fired? The professor that I work with retired. Well, is in the process of retiring. I'm still finishing up experiments at the lab, but like, um, so I'm starting an experiment tomorrow morning. But then basically I like do some stuff with some plants to make them produce a norovirus vaccine. Uh, and I'm teaching two new students how to do that stuff, which has actually been really fun. I love teaching. Um, but then like, so we're gonna do, we're gonna start an experiment tomorrow morning and we're starting it for the next day though. So it's like, I basically have 30 minutes of work tomorrow um, and then the next day after that, it's like, you know, it's like a long thing. It's going to take like most of the day, but then, um, uh, but then after that, I can't do anything for five days. And then after that, I can't do anything for two weeks until some plants grow. Um, so it's just kind of like, I just have a, since there's not a lot of funding in the lab left anymore, um, I'm pretty limited as to what I'm able to do. And, um, like, normally what I would do, like, when I was really doing a lot of research stuff is I would have, like, five projects going on at once. So, like, while well, one of them I have to wait two weeks for, uh, I would work on the other project while those two weeks are happening. Um, but now there's no funding for that. So I basically just have my last project. This is the very last thing I'm going to be doing. And um, once that project's done, then it's that's the last thing I'll do. Um, and that project has a lot of weight steps in it. So then, so I have been uh, interviewing for new jobs, and for new labs. Um, so far I haven't found one that I like super like the looks of. I don't know, I have an in-person interview, but we'll see. Um, it's really hard to know what it's like. I don't, I de like for me, if I don't work, if I'm not working with nice people, I'm not interested. Like I don't care like how much they get done or whatever. Um, so it's like with scientists, it's sometimes a little bit questionable, like how, how good are they to be around as people? <laughs> you love streaming so often. I think you should be. I've been having a great time. A lot of these games have been super fun. What is that? Camera drone. Oh, that's my camera. Are we, oh, we are full on stuff, so let's go back home. What is the process of interviewing for labs? Um, it basically involves, um, I mean, everybody's gonna be a little different, but it mainly involves just sending them an email unless they have some, sometimes people have like an official posting or something, but otherwise it's basically just sending them an email and describing what you want and why you're interested. And you know, then you might do like Zoom interviews or if it's remote Welcome or if it's like far away, captain. then you might like fly over there and, do something in person later. There we go. So much titanium. I only got two silver. Two. I only got two copper from that. So I need to get uh, silver. Um, that's gonna be not limestone. Uh, that's gonna be sandstone, I think. Silver. I hope. How do you know who which ones to send an email to? Um, by looking at their research and seeing if I like it. So like what I do is I look for people who are in the same field as me, uh, and then I see where they're located. I mean, I could just get a non-university job, right? Like I could just get a regular industry job, but I, I really like universities. I like working with students. And I like not necessarily just focusing on making a product or whatever. I like the freedom of being able to explore different things. That's the part that makes research fun to me. 
Um, like the, the vaccine I'm working on is like, I have two groups that I'm doing, or like, I guess you could think of it as like two sub projects that are like, you know, very scientifically valid, you know, the culmination of all my hard work for years, all this stuff. And then I have one part of it where I'm just kind of messing around and doing something that like, I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but uh, maybe I'll discover something cool. You know, it's, it's fun, right? There's no product that I'm trying to make. I'm not trying to sell something. And I'm not, you know, I don't have like, I, I don't have a manager telling me what to do. And that part of research I really enjoy, the discovery part, the creativity part of it. Um, so for that reason, I like academic labs. Downside of academic labs, they pay a lot less and um, it's a lot less streamlined, like it's kind of random. I don't know, it can, it's just, they're all over the place. Soul is none, money is much, it's a hard trade off. I totally understand though, like if people's goals or whatever are to do something else and they just want a job to have a job, totally valid. I just really like doing science research, so I try to make it work. And there's a, unfortunately there's a time that it might not work, like, if I, I, I really, really, really appreciate, um, like all the support that people have given me on stream because it kind of allows me to do some of the science stuff that I wouldn't necessarily be able to do otherwise because again, a lot of the stuff that I do does not pay very well in that regard. But I really like, like teaching for instance. The main thing that I get paid for right now is for teaching. And it's, <laughs> it's not much, <laughs> but I love it. I love teaching. I don't want to stop teaching. It's, and it's sad that, you know, you don't really, we don't really live in a society where you can, you know, make a good living being a teacher. So much silver. All right, well, that's probably enough silver. Hopefully I won't burn through all that. How many of your students have recognized you? If, the other, um, last year it was actually like somebody else's class. Um, I thought it was pretty funny. I don't know. <laughs> it's just like, you can, there's a, uh, an, odd ones, an Odd Ones Out video that I love called Getting Recognized. Um, and I thought it's like so on point and so funny because it's like when, you know, you're just kind of out in public. People sort of behave a certain way, you know, normally. And it's like when somebody gives you this like particular look <laughs> that like, I guess if you've been a content creator for a long time, maybe you kind of, I don't know, you start, you sort of start to like uh, recognize the look or whatever. And it's like, <laughs> uh, so I, I walked into uh, my, um, one of my co-teachers classes and then, and then that happened, and I was like, oh. <laughs> Hi. Uh, yeah, that did happen on a date. And I think it ruined the date, Riveroni. I think the person I was on a date with literally thought that I had, like, done some weird, like, setup thing to, like, have somebody also go there at the same time who, like, would recognize me or, you know, claim to recognize me from something. And it was just totally random and not like that at all. So it like completely came off wrong, I think. Class. Everybody blurring the teacher, but he struggles during the summer. Yeah. On the one hand, summer break is nice. On the other hand, money. <laughs> the date recognized you? No, 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 no. Yeah, somebody else recognized me while I was on a date. And it was probably weird for said date. The date doesn't enjoy my weird content, probably isn't the one. Let's see. Um, do I have more water? I do. I kind of want to save these. Oh wait, do I have more in here? Might have put some more in here. Oh, I got tons. Never mind. I wonder if it gives you these, like, at the exact rate that you use water, or like, I wonder how the comparison is there. Feels similar to that. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Hmm. Not necessarily, but it's, it's hard to... I mean... It could, I, I think it could come off as very self-centered or weird. Um, just to kind of like, if you're not sure, just, you know, if you don't actually know what's going on and it's just some weird, weird interaction the first time you meet somebody. Um, okay, what am I doing? I need to make copper wire. So let's get to copper. Wait, that's gold. Ah, the gold keeps tricking me. If you thought it was fake, yeah, exactly. And like, I don't know, how are you supposed to know? <laughs> it was a, it was extremely unlikely and very coincidental, so I could see how it would come across weird. All right, copper, wire, um, and the repair tool. I guess I'm gonna need to make another repair tool, so let's do that. How do I make another repair tool? Oh, finally, the cave sulfur has another use. Rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium. Silicone. Cave sulfur. Titanium. Cool. Okay, and I want to make the grappling suit for that, too. So we need five titanium, one lithium, benzene. I might have a benzene. The benzene I can get from outside. That's right. We have our farm going now. Let's see. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm going to need to clear some inventory space for this, aren't I? Uh, let's see. I have three rubies and a thing that I put somewhere, don't I? Three rubies. I'm just gonna go put this in or else I'm gonna just have it here forever. Let's just go put these two things in the Cyclops. Wait, how do I get in here again? <laughs> I've already forgotten. Down here. Oh, it opens up. So I can't Welcome see up it. Chat. All systems online. All systems online. We're still at basically full power, right? Yeah, 100% power. All right. Um. Let's see. Well, the other thing is, is I could see somebody who doesn't know what streaming is be turned off by the idea of it. Like, hey, I play video games on the internet or whatever, and people watch. Like, I don't know. If somebody's not familiar with Twitch, I could see them being like, that doesn't sound like something I'm into. Let's see. Cyclops Doxing Day Repair Module. Is the Cyclops purple yet? I tried to make it purple. I don't know what happened. Yeah, they're very much Kenzie. Let's see. Um, all right, I think that's all we're gonna do for the Cyclops right now. Oh my god, I need to turn these sandstone chunks off. <laughs> Get them out of here. Ah! Wait, I'm on the wrong side, aren't I? This is the way out. Okay, let's see. Um, now we can do the prawn suit upgrade. I always get turned around this way. Now we can do the prawn suit upgrades. I wonder if there's anything you can drill that like... like you can... Wait, this isn't where I'm supposed to be. I haven't been here in forever. This is an old habit. I guess I'll take this. I don't want to be here. 
Um, I do want to get these though. The blood oil. There we go. I think I need three of these. Warning. Oh, not again, really? Oxygen production offline. What's... Don't I have enough solar power things yet? How do I make the bigger one? Oh, man. But now if I'm going to move into the Cyclops, like, what's the point? Well, if I put stuff in the Cyclops, I want to drain more Cyclops power. There it goes. Bioreactor. I can't make the nuclear reactor yet. Power restored. All primary systems online. Converts heat to energy at medium efficiency. Is the thermal plant worth making? It's an exterior thing. Converts heat to energy at medium efficiency. I don't know if there's like, there's been like eight solar panels. The solar panels are easy is the thing. Um, wait, I have like full on solar panel. Wait, what do I need? Uh, let's see. Copper. Bioreactor might be the play. Oh, let's convert this to fins. Get some inventory space. Well, we're so close to having enough power, we're gonna just throw on another, th another solar panel. And if it gets to the point where I build anything new, then I'll just build the power then. I've already got like <laughs> eight solar panels, it's fine. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, let's take some of these things off here. Um, we don't need any of the Cyclops upgrades anymore. We're good on Cyclops upgrades. Uh, let's also remove. Oh, I already removed it? Wait. Yeah, I already removed that. Okay, cool. Um,. So we need to make that wiring kit thing. That's why I got the silver, I think. So I need to make an advanced wiring kit. And I don't think I have a regular wiring kit yet. Let's start there. And if I call it's like two gold. Oh, a computer chip too. Gold, copper, and coral. Gold. It's three gold total for all this stuff. Uh, copper, coral. Copper wire, computer chip, advanced wire kit. There we go. Now we got the grappling hook on our prawn suit. Heck yeah. You know what would be really nice? If you had the materials in any of your storage, if it lets you build things in the fabricator, um, I feel like uh, I feel like that would be. Like, I, what is, is there really a point in running back and forth between all your storage? There's a mod for that. <laughs> that sounds about right. Okay, we want to make. Grappling suit arm, heck yeah. Let's dock the prawn suit here. Enter prawn. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so I can still have these four other upgrade slots. Oh, I need the depth module for it for sure. As well. Welcome to be aboard, captain. Too. Welcome aboard, captain. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, how does it move? Whoa. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, cool, cool, cool. What's the grappling arm do? No, that's the drill arm. Oh, shit. How do I Spider-Man this shit? Spider-Man, let's go! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, don't hit the wall. Okay, it is so nice that that doesn't just hit the wall. Thank frick that that doesn't just hit the wall. Okay. I wonder if I can like get some momentum and swing out to the side. Like uh, I was thinking Pathfinder from Apex Legends. Hmm. 
How does this work exactly? Oh, I hold it down. Okay, cool. So basically, it's getting me up areas. It seems like the main function of it. Oopsies. Oh, I can climb the wall to some extent. Or am I using my jet packs or whatever? Okay. Oh god, I'm like kind of stuck. See, this is where the extra jetpack boost would probably come in handy right there. I have a drill arm. Now, I shouldn't I get some defenses though? Like this is pretty great, but like where's if if one of those big things comes at me, like I feel like I'm pretty screwed in this. I don't know. The jet boost is very helpful. I'm feeling like I want the jet boost. Prawn is tough though. Hmm. I don't know if I should realistically think I'm gonna fire some torpedoes or something at one of those things, but I guess I could trade out the drill for the torpedo if I'm like full combat prawn. Let me see again. Oh, I don't have, dang it, ingredients unknown. I don't even have the, the torpedo arm yet. Oh, and I can't get the jumpsuit upgrade. All right, recharges power cells in hot areas. That's really interesting that it's like specifically recharges in a hot area. So I think the, the play is probably to um, take the prawn suit into the really hot areas. Okay, but we can still have some fun with the grappling arm and maybe we can drill some new stuff. That'd be cool. Uh, let's definitely get the death module. I have the three nickel. I think I have two more ruby. Maybe we need to actually get more ruby. Let's check it out. Do I have any more ruby? Any more ruby? Any more ruby? No, no more ruby. One ruby. Dang it. Okay, so we need to get one more ruby before we um, can get the death module. Nuts. So I think we're going to have to wait on the prawn suit and have to maybe go explore. Yeah, maybe we go explore and try to find some of that extra stuff. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Carl, the prawn death is 900 base. Oh, shit. All right, that's really good. Um, all right, well, that's cool. All right, screw it. I want I want I want a prawn suit. Maybe we'll use the prawn suit to find more shit. Okay, um, let's see. We'll bring a water. We'll bring two waters with us. Um, got plenty of health. Plenty of health. We just need some um, fish. We need some fud. Let me make sure I don't have anything in here. Does the prawn suit use a power cell? Let's see. I can probably put a bunch of useful things. Um. Prawn suit have any? Are the Cyclops will have storage? Let me go look at the Cyclops storage. I guess. Get this out of here just so it can uh, keep cooking. All right, let's trade our sea moth for the prawn suit. The prawn does have storage. Oh shit! Oh man. Whoa. <laughs> I got that. I don't have, I need, you know what I need to make? Um, I need to make the power cell charger. Is that an interior thing of a thing? Interior module, power cell charger. Two rubies, all right, we need to go get some more rubies. We need to get some rubies. More advanced wiring kits. Dag nabbit. Hmm. Well, um. I'm torn. Do I take the sea moth or do I take the prawn? The advantage of the sea moth is I kind of know how to get out of danger with it right now and i feel like i really want that extra upgrade to get some better mobility on the prawn um how worth is the drill how worth is the drill that's the question i have if the drill is not super worth then i feel like i should yeah i should do what feels safe 
I wait till I get more uh, Naga Fight Leviathan with that grappling arm and drill arm. <laughs> Uh, that feels like spoiler bait. I mean, you could just say it's worth it or not. <laughs> the drill is amazing. Drill is worth. All right. Like, I don't know if it's. It's mainly just saving me time. Okay, so in that case, we'll go in the Seamoth. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I always dual wield drill and grapple. Wait, where am I going? I wanna go. Access upgrades, power cell. Oh, open storage, cool. Okay, the bronze suit actually has loads of storage. That's pretty nice. It's quite nice. Eh? All right. You wait here, fawn friend, and we will put you in here. Let me remember what's in the storage here because can't fucking remember. Oh, this is sonar. Power cell. Yeah, let's um take the power cell with us, I suppose, and put it in the uh I'll put two power cells in the in the prawn suit. Alright. Enter prawn! Yeah. <laughs> oh, I kinda swung a little. Uh, how do I... Oh god. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> I need the upgrade, chat! It goes up so badly! Tablets. I'm not going there. I figure I'm not gonna find upgrades and rubies and things there. I just wanna try out the, um... I want to try out the Cyclops. Just, yeah, good to check. Thank you. Wait, that was... I literally just ran the wrong way. I always get turned around in this thing. Um, but first, I need to just uh, snag some fishies real fast. Gary! Hello, Gary. Um, Boomerang would be better than Gary. Yeah, here we go. Boomerang. Oh, I actually got a peeper. Let's go. Um, how much food am I down? Let's do the boomerang, the Gary, and then the peeper will be pretty good. Okay, I'll just uh, get more when I need it. I should be able to just get food when I need it. Oh, I can't go up there. I can go up here. Yeah. Okay, where are we gonna go? Um, I have an idea of where to go. If we look at the um, uh, life pod, one of these. 150 meters northwest. No, I think we. Wasn't there one of these we didn't get? Maybe not. Oh no, maybe I did get those. I thought there was something that I hadn't been to yet. Let me see in the beacon manager. Um, let's remove these research facility ones for now. I think we have done all of them actually. Yeah, I think we did do all of them. I thought I had like a secret code or something. Um, I 
Alien Security Terminal. Well, maybe we just go back to the Alien Facility then. I don't know if I have... Or, or else I could just try going somewhere random. Um, live access, note to self, sweet offer. Yeah, okay, maybe that's it then, actually, and I just have to go... I thought I had somewhere else to go, but I actually don't think I do. I think it's just this... Um, Hmm, but I don't want to test out the war I don't want to test out the thing there. I want to go somewhere. Maybe we can just go back to uh, pick a direction <laughs> YOLO <laughs> Where have I not I'm trying to think which direction have I not really explored or have I gone everywhere? Hmm, what's a good direction to go? I haven't gone directly past the Aurora um, I do know that there's that big creature over there though, so that kind of scares me. I'm not gonna lie down into the abyss. Um, well, we need more. We know we need more ruby. Which one of these definitely had ruby? Uh, probably the. This one had ruby. Yeah, this one had ruby. Maybe we go back here and just to get more. Stalker Doom Lair had Ruby. I ain't afraid of them anymore. <laughs> what was the issue down there? Oh yeah, that's where I found the cave, wasn't it? Um, so it's either that or the other one, or I just go somewhere randomly. I mean, what are the odds of me finding some cool? Just randomly going let me add these to my thing just to see which direction they were in okay which direction are these let's just go a different direction than those engine offline engine powering up <laughs> oh shit <laughs> whoa submarine can i increase the speed is that what that is oh shit so, if we just kind of turn around a little bit... Oh, shit. Okay. Just getting my bearings here. Yeah, this is the direction of those two things. So, if we just go somewhere different, we should at least... We should maybe have a chance to find something cool. Let's just... Oh, this is north towards the island, I think. But maybe this way I've never been. Let's just go this way. Um... The big electric eel biome has... Yeah, I was thinking the electric eel... Oh god, where's my hull damage? What's this one? Increase... Whoa, this is so crazy. Okay, let's go down a bit. I don't want to go down too much, but... Whoa. It's kind of hard to see below. Sound horde. <laughs> Whoa, this is crazy. Whoa. I wonder how the lighting is on this thing. How hell is that yellow bar? Okay. Whoa. Okay. Let's find somewhere to go deeper. We have to go deeper. Where's my power at? 99%, okay. Down we go. I have the energy efficiency module, so hopefully I won't like crash immediately. Hopefully I won't run out of, I think I just hit something. Hey, there's those guys. <laughs> I can't see shit in this thing. How deep are we now? Okay, we're going down. I can't see what's below me. Cameras, oh. Oh, I can move with the cameras. Oh, shit, that's actually pretty sweet. Uh, so toggle between cameras. Okay, that's behind me. Wow. Okay, this is a really nice camera. Down we go. How deep are we? 
Okay, we're at 229. We need to go deeper out of 900. Let's go back to that camera. This camera's pretty nice. These are parking cameras on big trucks. Let me see what the silent rig for silent running. Does that mean I'm about to hit something? Is that what is this? Activate camera system. Uh, wait. Activate camera system. Toggle. Okay, maybe I was close to hitting that or something. Oh God, I'm close to hitting that. <laughs> okay, I can't see shit though. Is that because I did the silent mode? Let me turn the silent mode off again. And now let's um. Activate the cameras again. Hmm. Looks pretty safe to go down. What did I just hit? <laughs> All right, this is cool. We're in some deep biome over here. Yeah. So I wonder where I should leave the Cyclops. And that took 4% of my power to get to here. Power Engine powering down. Let me just try to play with the uh, prawn suit a bit. Um, just so I can get more used to using it and kind of see what I should be doing with it. These fish need to get out of the passing lane. <laughs> Probably ways you could get with the prawn. Yeah, I'm a little worried about like what it happens if I fall too far down with the prawn. Um, because I don't have those jetpacks. That's the main reason that I didn't want to use the prawn yet. Can the prawn fall? What will it do? Let me, um, here, let's go back to this and look at the cameras. Let's at least get low. Activate the cameras. Well, that's low right there. I kind of don't necessarily want to go into that. I think it's fine. I'm assuming the prawn suit will come out, uh, back over ground over here. YOLO! <laughs> I can't see shit. Oh my god. All right, the front suit sucks without the. <laughs> okay, cool. We're up. I was just too. F I needed to back up just a little bit. <laughs> oh shit! YOLO! And Rin. Alright, we got a drill. Drill, motherfucker, drill! Okay, um. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm supposed to do against like a warper dude with the with the prawn suit oh my god okay let's make sure that the cyclops is on our beacon thing so we can see it it is okay cool wait where is it oh it's just right up we just can't pan the camera that high surely we'll find rubies down here can i loot with the prawn suit Oh, I, I can't loot with the prawn suit? Come on, man. Let me just pick that up. Huh? Not with these arms. Oh! How do I take an arm off? Ah, whatever. It's easy enough. Drill gold? <laughs> Whoa. Gold added to vehicle storage. Whoa. Well, that's like all the gold I'll ever need for the game, but too bad I didn't need gold already. High valuable social property. Oh my gosh. It's already dead. 
It's already dead. Keep on drilling. <laughs> Am I drilling the ground at this point? Or is it still getting gold somehow? It's still getting cold. Alright. Well, that's pretty cool. Prawn suit obtain lots of shinies. I'm okay with shinies. Prawn suit. Do 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 do. Strolling around in my prawn suit. Yeah. Uh, grappling hook. Yeah, that's much faster. All right. Come at me, nerd. Grappling hook. <laughs> Grappling hook! Drill arm! <laughs> uh, shit. I'm gonna get killed. It's gonna be fun, though. Alright, uh, repair tool. Beep, 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 Back to Pranin. Wait, wasn't that supposed to be the... Oh, I pushed the button. Pick up cords. Enter the Pran. How bad is it going to be if I go a lot deeper with this Pran suit? Maybe I should bring the Cyclops in. Because I want to go deeper down there. Should I bring the Cyclops down? Whoa! There's... That's the shit I was trying to do! Hell yeah! I gotta combine... Everything's fine. Welcome you can get back up without the Cyclops. Oh, okay. Learning. Yeah, that was pretty sick. Maybe I don't need to take the Cyclops any lower, but also... Take the Cyclops lower! <laughs> Engine powering up. Da, na, na. Wait, I am I about to hit? Oh, maybe I don't want to. Uh, that's the stuff slams into Cyclops. It's fine. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Take the Cyclops lower. Take the Cyclops deeper. Yes. Very good. Very good. Deeper still. Deeper still. Is that a fucking huge ass cave right there? Or is that the ground? Hard to tell sometimes. Deeper. Take the Cyclops deeper. Take the Cyclops into the cave. Yes. Turn on the spotlights. Wait, how do I do that? Toggle camera light. I'm toggling it. I'm toggling camera light and I don't. Okay. Take the Cyclops deeper. I'm never getting the Cyclops out of here. Ooh, what's that? Okay, let's... Oh, spiders! Fuck the spiders, dude. All right. Engine powering down. Uh... Wait. Did I hit something? What did I hit? Wait, what am I hitting? <laughs> what am I hitting? <laughs> uh, I don't like that sound. 
uh, vines. Yeah, I think I'm hitting vines somewhere. Um, powering down. I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? Yo, no. <laughs> Drill, baby, drill! <laughs> oh, that was everything I wanted after dealing with those fuckers. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Nice, a magnetite, nice. <laughs> oh jeez. Alright. Drill everything. <laughs> Alright. Uh, right, 589. I wonder if those Leviathan things can eat me while I'm in this. I'm excited to find out. Hey, what's that, I wonder? What's that one? Let's try this one. No, not more gold. Copper. Hell yeah. That's going to be, that's going to solve all my copper issues. Let's go. Copper is better than gold. Remember the warning about feelings of limitless power? <laughs> uh. Heckin' gold. <laughs> Copper's better! We came here for Ruby though. We haven't found any Ruby yet. My first time I thought I could handle the power. It took 10 minutes before I was punching sharks to death. Oh shit, I didn't mean to just grapple. Can I remove the arms without exiting? Or do I have to exit, go to upgrades? And then do Welcome it. Aboard, Captain. How do I... Oh yeah, I can put the storage in the Cyclops. That is a fan-frickin-tastic idea. Grappling hook! Oh shit. Uh, shitty boosters. You have to exit. Okay. Grappling hook! Uh, well. Grappling hook! Oh, there we go. Yo, that's how we do it right there. That's how we do it. Okay, I'm getting better with the grappling. Okay, okay. um, someone said there's storage in here? Question mark, smiley face. Where's the storage? <gasps> Low storage. Do I have to add the storage? Uh, or is there already storage? Oh shit, are these just... Why though? Oh wow. And can I, I can even grab stuff. Can I maybe? Oh, maybe not. I was wondering if I could grab stuff from the storage in the prawn suit like that. Okay, cool. I have to get it out of here. Yeah, I ran past them. That's so cool though. This guy maybe has the storage. Yeah, there we go. Yummy, 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 yummy. Well, that's pretty freaking sweet. It feels like infinite materials finally. No more getting, no more having to like randomly search for crap. This is awesome. We just load up the Cyclops. Um, yeah, we just load up the Cyclops. It feels awesome. In that case, I may as well, um, well, actually I'll leave the water on the prawn suit. 
and to prawn. Alright, I mean that Leviathan dude might eat me, but we had a good run, so. I think that's gold. I'm trying to sort of under trying to sort of get used to that's gold. We don't want that. Where's some ruby to drill? Is this gold? Oh, I don't need urinite. I have so much already. <laughs> Limitless power. Uh, shit. Limitless power. All right. I mean, maybe I shouldn't go towards those guys. All things considered. But limitless power. I think I could build extra stuff. Yeah, it certainly seems like it. I think that's more urinite. I don't want that. I want ruby. Where's the ruby? Try not to go too fast so I don't just run into one of those dudes. But otherwise. Well, magnetite is good. Prawn suit. Did it it prawn suit. Uh, I, I could drill one more of those, but I think we're good. Alright. And before, this is the same cave. Because this looks a lot like it. Like that same cave system that we were in, anyway. Oh, Ruby, let's go. Found some. Heck yeah. The prawn suit is more dangerous than most of the dangerous aquatic stuff. I think this is it. This looks so much like it. I even remember one of those dudes there. Hi, how are you? Eat a dick. All right. Um. <laughs> Limitless power. <laughs> Oh, the prawn suit is too good. Uh, I actually feel like I stumbled into... I think this is it. I think this is literally that cave. It's the... I just randomly stumbled into... Yeah, let's turn on my beacons. That'd be hilarious. I thought I had them on so I would avoid... This is literally... It. This is literally it! I went to the research place and I don't have the freaking tablets on me. Ah! Come on, dude. Uh, I just randomly stumbled into it, but I, did, I didn't try to go here. I tried to go somewhere else. How did I just find it again? This is fun though. I'm, um, I feel like I'm understanding how to use the prawn suit a lot more. Oh, I can't grapple straight up though. Small issue. Yo, let's go. Let's go! That was pretty sick. This was just a training run, yeah. Systems online. Oh my god. This thing is so cool. Alright, I definitely need to make the, um... Oh, I guess while I'm here I should look for more ruby. I don't know, man. I just... This went so wrong. How did I end up here? <laughs> oh... Now, Kyle, remove the drill and punch your way around. Alright. I want to try punching deeper. <laughs> yeah, no, I ended up, I literally ended up going to the place that I was trying not to go right now because I don't have the tablet thing on me anyway, so it's not like super helpful. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a little bit hard to get out of here. Oh, should I stay and get more ruby? I don't know if I'm gonna find any more ruby though. Uh, Engine powering up. All right, let's, let's see if we can navigate the Cyclops out here. The Cyclops is at night. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God, hold on. I'm trying to turn. Uh, that's fine, right? That's fine. Everything's fine. Might be getting less fine. Uh, 
Uh, it's fine, right? Surely it's fine. I don't even know if I fully turned around. I guess I just need to go up more than anything. Oh God. Navigating the Cyclops, navigating the Cyclops, navigating the Cyclops. It's just like danger literally everywhere. Everything's fine. The Cyclops doesn't seem to like take a ton of hull damage, which I am extremely thankful for. You managed to turn the Cyclops vertical once. That's amazing. I can't believe I stumbled randomly into the cave. That was like the only thing I was trying not to do. I was like, I'll just go somewhere random that's not there, ends up there. Well, I have 90% power. We may as well just drive around more. Let's look over here. See what we can find over here. Let's just explore randomly. What's the worst thing that could happen? Ha ha ha. Honk the horn. Nothing like hearing the Cyclops smashing into things. All right, let's look for something deep in this general direction. That's back home that way, so let's swerve out this way so we don't so we stay a bit away from our home. That sound. Let's go lower. Take the Cyclops deeper. Take the Cyclops deeper. Am I hitting shit? Oops. Wow, that's a, I think I'm hitting fish or something. Oh, uh. Okay, don't hit that though. Take the Cyclops deeper. Oh gosh. Uh, 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 take the Cyclops deeper. Maybe turn on the lights? Is it not on? I'm pushing toggle camera light. It doesn't do anything. Can somebody explain? I think I have them on. I'm pushing the left click button. It isn't doing anything. God, I'm hitting everything. Um, what am I hitting? Oh, everything. <laughs> what am I hitting? Actually everything. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. All right, how deep are we right now? 400, we can go deeper. And before I find that exact same cave again, this is actually, here, wait, I need to turn those beacons on and I need to not go to those freaking beacons. Please don't tell me I'm somehow going directly here again. All right, those are where I don't want to go. 900 away, 600, 200, no! I am going into it again! <laughs> no, are you kidding me? How do I keep doing this? Return to the mines. I apparently yearn for the mines. Oh my gosh. I think it doesn't move as fast as I think and I need to just like go far away a different direction. All right, where's home? That's home. We need to just turn on the boosters. Boom. Flag. Emergency speed. Vessel Wait, emergency speed? I don't want that on all the time. I don't know.
This probably drains my battery. Time to smash into something. the engine don't overheat the engine is this a I'm at an island okay pretty far away from those now yeah pretty far away from those now so what if we explore down here I'm heading at the fucking... <laughs> How do I keep going back there? All right, I'm done with this shit. We're just, the game wants me to go there. I'm just going there. All right, we're gonna grab our stuff and we're just going to the research facility. I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> I don't know how I keep doing this. Turning around, going home, dropping off our stuff, getting our tablets. This entire Cyclops journey is only taking 12% power. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. The problem is, is that I don't have a charger though. So what I was hoping to do was get the materials to make a charger. I'm not sure I actually successfully did that or not. But yeah, I'm gonna go get the tablet. Am I safe to turn I the speed on or no? Emergency speed. Morning. Vessel cavitating. Excessive noise. What does vessel cavitating mean? This doesn't go that much faster anyway. You can speed near surface. You might want to look up what cavitation is. Overheat. Engine overheat. Am I actually going faster like this? It doesn't feel much faster. Fire detected. That's cool. I wonder if that kills you if you run into it. <laughs> Alright, we're not turning the speed up anymore. <laughs> not turning the speed up anymore. I learned my lesson. There's a reason it's called emergency mode. A head flank, a head a head flank does count. Excessive noise. Can you stop cavitating? Oh. That would have been a good ending. Noise isn't bad, mostly. Oh, I love how it's like, ah, we need to get out of here. There's something chasing me. Fucking catches on fire. It's a real game. Well, um, we're gonna get one. Of, we gotta get one of those battery rechargers. That was fun. Cyclops is pretty sick. <laughs> what do I need to make the battery recharger? Let's see. Oh yes, we got the ruby we needed. That's what we needed for that. All right, cool. Welcome aboard, Captain. 
thing could probably do with being a little less bright, but hey. All right. Um, we need our other ruby. Let's go to blueprints. And we want to make the energy cell recharger so that we can use the Cyclops without running out of power. Let's see. I hope it burns through them one at a time. That would make the most sense. Um, oh, it's it's under interior things, I think. Yeah, power cell charger. Okay, the advanced wiring kit's pretty annoying. If I recall, we need like some gold, two copper, two silver maybe? Two silver. Oh, we need some titanium. Um, oh yeah, and I've got all the copper and I forgot to take all the copper out of the Cyclops. Yeah, do I have one more copper? No, I think I have to go get it. Oh, that's that actually came in clutch. All that, all that Cyclops copper. Cyclopper, if you will. No, 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 no. Okay. Damn, it's so big. I just realized I should build a fabrication Welcome station up here. All systems By, up here, maybe I mean down here. By the storage. Wait. What? I'm so dumb. I keep going past it. Alright, maybe can I make a fabrication station? Fabricator here? I just need a table coral. Hmm. That might be useful. Um, well, I'm going to need to transfer all that shit. Can't you put solar power panels on the Cyclops? Will it charge them? If I can do that, I'm so in. Can I do that? Oh my gosh, that would be incredible. What do I need? I need an advanced wiring kit. So let's start by making a wiring kit. And then computer chip, we need a copper wire, not anymore. Okay, if you guys have any quality of life stuff like that, please let me know so I don't suffer making all this stuff. <laughs> if I don't need it. Uh, let's see, computer chip. So it's my best bet just to make this thing. Okay, the power cell charger. I'll probably just put it next to the power cells. Ton of batteries and power cells to take with you. I've got I'm pretty good on batteries these days, but the power cells, well, that might be a good idea. Power cell charger on the Cyclops. That's what I was gonna do. Does it not work? Yeah, the Cyclops is huge. Okay, so let's see how this works. See, these are all full. Don't run into that. Oh, I didn't I left the power on. Engine. Powering down. Okay, so basically we've only this all this is the only one we need to swap out and recharge. Doesn't make sense to charge them on the Cyclops, does it? Uh it doesn't work like oh, because it draws power to charge them. <laughs> Okay, so what I want to do is... <laughs> uh, okay, uh, let's make another power cell anyway. I feel like <laughs> Cyclops' voice is a vibe, it really is. I feel like it makes sense to um, have a couple more power cells because like, if I'm ever going somewhere super deep, like I have an extra, you know, I wanna have an extra in my Seamoth, I'll have an extra in my Prawn too, just on them. Probably be a good idea to have like a couple extra in the Cyclops as well. So let me see what I need to do to make the power cells. I need two batteries and a silicone. That's actually super easy. Um, let's see, I think I might have some acid mushrooms as well. I do. And then we got all that copper. We can use that to, uh, okay. Well, let's first, let's make the uh, battery charger here. 
the power cell charger. What am I missing for it? Wait, brain. Uh, nothing. Oh, I just need to, oh, okay. It just like kind of goes on the wall. I could even like put it above that one. I don't know. And my batteries are next to my batteries. Yeah, we'll get all the copper off of this Cyclops. Okay, and I can put the power cell I pulled off into here. Wait, where is it? Did I not get it? Oh, I didn't get it yet, because I was still waiting to make some new ones. Okay, cool. While we're at this, I'm sure we're going to need another power doodad. Um, another solar panel. So let's uh, make another solar panel. More solar panels. In retrospect, I should have moved that other one over. So I don't have janky solar panel city, but whatever. Okay. Uh, let's get some copper. It's not here. Wow, there's so much storage on this though. This could be great. Yes, copper. All right, cool. If I put a fabricator and stuff on the... So is there any way to get power for the Cyclops? Like, if I put a fabricator and stuff on it, won't that drain the battery of the Cyclops? I don't want to do that. You can label the storage. Ooh, can you really? That would be helpful. Uh, let's make some batteries. Just put solar panels on the Cyclops. It doesn't work, apparently. Or at least I was just told it doesn't work. It will drain the battery, but it's really low. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's still worth it then. Yeah, I don't really have many extra power cells, so I think it's good to just make a couple of those while we're here. Uh, fire fire that's exactly what I was doing that's the plan make a bunch of extra ones and then I can just store them while the others are recharging then I won't have to worry about it I think three will be plenty I do like how the power is not like a big issue it's more just like a small issue I think they did a really good job of tuning the various systems in this game so that it's like not super annoying to keep building stuff. You put the kitty poster on the wall where you exit the Cyclops. Uh, I need some more silicone. Oh, did I finally use it all up? I think I did. Finally used it all up. Okay. Well, I have an extra power cell I forgot about right there. So that's probably good enough. How many do I have? Three? I think that's good enough. I want to have one in the Seamoth. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. I want to have one in the Seamoth, one in the Prawn Suit, and then a couple in the Storage and the Cyclops, and then I'll be pretty happy on the power situation. Let's see. Do I have one in here? I took it out, so let's put one power cell in the Seamoth. Uh, why not just... Snag a few more of these while I'm here. You can also put other handy non-power things in the Cyclops. Yeah, I'm open to recommendations on that. I was trying to think about what things might be worth building on the Cyclops. Like these. Oh man, my inventory is uh, really bad right now. Whoopsies. I should have dropped stuff off first. Grow bed for extra food. Ooh, that is quite an idea. Wait, where am I going? Uh, go here. I don't know a good um, grow bed for food. The tree, the tree that gives you food and water is kind of interesting. Um, I don't know. I think probably if I look in my, um, if I look in my thing, I'll have some good, some good stuff to make. There 
we go. All right, that's plenty of power. Unlimited power. All right, we'll stash those guys in the Cyclops. I'm also gonna kick, I'm gonna grab a couple of the like health, health kits and stuff. I got a bunch of junk in here that I should just sort of. I'm just gonna put these in the Cyclops. That's gonna be a better use for them, I think. Um, I'll go ahead and drink some of this right now, actually, because don't have a whole lot of use for it anymore. May as well. Oh yeah, and let's take this too, probably. Um, let's cook this real fast. Uh, I, oh, I haven't been here in forever. It's like, it's almost nostalgic at this point, just being inside of the original life pod. <laughs> it's been forever since we've been in here. I missed the life pod. Yeah. Well, the flares haven't been, I don't know. Again, I guess I'll store them, whatever. Now we have a freaking submarine of doom. Heck yeah. All right. Now we got tons of power cells in here. Actually though, we should uh, swap one of them out. Swap one of them out in here. Yeah. Nice. There we go. That's the prawn. I didn't mean to get in the prawn. Let me back in. Let me back in. Let me back in. Let me back in. We gotta work on our prawn suit entry here. There we go. I just had to release it a little bit. It would have been fun. Twenty-one hours, no death. The game, I will say, the game is fair. I haven't really felt like there's a lot of bullshit in the game, and that's really nice. Prawn suit storage empty. Oh my god, you're right. I don't even know if I have anything in it or not. Uh, let's see. Okay, two power cells and a water. Sounds good. I'll leave that there. Um, basically, all the extra power cells can stay in here now. Anything else? Oh, yeah. I'm going to load it up with just a couple of these guys. Um, actually, yeah. I don't need most of these. Let's just have like a... Like the far right one will be these. Yeah. All right. Cool. can name the lockers. How? <laughs> Inside? Store my kids in an emergency. If I'm like somewhere diving and I get hit a bunch and I just want a bunch more, yeah, I'm, Well, I mean, I don't, I don't need the storage for anything else. It seems like a good idea to me. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Let me see how this works. I probably just put it in like the batteries. Okay, but it only does two at a time. Oh, that's funny. I think that's totally fine. Cool. All right. Well, this is pretty epic. Um, what we really need to do is find the sulfur. I don't know the best way to find it. Let's just go to the tablet place. And hopefully somewhere along the way, we will find cool stuff. But I think we're going to do it with the Seamoth, um, just because I'm more comfortable in that area with the Seamoth. Yeah, I think, I think that's the way to do it, rather than take the Cyclops. It's a different type of sulfur. It's called crystalline sulfur. All right, do we have everything? We've got the freaking tablets. We got some water. You know what? I don't have a ton of food. Um, 
Let me like salt a fish for the road real fast. I don't know. Come here, friend. We'd like to salt you. You have a flame knife? Yeah, but not when I'm in a super scary environment. When I was in this place, there were no fish that I was wanting to hit. There were like warpers and leviathan thingy, whatever they're called everywhere. It was not a fun place. Can I do something while that makes? Oh, I can. Ready for pickup? Nice. It's nice that this thing keeps making salt too. I like having the cured paper on me. <laughs> it's nostalgic at this point. Uh, all right, cool. I think we're ready. We've got plenty of water this time. Last time we ran out of water. Let's just go with the sea moth and hopefully make it back to my sweet submarine. All right, chat, let's do it. Will I... This is the wrong thing. Will I make it all the way there and all the way back. That will be the prediction. Wait, where the heck is my sea moth? I'm so dumb. <laughs> I think I don't have it. Uh, let's take the cyclops off and turn the sea moth back on. And then let's get all these beacons up. Oh, thank you for doing that. Whoever just did that. You bring a cured peeper? They seem like the most food that I could easily renewably get. Will all your vehicles make it back too? That's why I'm not taking anything. I'm just, cause I don't really, like, I don't think it's gonna help that much. At the end of the day, it's all just about the sea moth. Cause I'm gonna use it to navigate the scary part. Um, wait, where is my sea moth right now? Is it in the, okay, it's in here. See my friend, let's go. All right, here we go to the research facility. Where am I going? I'm going back to do the tablet thing. So we, we found this really scary area and I had to put these tablets in it. It's the um, research facility to like find the cure for my alien disease. Yeah, I'm going to the deep dark to uh, fight the warden. If this game ends up having a warden, I'm going to be salty. Freaking kills me through walls. Hit the beach. Probably just gonna beeline there. I never got one of those things to aggro me. I don't know like how dangerous they really are. I had like 12 pounds and haven't found an agent. Is that? Oh, I almost smashed into that. Probably should turn the headlights on. Yeah, I'm pretty content to stay away from those things. <laughs> Out. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up before we go in. Always banging up my freaking long button. Always banging up my Seamoth. Here we 
go. Last time, we saw a bunch of scary dudes, but they never seemed to aggro me. Hopefully, they won't aggro me this time either. faster this time because I'm less scared now. Alright. Um, I didn't bring another beacon. <laughs> uh, it'll probably be fine, but I didn't bring another beacon to mark the... Uh, Oh, jeez. I think I stay high here to avoid that guy down there. And then we veer to the left, I think, is where the facility is, if I remember correctly. Oh, hey, there's a dude right there. Yeah, yeah, facility is this way. We just keep going. It seems like if I just keep going, these things don't chase me. I go down underneath that one. I'm not looking back. I'm just going. I'm not looking. I'm not slowing down. There was a... There was a warper right here. I hope the warper is gone. Oh, that, that guy is right in front of where I want to go. Isn't this the entrance? Where's the entrance? Okay, here's the entrance. Go, 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 go. Go. Okay. We're gonna park the sea moth all the way in here. And now let's make sure nothing's chasing us. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. Whoo! that was smooth. 800 meters, insert tablet, let's go. Let's go. I took your advice anyway. I don't even know what it was. Is this it? It's just one data terminal. Specimens to data. Integrating new PDA data. A catalog of information on the organisms previously contained within the alien facility. A number of entries have been translated. Small herbivore gamma. This entry seems to refer to uh, the common peeper. Shows no immunity to infection. Death commonly occurs in four days. Really? Shows symptom remission on exposure to enzyme 42, but the symptoms quickly recur. Shows advanced learning behavior, some capacity to transmit enzymes to other species. Leviathan embryo. Adult specimens are too large to study in containment. Egg specimens acquired from the nesting site. Oh, show no signs of immunity. Death commonly occurs within three weeks. Small sample of eggs have been retained for continued high priority research on Leviathan hatching mechanism. Large carnivore theta. Off site lab established to study remains. Shows some potential for immunity infection, but physical remains 
so far proved insufficient for full reconstruction. Um, the Leviathan species has been assigned designator C. Emperor. Bone samples from emperor specimens indicate some immunity, some potential for caro immunity. Single specimen captured for study at per, uh, purpose built containment facility constructed in volcanic region at depth 1.4 kilometers. <sighs> While it is unlikely that the emperor specimen is still contained within the facility described, it may be possible to require further data there on the, I can't see this because, oh, on the aliens attempts to develop a vaccine. If we go to codes and clues, it does say that there's a thermal power facility at depth 1200 in an area of intense volcanic activity. Generates energy. That's different though. There's also Sanctuary A, Sanctuary B, Offsite Lab, and Primary Containment Facility. So I think that that must be the Primary Containment Facility, question marks, my face. Where does it say? What's it called here? Um, terminal data. Yeah, Containment Facility. <laughs> I see how this game works. Keep going further and deeper. Oh my goodness. Where is the next deeper area though? It could be anywhere. I don't know which way to go. Oh, only down. Yeah, this game is only down. <laughs> I don't have any clues on which direction. Uh, I listened to all of them, uh, Master. Every single one of them. Let's say in the time capsule. Kaboom. Flow. Cool, we found two time capsules. All right, well, let's see if we can get out of here safely. Um, chat, anything else to do here? It did mention um, in that tree area that those are the eggs. It does make me think I could probably take an egg of one of those things and bring it back. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be useful, though. Um... <laughs> Let's see. So, let's see. Yeah, so the only thing else that we found, oh, how's my oxygen? Okay, so geez, I wasn't looking at my oxygen. Um, we found, okay, let me think real quick. We have this, this facility here. Down here in this exact same area, there's, uh, there's a tree. And based on that thing, it sounded like the tree has the eggs. And maybe I can steal the eggs. <laughs> but it didn't sound like the eggs would be that useful because it said that, hmm, what did it say again? Uh, terminal data, specimen research, the Leviathan embryos. The embryos show no, yeah, no signs of immunity. Okay, well, that's not good, but it's probably the case that I can take one for the lulls though. Um, my time capsule message was a bad Yelp review of the planet. <laughs> Didn't you have more tablets? Yeah. Um, big skeleton in the large room between here and the tree. Oh, okay. Um, the hardest part of hardcore mode is there's no warning for low oxygen. I've been, thankfully, because I never played without that, it's just been ingrained into me. But I have almost forgotten and died twice. All right, cool. Um, I'm just curious if there's anything else to explore before I head back or if we should just head back. Um... You should actually want to keep it as a pet. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, well, I need to figure out how to go lower than 900. Um, because I think the Seamoth can't do it. I have the most... Yeah, I have the best upgrade on the Seamoth. And it doesn't work. 
So I'm thinking what we need to do is we need to find the crystallized sulfur. Um, and then, yeah, use the Thrawn and the Cyclops. Okay, I'm gonna try to get out of here though. This is actually a little scary to get out of here still. So what did I just run into? Fish. I'm gonna try to get out of here. Okay, I need to go down through here, I think. Teleport me, bro. Yeah, this is a little scary to get out through here. I believe it's that one. Sorry. Coming through. Don't mind me. that sound run sea moth run oh skeleton I'm slightly worried about dying should I really do it I mean if it's valuable I sh I'll do it um skeleton on the floor when it's dying? Yes, scan it. It's good lore. Oh, fuck. Alright. I'm, yeah, I'm like scared of these things. That's why I keep running out of here. Where is the skeleton? It's over here, right? This right here. I see. I see. or something, I think. Doesn't look like the stuff I really want. Crystallized sulfur. What if there's crystallized sulfur inside of, like, one of these fucking things? structure with Leviathan class predator and trauma. There's clear evidence of massive physical trauma to the head. It's likely the cause of death. It must have occurred somewhere nearby. Damage is consistent with a high-speed collision with a solid object. I wonder what happened. Something in the environment has helped to preserve these remains, but calcium decay suggests uh, the approximate time of death 1,000 years ago. Um, bone growth suggests the creature was in the egg laying stage of its life cycle. So I'm assuming that that tree has some of the eggs in it, maybe, or something. Seems like a good, uh, uh, you do realize you have a stasis rifle, you're at the top of the food chain. Uh, I got the repulsion cannon and the uh, stasis thing. I only use them when I need to, because I don't know that it's going to work or not work on something. So it's a spoiler to indicate if it may or may not work. Like, for all I know, it doesn't, it says on it, it doesn't work on big things, so I don't know what that means. Um, you know, I don't know what's going to kill me and what isn't. I'm looking for more minerals and stuff, but I can't really find anything. Is this... There's nothing in there. I was like, maybe there'll be something inside these pools, but I feel like maybe I need the pawn suit to go through those. That's my guess. My guess is if I have the prawn suit, I can do that. So I feel like the play is to come back here with the prawn suit. Prawn suit only goes to 900 though without the upgrade. So I think I want the upgrade Welcome aboard, on the Captain. prawn suit and that'll be the play. Okay, that was good lore though. Yeah, I, I, I do appreciate it when chat bugs me to get stuff that's pretty good lore. And these things, I'm like not as afraid of them anymore. I don't know. Like, maybe it's hubris, but it doesn't seem like these things are too horrible. I 
I am still alive. In that case, I'm gonna go back on the left side here. I came in on the right side because I was too afraid to go on the left side. Let's go on the left side. And hey, look at that, we got some ruby. Some ruby and some diamond. If we come in on this side, maybe we'll find something new. Or even just getting some more nickel is probably not like the worst thing. Is that magnetite or nickel? Neither. <laughs> so I really don't see any more nickel. It was on the walls sometimes. Hmm. I think there'd be more over here. Maybe that's it right there. That just looks like regular old limestone, though. I found three nickel total. No more. I just got yo that's the crystalline sulfur it is in this shit how come I haven't seen that before I've been all over these pools and I didn't see that I always forget to scan it you're right Sulfur is highly reactive, non-metallic, blah, blah, blah. Common applications, essential for advanced fabrication. Okay. Well, that, now I want more. I can make the prawn suit upgrades with this. Where's more? I better stay in my CMOD. I swear I've looked at that before and I never saw anything in these pools. Is it really rare? I don't see any more. Maybe that's it? Magnetite, I think. Oh no, it's lithium. You can never tell. Fuck you. Get that shit out of here. Fuck off. Okay. I don't think that's it. Was that just super lucky? I don't ever see any more. seeing things now. close to that stuff oh sweet I don't know how much of it I need but I should just keep looking for it is that so no that's what fooled me
There's some. There's two. Oh. Wow, I can't believe I missed that the whole time. I went, like, must have gone right past so much of this. Let's go. Heck yeah. Yeah, it is hard to see it. Oh, I'm so excited for prawn suit upgrades. You have no idea. I'm so excited for prawn suit upgrades. The only thing I miss... Oh, I'm still missing Kai and Knight. I think is what it's called. Probably got enough. I'm like so turned around and lost also. That's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. I think I just go towards that and we're good. Okay, let's look through the pool one more time over here. I think I got this one though. Oh, there's some right there. Get out of here. Is this path? Or is this deeper? This is deeper. I need to go to this one. I swear the spiders never attacked you when you played. They've attacked me a couple times, but they haven't like done a whole lot. I'll take this ruby. Find any more nickel though. Is that something? Hey! <laughs> Damn, the nickel's hard to find. It's like on the ceiling here. Fish. I think I should get. How many nickel do I have? Oh, I can't remember. I feel like I needed two things that needed like three nickel. So like I wouldn't, oh, there's another one. I think I should look for just one more because that would be enough. For, I think that would be enough for everything I wanted. Maybe I should look up, oh my gosh, I clearly should look up more. There's more ruby up there. Well, now that I'm looking up, is there any more nickel up here? That's just, maybe that's some right here. Oh my gosh, this is where it's hiding. It's all hiding up here. Look at that. It's all hiding up there. All right, I think I have enough stuff. We've been nice and greedy. Damn, I'm glad I like took my time to investigate this place a little more. Cause there was a ton of stuff here that was just hiding in plain sight. Build a simple base with the scanner. Yeah, this wouldn't be a bad place to have a base. I mean, minus the beasties swimming around. Um, just because it cut down the travel time by a lot to get back over here. Wait, that's not. That's something different. That's something different. I thought that that was one of the electric eels. I don't think it was. Oh my god. 
I thought that was one of the electric eels, and then I'm like, that looks a little bigger. Whoo! Uh, I thought it was one of these. Oh my god, there's one of those too? Where am I? Holy shit, get me out of here. Wait, where's my beacon that's actually the fucking way out of here? I thought it was this one that was the way out of here. This one will take me out as well. Jesus fucking fuck, which way is the way out of here? This is the way super out. I don't remember that being that scary down there. It felt like there were those like creepy Medusa things and the like big thing that just were not there last time. Get me out of here! <laughs> Oh, that was the very first thing. See, I thought that, you know what happened? Was the smaller ones that were all over. Uh, okay, actually I don't wanna go there, I wanna go here. The smaller ones that were all over, um, like near the research facility, I thought those were the things that I saw when I first came in. And that's why I was so afraid of them. I didn't realize that it, like I had seen two different things. I thought they were both the same thing. anything exciting after building the Cyclops? Not really. We just got the crystalline sulfur that we need though for um, upgrading the prawn suit. We also went for, we had a little fun time with learning how to use the grappling hook on the prawn suit. And I feel like once I get the upgrade for the, um, for the jetpacks, I'm pretty excited for more prawn suit action. Carl gunned the engines and caught it on fire. <laughs> we did do that, didn't we? Uh, but, you know, I still need to get Kyanite or whatever. That's the, like, one thing I'm still missing. That took us down to 68% power. It would be... If we wanted to, like, explore down there, like, let's say... Yeah, we'll probably just bring... Actually, if we just bring the Cyclops. I think that's the play if we go down there again. I wonder what happens when the Cyclops encounters one of those huge things. I mean, the Cyclops is too big for it to eat, but like, I could do hull damage. I don't know. I wonder what happens when the Cyclops like sustains full hull damage. Oh my goodness. Hopefully we uh, don't find that one out anytime soon. Welcome aboard, Captain. Does have a voice? Now I can't remember and I want to know. Um, oh. Thank you, water machine, for flashing at me. Um, I want to see what the prawn suit upgrade costs. Let's unpin these and look at our upgrades. So the... Um, here we go. This is the good stuff here. We need kyanite. Ah, in order to go past 900, though, right? In order to go past 900, hmm, that's two. Oh, maybe I don't have one yet. Wait, why isn't one showing up here, though? One isn't showing up. Let me go look at this thing again. Oh, it's like a, it doesn't, it just doesn't show there. Okay, okay, so we need a plasteel ingot. Okay, do I have the first one on the prawn suit yet? I can't remember if I already built that or not. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, let's get this stuff out of here. Yeah, I can't remember if I built that already and I don't want to build it twice accidentally. So let's just check our upgrades. I don't have it. Okay, prostitute's got nothing other than the arms. So let's um, let's build that. Oh, that's perfect. So we're already almost able to go where we want to go. Let's go. 
they're always storage. Um, it was just there. I didn't put it in. The Seamoth has 100 HP. The Cyclops has 1,500 HP. That's pretty epic. <laughs> That's pretty epic. Okay, we need to make a Plasteel ingot. It goes down to 1,300. That'll be all we need for now, because I think the next thing is at 1,200. Nice. Okay, so we're going to have all the stuff we need. All right, we need... Um more titanium potentially yeah we need a bit more titanium though in order to make this I think because yeah we need two lithium which I have I'm sure and the titanium I think that was all I needed so let's um let's snag some titanium real fast get some upgrades for our prawn suit oh, I love the prawn suit Prawn suit's so cool. And let's put the tablets back. We don't need the tablets right now. And hopefully we can just forget about them forever. <laughs> I don't need any more copper, so let's specific... Honestly, let's specifically look for metal salvage. That'll be the fastest way to just... snag a bunch of titanium real fast. In fact, I may as well unload like all this water and this stuff and just load up on titanium. That'll be really good. <laughs> There's literally a metal salvage right in front of my face. That one right here. That wasn't showing up on my map. It's right there. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Well, at least titanium is easy to get. Do I even have room for any more? I got room for more. And oh, I can't uh, can't scan that. Strangely enough, do I have one more? Nope, that's it. All right. Carl on a scale of spooks to spooky spooks. Where is this game? Uh, I can't tell if I've gotten lucky or I don't know. It's very spooky. I think it depends a lot on how you deal with water stuff because in general, I really love the water. So water is not like already spooky to me. Um, so I would say it's spooky. If you play on hardcore, <laughs> It's maximum spook. But I feel like that was the oxygen tank you dumped all the way back. It might have been. It very well might have been. Alright, we just need two lithium for our troubles. So good. Am I actually out of lithium? Oh, oh no, am I out of lithium? No, when did I run out of lithium? Oh man, and maybe it's in the CMOS storage. Oh, maybe it's in the CMOS storage. Yes, there it is. Perfect. Best music is during fires on the Cyclops. Okay, I don't remember what else I needed. Let's check. Looking for that death module. We just need three nickel, which we got plenty of. If I 
can remember what it looks like. What does nickel look like? Uh, this one. Nice, we got plenty of it. Sweet. And then the last thing that I want is this. And I can make it! Oh my gosh, I can get the jumpsuit upgrade. All I really need is one more lithium. Is that from Shale? I think I just need one more lithium and we are golden. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. Can I find some Shale on this? Let's see. I can. Let's go. Mm, that is so good. Um, okay. Damn, we got basically everything we wanted. Cool. Let's grab a few supplies. Um, it's nice my batteries are just almost perpetually charged now. That did end up being really nice. Good upgrade. Shell has lithium, gold, and diamond. Okay, thank you. Always forget. Um, I don't need those. Let's bring these. Um, yeah, that's enough. Okay, so let's go pick up some of that shale real fast. Hopefully we just snag a lithium super quick. Where's it at? Shale chunk. <laughs> Why did I find just one right there? Oh, there it is. There's actually a bunch down there. Cool. Let's take the sea moth though, and then let's also not die real fast. Sea moth for extra storage, and probably for not dying, wherever it is. Papers, please! Alright, there we go. Somebody said that there's even better fish, but... I have to say, the advantage of the peepers is that they're really close by. Which is really nice. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Alright. And we're pretty much good to go. Do you have any more water for me? Nope, but I got plenty. Let's go snag our moth. Uh, fun fact, she also has like three ores in. You have a one third chance. Welcome uh, aboard, Captain. All systems online. Oh, so base. I'm really glad. So it's not like true RNG. It's, um, oh, there must be a deep cave right here that I didn't think I know about. What the? There must be a cave here that I don't know about. That's actually pretty cool. It's close by cave. Where's the entrance? Not sure it's this. There's a cave here the whole time. I wonder if that is it. How do I get down there? I have a 3D map on your sea moth. Uh, uh. <laughs> Does it work like that? That might be Glow Shroom Land. Yeah, I'm wondering if I need to just go to Glow Shroom Land to get down there. the way down. Yeah, this is Glosher land. It's cool that it found it on the map. Well, all right, let's snag some of this. Glosher land, hello eel friends. What happens if I hit the eels with electricity? It's already Everything's fine. Don't want diamonds. Oh jeez. Smashy smashy. I'm 
pretty sure I have a beacon to get out of here. Find my way out. No, come on! Oh my gosh. The next is guaranteed lithium. That's cool. What? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> the sonar. Yeah, I have the module in my thing. This is spooky down here, Stell. Hey, there's the lithium. Oh. Um. Wasn't right there. higher up ones over here, I suppose. Remember when we were scared to be down here? Now we're like, Psh, it's fine. Just a few electric eels, it's fine. I don't know if I really need some magnetite, but maybe a couple is fine. <laughs> so nice to have it all marked. Those range upgrades really help. I think that's what put, pushed all this into range. Is that one like right here? I think it is. It's not. <laughs> Oh, so much shale. How do you like the swimming simulator? I love this game. We've been having an amazing time. If you want to watch from the beginning, um, Excavation YT will take you to the YouTube. And that's where we've been posting so far just the first episode, but we'll have another one up soon. And that's going to be the whole thing in order of how I discovered everything. Um, yeah, we're playing on hardcore mode. If I die once, it's over forever. Amazingly, I never died. So I guess spoiler. Though I have certainly have a lot of the game left to go, it seems. Alright, any of these guys close to me? This one's close. The whole thing of them, if I just see, if I just watch which ones move faster, I can tell which ones are close. None of them are super close to me. How much lithium did I get? I only got three out of all of that. Are you? Oh no, I maybe put some in the storage. I got four out of all of that. Come on, game. Nothing upgrades. Purple mushrooms are cool. Is there anything closer than... Okay, yeah, there's some right here. Let's get the close ones and then just get out of here. I'm still... All right, I'm still a little bit sketched out by this place. Come on. Uh, that's a bit far to go for my Seamoth. One. Yeah, but I'm gonna need more. I know I'm gonna need more. I always need more. I'm just hoping to only do this now and then like be done with it. What's that? In before it's like lithium vein. Just one more. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. If there aren't any like right here, I'm out. Any like right here? No. 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 Alright. 
Let's get out of here. Good enough. I think this shale chunk up there is near the exit, so we'll go over there. Yeah, I think this is the exit. It is highly heat resistant. Um, yeah, I um, basically figured that in order to get into the like the harsh environments, like the geysers, the uh, acid pools, or whatever those things are, the sulfur pools, um, all that stuff, the prawn suit would be the way to go. Oh, wait, that's dark. Look at our beautiful gardens. Look up the YouTube video to Searing Egg, it'll make sense. Let's turn that off. Now, uh, what do we need? We can make the jet suit upgrade. Two nickel, three sulfur, five titanium. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. power cells in hot area. I love how it's like specifically telling you to go to hot areas, but I still don't have kyanite. That's like the last thing I think is kyanite. I found everything else in the game that I can find anything that needs. Yeah. It's the last thing I haven't found. I wonder if I should, I should put the um, hull reinforcement you know what? I should put the whole reinforcement on the prawn. Uh, three titanium, lithium, and four diamond. Can I put that on the prawn? If so, I'm gonna do it. Um, I need four diamond. I'm, I'm sure I have four diamond. I always just have tons of these lying around. you can. Oh, even sturdier prawn suit? Heck yeah. Um, I just need one more titanium. We're gonna have the sickest prawn suit. Uh, I got tons of titanium. Let's go. Hull reinforcement. The energy efficiency one isn't a bad idea either. I'm just not sure if there's any more upgrade slots on it. So let's go see, uh, Where's my Cyclops? Is it right here somewhere? One suit is docked in the Cyclops. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Ow. Oh. Oops. Oh, is there some more stuff I need to empty out of here? Two gold. Um, oh, got a little bit of stuff in here too. Empty, empty, and then this is just my supplies. 
call. Uh, up the ladder. Man, the Cyclops is so cool. This game has so much cool stuff. All right, let's do it. Access upgrades. There are four upgrades. So we can hull reinforce the prawn suit. We can jetpack upgrade the prawn suit. We can depth module. And I've still got one more spot. Huh. Crush depth is now 1,300 meters. Heck yeah. Damn. That is very nice. Oh, let's go ahead and eat that. Nom, nom, nom. The Langster. Um, let's go build one more upgrade, and that'll be the full prawn upgrade. What's the last one we should get? Jarvis, thank you so much for the sub. That's really appreciated. Hey, look, it's a sub. <laughs> thank you. How far down does the Cyclops go? I don't know exactly. I don't have the depth. No, maybe I do have the depth module randomly. I had like one random module for it. No, that's the energy one. Yeah, I don't know. I have to look. Um, the one log said 1400. Yeah, so I'll need to get. I should get. The... No, I can't make the thermal reactor yet. Okay, I should get the energy efficiency module, definitely. Um, recycles heat byproduct to minimize power, Seamoth prawn compatible. Just having the prawn be usable longer would be really nice. So let's do a poly or let's do a polyaniline and a computer chip. And then we'll have a really good prawn, I think. Um, okay, cool. Let's see, we need to do a computer chip and a a gold and an HCL. All right, two table coral. I need to go get one more. Some gold. I already got gold. Some copper. Yeah, let's go get some more table coral. out of hydrochloric acid or do I maybe oh I already have this I literally already got one um, in that case I just need the table coral you can't yeah it seems like you can't stack depth upgrades but you can um, like there's like a extra version or whatever so you have to just get the upgraded version maybe get a bunch of these while I'm here more efficient or something it's pretty great moist cushion we have done so much oh my gosh uh we are just we're decking out our cyclops and our prawn suit right now it's all going to be on youtube eventually if you do want to wait and see everything in order um of course there are the twitch vods as well Let's try this out. Yeah, there we go. Fully upgraded prawn suit. Heck yeah. Let's do it. Enter the prawn. Yeah, let's see how the jetpacks are. So we got our, uh, we got our grappling hook. <laughs> Whoa, we got our drill arm. Da, 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 da. Damn. And we're more energy efficient too. All right, let's say that I'm down here and I'm exploring and I want to get up there. How hard is it now? <laughs> we can just go flying. This is sick. This is sick. Also, RIP Gary. Oh, where'd Gary go? RIP Gary. Dun, 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 dun. Drill arm. I don't want to drill the... Oh my 
good. I still can't catch a peeper though. Can I grapple a peeper? <laughs> what happens if I just like... Unlimited power! Unlimited power! <laughs> oh, I was hoping it would pull it. Oh, it does pull me to it. <laughs> oh shit. Unlimited power. Oh. Unlimited power. Blah, 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 blah. I feel bad. Damn, it just gets annihilated. I feel bad for it, actually. I don't like hurting things. That's, it's limited by my sense of morals. Damn, Quan suit's epic. Look at how far the boosters go now, too. Prong suits, epic. Oh yeah, I didn't try the punchies. Let me try it. So if I go to the, um, access the upgrades, and I simply like take off the drill arm and just have a regular arm. Uh, it's just a boop, <laughs> boop. The arm is meant to grind metals into dust. Okay, you can have that. Now I feel bad. I feel bad punching stuff. I wanna go punch one of those warpers. I don't feel bad for them. Okay, I can pick up, oh, I can pick up acid mushrooms, incredible. Wait, I'm using the wrong. That arm can pick stuff up, that's cool. Wait, can I just like pick up a fish? Oh, I'm sorry, Boomerang, I meant to pick you up. I meant to pick you up, grappling hook, go! Nyom. Ah! Grappling hook, Nyom. Damn. Grappling. Oh, I could have flung myself better, actually. Here, let me see if I can do this right. Oh, there we go. Look at that fling. Woo! <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, God. Still banging up the Cyclops. Still. Still banging up the Cyclops. All right. Well... Still banging up the Cyclops. Sorry, Cyclops. Best Cyclops name ever. The car. Right, we still need to do a little more controlled entry into the Cyclops. There we go. Wait. <laughs> the grappling hook's really fun. I love the grappling hook. Sick. All right. Well, this has been pretty epic. Next time we bring the Cyclops in and we release the prawn. <laughs> We can go down to 1,400 meters now, I believe, or something like that. Yeah, I think 1,400. Got a little crops going. Don't look too closely at how aligned they are. I wish I had more posters. I just want more posters. Got our cute little Aurora miniature. Yeah. This room is cool. I just like, the moon pool is awesome though. I love the moon. I like how the Cyclops is a moving moon pool. Doesn't get much better than that. All right, chat. Thank you so much for coming by. This has been an absolute blast. I'm loving this game. I am hopeful that we can actually beat this on one life. Uh, Jam, thanks again. Um, thanks again for the sub. It's really appreciated. German, sorry I missed you. Thank you for the four months, German. I don't know if you're still here. Um, they say those new Minecraft mods are looking crazy. <laughs> thanks, Jopi. See you later, Caleb. Bye, Limon. Bye, Young Savage. Oops, you added the edit com to the thing. <laughs> It'd be funny if you use the command and then it edited the command, but then it edited the command, then it edited, it just like glitched out the bot. <laughs> Infinite loop. Infinite power! Uh, I love the prawn suit. Prawn suit's so cool. <laughs> they did such a good job making the game feel like more and more epic the more you play it.